Can I speak to the manager, please? <laughs> Milk would have been kept at room temperature for four or five days, until it became thick and sour. Four or five gallons would have been the usual amount churned. The type of churn used here is a staff or plunger churn. Not so bad when two people were present, as one could relieve the other every few minutes. The staff was also given a twist on the downward stroke in order to agitate the sour milk into butter. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the decadent Feathers of Liberty vanilla infused flavored coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the dark roast FNT blend of the fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. Geekgrindcoffee.com. Use discount code NerdRotic. <laughs> Face, la, 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 la. I've got a baby face face. Baby face. So do I. Me too. My baby face pads and so do I. Mine's playful and so am I. I love a magic heart. You can make a baby face face that's fun to do with baby face and you. What a face! The baby face babies with a magic heart each sold separately from the world. Some death sticks? Yeah. Moments later. <laughs> My client is not a man. My client is the beast. Ray Skywalker. I know my rights. Say that again. I had a nose ring, but I sniffed a line of coke and then it got stuck in my Hi! Interesting, isn't it? Not a he, not a she. Not like anything you've ever seen. An enhanced humanoid. I am now a Zem Zia Zier Zem self. Come on, mother no. Oh! God damn it, man! Uh, I am the of your poop! No! I am not a piece of meat. I am not a piece of meat for you people to just look at like a juicy f***ing meal, okay? F*** off yeah. permanently. Calm. we
Hopefully my camera works. Hey, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Welcome uh. to Friday Night Tights. A three clapper, baby. Oh yeah. What's up, everybody? Oh, Looked like Dispero was kind of yanking it in that intro right there. <laughs> Well, you know, I always had Ryan down as a three clapper. Just happy to I mean, be so here. Much, only so much time of the day. Yeah. Get you, it done. If, if you ever just see my camera, just zoom in so it's just my face, at least you know what's going on. Yeah, there you go. Camera's been on the whole time, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah squeezing <laughs> been on the, the whole time. <laughs> oh, there's a reason oh why cameras come with shield caps. <laughs> the lenses. Yes. Are there's a reason oh my God. VPNs exist and you don't watch porn on your the computer that you stream this, on. Yeah, mm -hmm. separate. PC like, you don't watch porn on a meta PC. You gotta go no. to the public library, do it that's, there. Yeah, right. and you, like a decent you would person. think, at the very least, if you start streaming, you would close the tabs, but... <laughs> well, right, Ryan? Right, Hey, Ryan. listen, I've got a lot of tabs up at all times on my computer, and none of them are porn. Those all belong in the incognito tab of whatever <laughs> Android phone I'm currently using. Like, that's obviously... If you're not Just doing that, what the fuck's wrong with you? The more you know. The more you know. We we educate mm -hmm. people here on Friday Night Tights. Mm -hmm. My name is Gary B. Glare. I come to you from nerdrotic.com. And we are ready to go. We have a lot to talk about. A lot more than I actually thought till Ryan came on and reminded me of some yeah. stuff that I tried to block out of my memory. Uh, including Patel Pan. I got to credit as with that one. Patel Pan. Uh, can't watch the trailer, though. Uh, Jeremy think, isn't oh, here. Well, we can now. I think they've, can released, now. they've released the claim against my video. But they really? hit somebody. They hit uh, Polly. They, they hit a lot of people, yeah. and I think I know why. Um, I think because the one that came up for you as was the D23, the 2022 D23 trailer, right? Because they probably did an exclusive thing at D23 that wasn't released to the public. So I think the AI still detected that, and they hadn't updated their shit. That's uh, my personal belief. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Fuck them, fucking idiots. Of course we're going to roast them. Yeah. I mean, like, Disney, to their credit, usually does not uh, copyright claim, but oh yeah. well. Uh, Jeremy isn't here because he's a lazy bastard, so uh, the hell with him. We don't need yeah, we him told anyway. Him, we told him no gays allowed for this episode. So. Oh. <laughs> so I'll see myself out. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Just one gay. Speaking. Oh. I was going to say, speaking of gay, <laughs> la, 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 la. What's up, Az? How's it going? I was listening to that song today, and I thought of you. <sighs> what? <laughs> Lola by the Kinks. Come on. I know. I know oh. you're in uh, Eurasia, but it's a classic song. Uh, Pet Shop Boys, Eurasia, uh, Communards, Bronsky Beat, Frankie Goes Hollywood, Queen, anything that's gay. <laughs> anything that was gay in the 80s, I love unashamedly. How are I'm you? I'm amazed I'm heterosexual. I, I, am. I am too. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. I guess I was just born this way, huh? Okay, lady. Still Gaga. Gaga. Compromise for She-Hulk. I would like to come out as heterosexual. Uh, the rate, the rate, the fucking world's going. You're, that's going to have to be like. Some oh like, yeah. Brave. <laughs> I said, uh, good news, Discovery, Star Trek Discovery has been cancelled. Um, Big surprise. And its current, the, the next season has already been put back to 2024 because no one gives a shit anyway. And uh, I saw a tweet. Somebody put this tweet out. And it was just like, please, can people just be respectful to the people who like Star Trek Discovery? Because they like want to give their people, you know, in the film a good send off. I'm like, fuck off, mate. Respect to Discovery was the very antithesis of Star Trek. Go fuck yourself. Uh, yeah, name me a classic episode. Name me a classic moment. Maybe it was when the non-binary actor corrected the gay man about their pronouns. That might have oh, been. I like it when the ghost, uh, who could only materialize through holodeck technology, walked off the holodeck and looked <laughs> out the window. <laughs> I know. I like coming through a time portal into space and hitting another ship that just happened to be flying through that section of space at the exact same time. Hey, I mean, just the sheer what, odds of that is impressive. I like what it about when the, she... What about the uh, the spectrum alien that read across the galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, no, uh, that's the my uni The part. universe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the universe. Warp. No, the yes, the 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 special needs alien who cried for his mama and destroyed all dilithium. <laughs> I, I liked the uh, 
the fact that Burnham had to uh, pilot the suit into a wormhole to the future uh -huh. as the only way to get rid of it. And then once <laughs> she got through, utilize the autopilot to self-destruct it. The autopilot she could have used beforehand. The oh. she could have she used. She had to cry, okay? There needed to be a scene hey. where she cried. Well, didn't she she took that. Imagine being on the ship. The ship follows her and she's like, sorry, I could have autopiloted that. You're like, what? Just We've been... just left our families behind for you. Oh, Are you talking about Star goodness. Trek? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Hey, disco fans, hold yeah, your head yeah, up high. Okay. Nobody yeah, watched this. <laughs> Absolutely nobody watched what we're talking about. <laughs> so, like, I, I haven't nobody. watched it, and it's hurting my brain just you guys retelling yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Don't worry, there's, what? there's more. I liked it when Stacey Abrahams was revealed to be the president of what? Earth, and they thought uh, that was a big win. <laughs> However, Earth in that show was a xenophobic, closed-off, racist planet. Yeah, run by Stacey Abrahams. So, uh, you know, probably so probably part of the course. Hang on, hang I think on. The, the reason everything went to shit is because everyone was going hungry because Stacey Abrams ate everything. <laughs> uh, so. Like, did, did they have Earth in the same shot as Stacey Abrams? She was Earth. Like, she no, played Planet Earth. You know what? The they haven't okay, been seen in the same room you, you, together. You might have trouble telling which was Earth. Yeah, one would eclipse yeah. the other. You did see know, Uranus, though. Oh. This is a show that famously used sonar in space. Yes. Sonar in space. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just say that one more time? Why is that bad? I didn't hear it. Oh, no. they use sonar is sound. Sonar it's a sound. And it's a vacuum. In there would be space. There are no sounds in, in space. They can't hear you scream. Oh, no, no, no uh, space yeah. just happens to be a vacuum, at Chrissy. There's no space noises. No. There's no, no. like. Ah, there's no like. Did you know that? It sounds Uranus, like a blowjob. Do you know that Uranus is a planet that's actually on its side? Usually, and yeah. It, it has Sometimes rings. It does have rings like Saturn, but the rings actually go like that. So Uranus has rings. That. Uranus has been not. It's been knocked onto its. Yeah, side. I know, but it's not Uranus. Uranus yeah, has rings. Like, he's got a ring piece. <laughs> yes. <You> might, Uranus <laughs> has, a, has a ring piece. Yes. Yes. Okay. Chrissy, it, just to, just to make sure, there? you do know you can't breathe in space either. At all? Why? <laughs> well, you, you can't breathe. You can't breathe underwater, but that sonar works. I was like, really got a space Chrissy, pack a, pack a Parker, because it's a little bit chilly. I it's a little, still don't even cold. believe, yeah. part of me cold. doesn't even believe in space. Are you honest. space, are space oh, is flat earth -er. <laughs> It's just I'm, a dome over the earth. I'm like, come on, space. I thought the earth was flat. How come we have, we haven't sent any TikTokers to space? You know what I mean? Like I, you know, maybe yeah. bringing in women. We don't need, TikTok we don't need oxygen to live. Clearly, uh, <laughs> no. we don't have any brain cells, so they die that. perfectly. Fine. They're just floating through space. Like. Uh, chat, I'm willing to acknowledge that maybe bringing women on the show was a mistake. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> X-ray didn't do anything. Uh, maybe we should make a make a Fenty Milligan shirt. Too. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh don't get your fifis hurt. Um, hi, Shad. <laughs> hey, how you Gary, doing? How are you? I got great. You know, I've had just a great week. There's been, there's been no flame wars or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just been just a smooth sail. I've had, been having a great time. How about you guys? Fantastic. Great. Awesome. Caffeinated. Awesome. Ready to go. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I got my fruit juice here, and uh, I got some jerky. It's uh, earlier in the morning over here in the Upside Down world. And nice. uh, looking forward to just laughing at stupidity. It's kind of like what I've been doing in the, over the last few days. Yeah, yeah you're exactly. in the future. Mm -hmm. How is the future? Yeah, well, I've been trying to prepare people for that, Gary. The future, <laughs> things that might, <laughs> oh, no, uh, might um, in the future. you know, technology and things. Some people are a little reluctant <laughs> for it, just <laughs> from the, from the day ahead. Yeah, I'm not aware of it. Yeah, just the day. Just the day ahead. All that knowledge. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, welcome, Chad. Uh, Thank you, hello, Gary. Ryan Kinnell. What's up, baby boy? Not much. There is, uh, when Gary's like, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about. I'm like, right, there's no lack of things to talk about. You got another race swap Disney live action series, which are always fun, especially when you look at that return YouTube dislike extension. Um, so we can talk about that. Ant-Man is a complete and total flop, a failure. Oh. It will lose money and it won't even be close. Oh. This might not make as much as the first Ant-Man movie. This might struggle oh. to break $500 million worldwide. That's how pathetic it is. But everything's fine at Marvel. No reason to panic. No reason to freak out. 
So yeah, it's all. Oh yeah, and it's so much worse. It's so much worse than that. Movie's gonna do less than the sequel to it, which was the lowest opening of the Phase Three Marvel films. That's great. Like the original Ant Man was what five hundred and twenty-five million dollars worldwide. Uh, Ant Man of the Wasp was six hundred and twenty-ish, somewhere around there worldwide. This one, Uh, this one will struggle to hit five hundred. And this it, did 1.5 oh. million on Thursday. And it's Thursday. being followed up by... Uh, Wednesday, sorry. The Marvels. Oh, man, yeah. that well, Guardians. Well, there's Guardians. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. Which what they oh, should have okay. started with. But oh, they, well, they, oh. might do well. they need the one movie. The, Thursday. the Thursday numbers are in 1.4 mil. Wow. Ooh. I don't, at this Ooh. point, I don't even think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to do well. I feel like the MCU is just tainted at this point. And it, like, the normie audiences have picked up on it. Finally. Finally, they come around eventually. They've moved they've on to something else. They're watching 1883, 1883 and 1923 and 1944, and I am too. Fuck it. I am. I am. I admit it. Just got sucked right into that stuff. Uh, uh, but yeah, it turns way, out, on, it turns out, hang on, Ant-Man is probably going to be the fourth movie since uh, since uh, Phase 4 started that lost money. More on that later. Lost the- money. We now have two full weeks, so we have the the week two drop off now, which is seventy one percent. Oof! Oh, when does Guardians so come out? Bigger than May? 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 Yeah, May fifth. I think May fifth. Uh, oopsies! Oopsies! Hello, quarterback. Doing great. Doing so great. Doing Such doing a- so good. So terrible to see, isn't it? Oh, it's it's a great time for DC. It's a great time for DC to relaunch their universe (laughs) now that (laughs) Marvel has just used it all, all the superhero (laughs) stuff. (laughs) Fumble it again. If only DC was ready to take advantage with something other than you know non-binary Ezra Miller. I know. Uh, (laughs) uh, DC, you you done fucked yourself again. What? what? DC's next two films is Ezra Miller and then that crazy lady. I've got Watch some. Actually, Shazam, Shazam comes Amber. out and the, the box office yeah. projections for Shazam in a couple weeks are fucking <sighs> oh, rude. Oh, and it gets worse. It gets worse. Nobody cares. We'll talk Why about it later. See it? But I got some big news on on the Flash. <clears throat> on the Flash. Oh, yeah, Ooh. big big news. Ooh. Uh, what's Andrew up, Quarter Black? Hey, uh, what's what's up? Uh, I did not watch the Babysitter season three on Disney Plus because uh, I nope. did not know it came out until I saw Ryan's tweet about it, about it having zero hype, and I was like, oh yeah. Well, that that's the story, isn't it? So I mean, that's the real story. That is the only story. I- it didn't trend whatsoever on Twitter. <clears throat> it's dead and gone. This is your most successful TV show that you have. What do you got? So I'm I'm happy about that at least. Uh, at least I didn't have to watch a Marvel movie this week. Happy about that as well. Um, I'm just ready to to chit chat about this. Just the complete destruction of Hollywood. And like you just said, this would be a great time for WB to get together and uh, do something good. But they they seem to not be able to do that. No. So it's kind of sad. Kinda it's sad, sad, but it got it's gotten so bad now that it's funny. I'm just gonna laugh at it because that. Mm-hmm. What else can you do? It's such a mockery. Uh, Warner Brothers is too busy trying to make Lord of the Rings into Star Wars. I, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You're so smart, WB. We'll talk oh, about man. that. <laughs> I gave I under, them. The, I, I kind of understand, kind of where they're. I understand their logic, but they from. should but really. Lord of the Rings is already. I, I'm not it, one of these guys, Ryan, level. but they should really fucking listen to me and my video. Just. <laughs> just really listen to me. Don't make anything. Just merchandise the shit out of PJs. Lord of the Rings till the end of time. That's it. All, all you need hero to do. Movie, that's cool. Make yeah. that, but don't don't make anything else. Okay. Well, I think sometimes like we don't quite understand how out of touch some of these people are. Like to say we want to make something to Star Wars, that might that would have been fine ten years ago. Now people like look at that as like a death sentence because of how much Star Wars and Disney have destroyed their own brand. Like, why would you want to be compared to that right now? Uh, this is a this is an organization that hasn't put any movies out in years, won't put any movies out in years, and are only doing things on Disney Plus that continue to degrade their lore. And uh, here we are, season three of the flagship Disney Plus show, and the hype to me was at an all-time low. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people not talking about anything. A lot of people that didn't even know it was coming out. 
No. Um, yeah. And, I, and I'm not watching, so it's not like I'm sitting there ready to fucking tune in. But um, it's just crazy that nobody's talking about it. It's why I wonder, like, how much these executives actually know. Because remember that, was it Business Insider article about Amazon saying Rings of Power will be a success because they need it to be, and they're an analytics mm -hmm. company at their heart, and so they can make statistics say anything. Mm -hmm. And once your job it. relies on something being a success, the executives at the top, then they're, they're not, they're going to know what they know from meetings of people further down who give them statistics. And so mm -hmm. if your job is dependent on statistics, are they even actually getting told when something fails or are they getting given the preferred the sort of no um, they're they paying no, a, they're paying they're paying a company to give them what they want to hear and that's exactly yeah, what that you, is that company going to give so them really think, bad they, news disney's not known for liking bad news <laughs> they really spin it and and that's when what when a comp, when a corporation hits maturity it stops taking risks and it starts remaking their own animated movies and then the companies they hire start telling the execs who are fearing for their job stuff they don't want to hear. So they just get rid of them and they hire somebody that tells them what they want to hear, <laughs> you know, and they, wow. they own enough stuff and have enough revenue flows to hide this stuff from each other and the public forever. But there's one massive equation missing from all of these analytics. Uh, and you could see there's some guy going in there. I feel like I missed something. Oh, maybe we should ask what the paying customers think. Because that's never really yeah. equated. I know. Disney's like, I no. know. Rocket science. <laughs> yeah, so when they say we want to turn it into Star Wars, despite what actually might be happening, if everyone at the top thinks that Star Wars is a massive success, it makes sense that you'd emulate that. And yeah, so people yeah. are now and imitating. they're going to keep making like, those decisions. Copying failure because everybody at the top gets the same statistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you think uh, they would notice the diminishing returns that their bottom line has clearly been showing. I mean... Uh, Seems like they're slowly starting to notice. They it's are. Taking a while. Yeah. Well, didn't wow. they fire a bunch of people? They, they, they did. The they fired a bunch of people. Uh, streaming is is a giant. Uh, it, they're bleeding money through streaming. Yeah. Bleeding. All 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 of them are. I think the only people who oh no Amazon doesn't care if they're losing money. It's a it's a vanity project that they could lose tomorrow and they, it wouldn't affect their company at all. Uh, streaming is a failed business model. Yes, like it. Mm -hmm. It. We've talked about this a while, and without COVID happening, I don't think we see these guys jump as hard into it feet first as they did. But they decided, in order to keep our stock price up, to try to keep our stock price up. Look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna invest all this money to the future of streaming because blah blah blah. We don't need the box office, all this stuff, and it doesn't work. When you when you are <laughs> investing tens of millions of dollars for every single project that you have to put on your streamer instead of like what Netflix was doing, just waiting to see some that go up for licensing and get grabbing them for pennies on the dollar without making that initial investment. It, it's not going to be profitable with the type of the amount of content that all these people are trying to keep up with and push out. It's just not going to work. Nope. Eventually you're just going to have, eventually what will happen, a lot of these are going to fail and you're just going to end up with the three big ones because that's, it, like it's not going to be sustainable to make all this content yeah. for all of these fucking different platforms. And it only worked on it. Netflix so well because yeah. they were the only one at the time yep. uh -huh. and they had so much content from all these different publishers and then they slowly got pulled away and, and the pulled publishers away. And then they tried were making to make their own content and that tons was of money off of licensing. Yeah. And that's why Zaslav, yeah. the first thing he said was, oh, we're going to start licensing stuff. <laughs> we really need to do that. That's really lucrative. And that's where HBO probably has the leg up on everybody because they're still in linear TV. They can still license their stuff and they're streaming. Uh, not that it helps Warner Brothers who are still massively in debt, but uh, it, and Warner Brothers um, has already been doing that. Like when you look at like constantly, it seems like Lord of the Rings is flopping between streaming services. Harry Potter flops between streaming services. Yep. So. It's yeah. weird. I, I, Harry Potter is on multiple streaming services yep. for me at the moment, and they're turning into basically channels now, and it's going to evolve to the point where there's going to be a new streaming service that aggregates them all into one, and you pay for that fee, and you get them all yeah. underneath. You want to get the, gonna, the, you want to get the, it like oh, for Harry Potter new innovation. You, you want to get Legos. You want to get the peacock. Uh, uh, pe Gryffindor Legos. You want to get the peacock. Ooh, uh, you did it all by yourself. He did. Uh, without, you, he without help from my mummy. If you're a Harry Potter fan and you want to see the TV versions, the extended versions, you got to go to Peacock. Yep. I've been I watching the fuck out of those, actually. Yep, and they're, they're actually, much better. It, it pretty embarrassing. I use the term obliviated 
uh, on in a video <laughs> where I meant, I meant I meant obliterate. Because I've been watching so much Harry Potter, I've been lit like they've been popping back up in my some like Harry Potter theory videos from like five yeah. years ago, just been all in my fucking algorithm because of Hogwarts Legacy, and I've been re-listening to the audio books and everything. So I just said it and put it out. And the first <laughs> couple of comments were like, is that a new word? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yes, it is. Nothing. I, I would believe you. Video got 100,000 views. So there you go. I don't know how many people noticed. You it, must be stupefied if you so. didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> what a disaster. Um, hello, Chrissy Mayer. It was lovely seeing you in San Diego for two brilliant shows. Which I mean, You should have recorded those. Those were good. I did. I you recorded did. Good. with my phone. Oh, I finally oh, bought a should, like, watch because <laughs> I always use my phone to record my timing and like, yes, I should know like where I am in my set, but I don't. So I always recorded my phone, but I was like, oh, I know I'm going to buy a, a watch so I can see where what time I am in in my set. And I can use my phone to record myself. So now I can put out little clippies, which was uh, which is the point. <laughs> and yeah, I it was crazy. I feel bad that I couldn't get it to work last Friday. I went to a guitar center, like bought a microphone, brought it back. Not only did it not work, but my microphone like fucked up all your shit, yeah. Gary. <laughs> it like put a it put a hex on everything. And then you were like, just go away, go shopping. And I was like, you are told I me did. twice. I said, little lady, like, just, go like, to go loud. shopping I was like, hey. <laughs> with my wife. It was really fun. I got yeah. a lot of cute outfits. It worked out. Every, it all worked out. Hey, uh, that was cool, actually, that you went and hung out with Lila and uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic. Yeah, that was a very nice mall. Almost too nice for me. but Yeah, it's hoity toity now. Nice. But believe it or not, that's the mall uh, that I used to like get really high at and uh, get in fights. It used to be, that's where all the little punk rockers used to hang out, but then wow. they put a billion dollars in and made it hoity toity. Wait, which one is this? Uh, UTC. Oh, yeah. Okay. University Town Center in La Jolla. La Jolla. Yeah, I thought it was La Jola. What'd you just call me? I just, I just called you a whore. Wow, La Jola. <laughs> La Jola. La Jolla. The jewel. No, it means the jewel. As okay. Let's call you a whore. Really an insult at this point. At least you're getting some. Huh? Yeah, and there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, nice shirt, Chrissy. By the way. Yeah, thank Ew. you, Cam from Flagrant Triggers. Uh, he sent me this shirt actually like pre-cut. I don't know if he cut this himself or what. But oh yeah, it's he, like, he he cut the back. He got out. a 3D like, uh, yeah. AI model of your body and cut it. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I was trying to show the whole thing. She was like trying to show it off without like lifting her shirt up or like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she was just yeah. about to lift his shirt up. It's like, oh whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, What's, oh, hey, oh. wait, Chrissy. What, Chrissy? Does it is it weird stitching? What does the Marvel look like on the inside? <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow. She may have red hair, but she's a blonde. Hey! And then he sent me this one too, which is very scandalous, and like it's. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like a little, a little superhero top. It's like a little stepmom. Oh my god, the top. chat! Is I don't know. Hang on. I, I don't know. Like, like, I don't know if my body is ready for this. Yeah. It looks like it. looks like something you wear right before you're gonna uh -huh. get in the fire. Yeah. Mm. It almost looks like a cheerleading outfit, actually. Which I was a cheerleader. This is uh, you're not making it unattractive, extra girl. That's right. Yeah, I like yeah. it like that. Oh. <laughs> I tried to do that thing where they can take your arm out and then you. Remember when you were little, you would like move your thing up and down. Yeah, baby, baby. Um, <laughs> what thing? Up and down? I don't know what you're talking about. No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You didn't used to do this with your shirt when you were yeah. little. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Wait, yeah. hold on. You gotta watch her do it now. Remember when you were little? In grade school, everybody did this. They would take Chrissy, roll, roll adults here. We've all seen yeah. stuff before. They'd Just take their sleeve out and then they do this. Yeah, you guys yeah, didn't yeah. do this growing up. This was like, no, you, you, it, it, like if anybody did it now, you'd make fun of them because they looked retarded. But I know, I don't know why we did that, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, this must be like an American well, thing. Maybe no, because we were retarded. No, Not that, a Texas that came thing. all the way over to Australia. All right, this is how we had fun before iPhones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait, kids did it in Australia. Who's retarded now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did uh, did Chrissy just become an alt right thirst trap? Yes. Ooh, it's there about time. It has been.
if while. she would have like put that shirt on maybe it's too little it would be too no one would like it yeah that's hey, or we're... everyone would like it <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Not that simple. <laughs> we're willing to give it a try, Chrissy. We're willing to give it. A try. All right, give it a try, as. <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> I would look like Honey Boo Boo. I'd be like. <laughs> uh, hello, Exit a Goo. Hello. Uh, I have a new shirt too. Not as cool as Chrissy's, but it's a, oh, a South Park oh. shirt. Beefcake. I went to Walmart and they found that there in the kids section. I love it. Nice. There you go. Hey, nice. uh, guess who doesn't have Walmarts anymore? California? Por Portland. Portland, Portland oh, Oregon. Wow. Portland, they Oregon, closed yeah. them nice. all. Them right out. They closed they them all. They are leaving <gasps> town. Yep. They That's shut down uh, three That's Walmarts. They keep getting what? looted? Yeah. I oh, couldn't, no. I couldn't imagine... <laughs> Living somewhere and not being able to go to a Walmart. Well, San Francisco yeah. never what had are you Walmarts. What do when you need an extension cable? And that was smart. Sweatpants. Yeah, and, and they eggs. have great hours. But a Target. They're open from like seven till like I need 11. all of those. Target's okay. Mm. I like Target. Okay. No, those Targets they all over San Francisco, last. but no Walmarts anywhere. Sounds Walmart is right. bizarre. I went to Walmart when I went over to the U.S. last. You got food and then you got clothes, and they're all mm -hmm. in the same yeah. shop with like fuck yeah. and takeout food at the front. So what is, what you got food in front. You it's got a fucking super store. center. What you can get your car. Wait, you, there's a garden center. You can get your car worked on. You can buy a TV. You can go get some food. Uh, you can watch some uh, white trash walking around. I mean, like, by the way, hail white trash. I come from a long line of white trash. So I bought a shirt when I was at Walmart, going by the same sizing kind of comparison that I have in Australia, and. I was like, yeah, extra large. I'm extra large. Got it. It was about five sizes too big. Yeah. It's like, okay. American extra large is. US, yes. U.S. extra large is, wow. You Dude, guys are closer, to, you guys are closer wow. to European sizes. Do you right? have like Asian sizes? Because like, a, I think I wear like a double XL for Asian wow. sizes. It's crazy. Yeah, you bought your shirt. You, you bought your shirt. Kind of the, a monster compared to most of your. Yeah, you're a giant. I thought there was only one Asian size, small. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> let people know. Extra small. <laughs> It's across the board. No, no, the, the size comparison across the board. I went to Burger King and I was like, oh, oh yeah, give me a large, right? And oh, your no. freaking large drinks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, oh, it's, like, it's like a 72 oh, yeah. hour. Like, our, our bacon deluxe are these little things. And so I usually get two. And your bacon deluxe is twice as big. And I'm like, I Hell yeah. The, yeah we, the we live in a country. We, we live in a fucking gluttonous country where know, food is in abundance. Way, and we like to brag to everybody else about how much we fucking eat to make you feel poor. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. That's uh, what we do. Everything the clothes I'm expand saying, as well. It's yeah, like all the nine yeah, they're stretchy. <laughs> they, yeah. they need to. All the nine line t-shirts go to about triple the size that they actually wow. are when you first get them. You're like, this is small. It's like, oh no, uh, it just comes all the way out here. Shad, so, every, Shad. Everything I'm saying is a compliment, by the way. Oh, yeah, I Shad, I no, I know, no. I know what a shot now. I love yeah. going to Olive Garden because you get free bread, free salad, and then I just take the pasta home for meals Dude, later. No, Let Shad, when yeah. you come to it's Texas, horrible. and you will come to Texas, I'm going to take you to the Citadel of Capitalism, Bucky's. Oh, yeah. it's <laughs> an amazing place. Bucky's is the, the Bucky's is the Walmart of gas stations. Of ga it's a gas oh, station, oh. but if you go in there, it's barbecue. You spend a whole day there. Oh man, <laughs> barbecue, oh, dude! It has the best brisket I've ever had in my life. I literally ate it good. in my car with my hands yep. while I drove. It it's got a whole so flea good. market in there. They make their own gummy the bears. Part? They make the their own gummy bears oh, and they're fucking good. <laughs> but the best like part about Bucky's is the fucking bathrooms. Yes. Because when yeah. it comes to gas station bathrooms, it doesn't get any better than Bucky's. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Texas has hey, what the they do in there? Texas they has the best rest they have stops. Art. No, they got somebody that fucking sucks your cock as soon as you walk in. Uh, but no, like, they don't they have, have but they, they are very <laughs> clean and they're everyone has individual like stalls that are like very very spacious and everything. And room, everything. You have like a whole door. It's like a tiny apartment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah, basically the bathroom. The apartment. Every stall is the size of Az's house. Like that's yeah. really the way you can. <laughs> and, and Texas rest stops, which are run by the Blair. Department of uh, Transportation, which I uh, 
went by a couple are the cleanest freaking rest stops yeah. I've ever oh, seen. They have little museums on the outside. And there's so many gas tells you about the And there's somebody yeah. working yeah. in there. Like, there's somebody actually working like 24 hours in there, which and it's crazy. And it's out in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. It's like two hours <laughs> to this place and two hours away. Yep. Yep. And there's somebody out there like, oh, and here's a napkin. Oh, yeah. You want to see, you wanna see a museum with some arrowheads you. or something like that? Yeah, at you three need in the morning. Road trip. Yeah. Yeah, and you like can an get like uh trick. you can get so much like basically America merch. Like you can get a don't tread on me mug, you can get like a American flag, everything, a camo, like you could you could just like buy a whole new outfit, be a whole new character. America's great. I I'm wanna get uh boots, those uh cowboy boots. No, well, well, we'll, we'll come to the boot barn. Boot barn. Boot barn. Yeah. That's so cute. We have like fifteen of them around me. Oh yeah. They're everywhere. Well, a lot of boots. We got uh, we got women to about fucking shopping now, Gary. So, okay, let's, <laughs> shoes. Let's, this is let's, now a shopping not shoes. show. It's now. Let's <laughs> introduce our guest. Oh who's, yeah. Oh, who's like oh, yeah. I don't give a shit about any of this America stuff. <laughs> no, <right. laughs> yeah. What's You're up, so Disbrew? Gas stations and boots. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't leave my house. I'm watching freaking Mandalorian all day. <laughs> Fuck your cars. I didn't know. Like, what is the compared to that. <laughs> I did learn a very important lesson with the Mandalorian. It is never say you want Baby Yoda turned into a footballer's merch because every time he appears on stream, you want to drop kick him in the face. I do. Baby Beautiful Yoda wine. is remarkably popular. And they are very aggressive, and they, they like immediately just took. No, I'm leaving the video. That's it. I, I, Baby Yoda's the only thing I came to this review for, and you immediately insulted him. So I'm, I'm never gonna. At least you didn't oh, stand no. your Baby ground. Yoda, like, as. And ironically, <laughs> for me, like Baby Yoda was the only enjoyable thing about that. Oh episode. no! Yeah, was, least, the entire yeah. show was like, I can't he's a part of the scenery. Him. Here's his face. Scenery face. I don't care about it. He doesn't even speak. He just makes noises. He's really hamming I, it up they, in this in this season. He's I think like, they've captured that. Like <laughs> they know the one of the only likable things might be Baby Yoda, so they're leading into it. But Jesus was, fucking look, Christ! Fuck. Like, <laughs> I enjoy it. I think it's. This is, this, is, this is what you should do with Baby Yoda. This is what Star Wars is now. Yeah. Do you oh, have no, a Baby Yoda to, not, to hurt anymore? Oh, no. Eating a cookie. Hey? Uh, did he's he, so soft and cuddly. Does yeah, anybody recall him. when as uh, abs? Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Really mad at me in the chat for simping for Baby Yoda. I'm not oh. sorry. He's cute. He's the only thing in Star Wars Rhino. that's cute. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> the camera goes. Uh oh, you know, here we go. They need people <laughs> like you to like Baby Yoda to to thrive. I know. <laughs> we must kill Baby Yoda. We must roast Baby Yoda on yes. open fire. Yes. That's why they're gonna kill him because they think they they know that there's people that actually like him and they're gonna be like, we can't have happy fans. We need to kill this fuck. <laughs> Yes. 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 Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Wow, he's in his underpants! He's in his underpants! And then he stuffs it down his pants. <laughs> Fuck Baby Yoda. No, no. so as, tell us how you really feel about it. Now he has <laughs> a beverage. I'm uh, so not a big cute. Baby Yoda fan. Just well, uh, that... for the record. Oh, and this season just doubled down on him. He's in mm. way more scenes than he was in the previous <sighs> ones. And I'd also oh. like to announce that I'm now, uh, I have been hired to work on the uh, next Wonder Woman movie. I'm going to be playing every single Amazon on the entire island. Uh, a lot of people think it's a stupid idea, but I think with my hair, I put a lot more effort into the piece than any of the Lost Boys did. So I think it works. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to my new inclusive opportunity. Disbrew as the now, Amazons. Just to cast anyone. Yes. Can't wait to exactly. see. Exactly. I think well, it works. Well, you probably look more like a woman than the ones that I have, so. Well, you could be in the joke. Game of Thrones uh, Themyscira show that but, uh, DC has announced because we can't wait to see oh. an all-female Game of Thrones. And Disbury, that wasn't an insult to you, by the way. It was an insult to. to no, I took it as women. an insult. Insult to Disbury. I'm fine with that. You just repeated both. the same joke back at me. <laughs> it was, yeah, was, hey, hey, it was rephrased. It was rephrased. <laughs> it was basically, an, it was basically just like an AI, AI joke. Of insults. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Disper's haircut does look like it was uh, made by AI, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're growing it out, Disper. I'm incredibly lazy. Would you, you tell the, the weirdest thing that came out of it 
is I found out that other people care more about my hair than I do. Because I don't care about my hair at all. It's like, whatever. I, you don't I have can't to look at it. Cool to care. But, uh, I care I about people. mine, but people still care more. I'm so confused now <laughs> when people say something looks like AI. I don't know if they're saying it looks good or bad because people can't make up their mind. It's either mm -hmm. so terrible that it was not going to threaten everyone's jobs or it's so amazing that it's going to ruin the industry. I, 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 I don't, don't know. know. The, uh, the worst part Did, about AI art in my mind is that my entire timeline is flooded with Shad fucking arguing with people <laughs> about AI. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like all hours right. of the fucking day. It's just like, it's like, are you going to be the first right, person right. I mute on Twitter ever? <laughs> so. Did you see the Rock Paper defense. Scissors anime that uh, they yeah. made? It was like yeah, a combination amazing. of real life. It was, awesome. that was incredible. Friggin' amazing. It was like, what, four guys that made that in like a yeah. month? Like, it's awesome. This, I'm. Like, I want to try and do animation in the future, and what they are showing is, like, that's actually within my means. Um, <clears throat> it, to, to do, like, motion capture and everything, where, like, that's that would take so much money, I don't think I would ever get to the point where I could try and do something like that. But, oh, with that, wow, I could try and do something. And guess what? That would create more jobs, because I'd hire people to help you to do it. You, get, you gotta get costumes, you gotta well, have somebody... To, to, yeah. About the camera, jobs like, argument, particularly camera, in lights. Hollywood, Shad... Uh, they're outsourcing most of that anyway, and they're going to outsource more once they unionize, and mm -hmm. hopefully they go on strike. I'm praying they go on strike. That would be mm -hmm. the dumbest fucking decision Hollywood could ever make is going on strike. Oh, so no. I am here for no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you happen? go on strike. You yeah. go on strike. Go, go, go. <laughs> so, in right. my defense, yeah. in my defense about flooding all your things on Twitter and everything, I sometimes get a bout of insomnia where I'm just up all night. And so I was just up all night fighting with people on Twitter yeah. saying, it was just, what are you going to, sure. you know, what are you going to It's kind of like putting up a Make fun. Marvel Mail Again shirt just to fuck around <laughs> yeah. for five minutes. And I mean... then your Twitter <laughs> timeline gets devastated for three days. <laughs> Miles Morales is Miles Morales. I always know you, no, you want to cause trouble with that. Ryan has pointed this out correctly. So every time uh, we put that shirt up and then we get called gay by the people who are calling us homophobes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that, I, they're using gay as an wow. insult, which I am t yeah. I'm totally down for that. that yeah, right? it's fine. <laughs> it's <just> hilarious. <laughs> These people are then using gay as an insult after telling us that we're the ones that want to fucking hunt them all down and eradicate them or something like yeah. yeah. that. So it's just ironic. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? Um, hey, what do we? Okay, let's talk about Mandalorian first. Just get it out of the way. Um, nothing happened. The end. Uh, it was task oriented video game cutscenes with like. Stupid dialogue that that was barely passable in a bad video game. Uh, it was boring. Uh, they completely. Un I mean, if you didn't watch Boba Fett, you have no freaking idea what's going on. Yeah, like that's a, that's such a big fail in my mind. It's like you had these pivotal episodes in an entire another TV show, but people coming mm -hmm. to this season, they're going to be lost. Like, what the hell is going on? They but should have shown a preview of, of him taking off his helmet so we understand why he has to bathe in the special Mandalorian juice, juice. waters. Lake <laughs> Which is, <laughs> is retarded. Like, like this, this religion is annoying me already with how stupid its dictates it, it, are. The, the, the now, Mandalorians are freaking dumb. <laughs> oh, they are dumb. For one, never take off your helmet and then they make... Uh, oh God, I'm forget. Uh, the Grizz is the name of the channel. He he does this. Uh, we might maybe I can show the video later. He does a uh, a pretty good edit of all the fan reactions or overreactions uh -huh. that are totally you know. Somebody's like, "Are they making Baby Yoda a helmet?" Uh, no, it's just for this kid. And then <laughs> it's a kid that's it's a helmet that's I like he's that. he's going to grow out of. And they go, "You can never take it off." Well, well, what about right. when I after puberty? Like, can I take it off then? Maybe it's like Symbolic, a okay. tiny foot binder. You just have to. It's a head oh. binder. <laughs> every every yeah. Mandalorian is really tiny, tiny helmet, <laughs> and they have a tiny little face. Yeah, they're all <laughs> they're all baby babies. babies. They all have a little head. <laughs> uh, Mahler <laughs> pointed it out yesterday. Like he, the okay, dark saber. He took off his helmet to eat. He took yeah. off his helmet yeah, to you're eat. You're allowed to take your helmet off if people aren't around. But he but was looking at a window where people could have seen him in the first season, dude. He like was eating in a window, so he was, an open window. Looking out the window, and they could have just turned around and gone, Hey, Mando! Hey, <laughs> What's up, Mando? <laughs> What's hey, up, bro? Looking good without the helmet. Nice disbrew haircut, Mando. There you go. <laughs> hey, you're not nuts to go with your berries. <laughs> no, Mahler pointed think... out like the dark saber has to be. Uh, you have to get it in combat, right? And then he goes, yeah. "What if somebody dies of a heart attack or dies in their sleep? <laughs> like, when, like, how do you deal with you're it? Gonna then? punch no. him in the face well, when he's lying there. Uh, so I got to take it and stab him with it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. Or like. 
with the dead hand, like, no, and then like pretend you're fighting yourself. Like, ah. <laughs> no, it's not right? Did you die? Oh. No, did you die with the saber or of the saber? Sorry, it's uh, like, I, I haven't, I, I haven't watched this episode. I don't plan to watch this episode. But the the idea of like the the dark saber and the continuity stuff, it's like it's so frustrating when the fucking person who came up with all these like with all like these bullshit rules surrounding it is the one who just so freely is willing to like change it at each and every opportunity when suddenly you don't want to even like be challenged to try to tell a story around it. You're just willing to change continuity at a whim with Dave Filoni. Well, they reset always everything. how that guy's been. Yep. Forever. Same same way. I'm not watching this show. I don't give a fuck about it. But I know that Baby Yoda's back, and I know that he's trying to become back, like get back in the good graces of the Mandalorians. So you've completely reset your show between the shows. You, you said at the mm -hmm. end of the season two, Baby Yoda's gone. He's off with Luke. You're no yep. longer a Mandalorian. And then you reset that in Boba Fett through half of that show. Yeah. And you now are resetting through the first two episodes your decision in the second season. So why watch the show? Because it's Dude. gonna it's gonna build up things like oh man, Luke Skywalker. No, Garrett, did oh, you notice? Man, no, no, did you notice in the previously on they did a conversation between girl boss Mandalorian and Mando where they said you took off your helmet, you're now an apostate. I'm paraphrasing, and then they in the show he goes back and has the same convert. Well, mm -hmm. it's. But different. <laughs> so they they contradicted themselves within five minutes. And well, I was they like, know nobody's what? watching, so they're like, we have to remind you. Yeah, in well, the show. Thing. So that the last conversation didn't count. Awful. Now we're gonna count this conversation. Yeah. It was literally, well, you, you can't forgive me because I need to bathe in these waters. What? Well, I, yeah, you can't forgive me. Well, you can't have to bathe in these waters. I'm gonna go bathe in the waters. Yeah, you go and bathe in the waters. Will you forgive me then? Yeah, I'll forgive you then. Just cut him with Baby Yoda's face in the middle of it for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Also, and I think that's. Why they reset it? I think they realized they made a mistake at the mm -hmm. end because Baby Yoda is the only thing anyone likes in the series. Yep. And Mandalorian is a much bigger series. But We've got to get him back in before that starts. But now Baby Yoda can wave. Things. But yeah. they mm -hmm. dug themselves oh, no, no. out of the hole of the helmet, and now they're digging themselves back into the hole with having to wear the helmet. And how is he going to yeah. prove that he bathed in? A, he can't take a selfie. Like, how is it just the honor system? Like, how can he prove that he bathed in the? Is water? there like an attendant he, there that's like, okay, well, check it, off you? You did it have yeah. to be honor system because she Polaroid went. Did you take off his something? helmet? He could have just gone, nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Who knew? Uh, who grasped him up? Nobody Baby did. Yoda? I don't think he answered the question. Well, no, no, Bo-Katan. Bo told on him? Well, yeah. Bo-Katan was there That's when he British, took off his uh, helmet to say goodbye to Baby Yoda. No, no, yeah, he tells, yeah, no, he tells her in, in the Boba Fett episode, she was there when she asked, he defeat like, the guy wants a challenge with the dark save, he defeats the guy, and then she decides to come out and ask him, have you ever taken off your helmet or something like that? It's and he very random, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, just, why would you ask me that? Why don't you ask how my dad was? You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's because they were getting ready to like fight or whatever. And that's something that isn't that something they try to do when they fight is take off each other's helmets to like fucking shame them or whatever. Dishonor uh, them. Well, he didn't do that to defeat him. He just held a vibro blade to his neck and then is like, oh. vibrator. Vibro blade. Vibro I, bet, blade. I bet all the Mandalorians Vibro. they take their hel helmets off if they have to take a shit. You know how some people they like to take all their clothes off. When are you George Costanza? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. What? Is that a thing that what? men do? Take all my clothes you, off. <laughs> this is a not... man thing. What? No. No. What? No. Is there something you want to tell us? If I just masturbate, no, I'm not. What's this like? Take off your helmet. How did you find this out? I don't know. I hear things. I'm around men. You're around Frank. comedians, okay? <laughs> you're around freaking comedians, no, and you're all a bunch I've of freaks. I've heard that guys will get naked to take a shit. They'll just take everything off. No, it feels wow, better. that sounds too difficult. No, no, way too lazy that. for that. No. Was I pumped? We won't sit Christy, down to Christy, pee. You think we take yeah, our clothes off to shit? People who stand up when they go to pee. Yeah. Right? Like, we try and Come do on. the laziest option possible. We got things yeah, to do, efficient. buildings to build, no, technology to make, <laughs> bridges to make. Just like, am I pulling my pants down even. past my knees? Like that's like the <laughs> that's the question. How long do I plan on being here? Yeah. Nobody does this. My God. <laughs> no. I mean, Weird. we should ask the audience. Who does really this? The better question. Paul time. Imagine if you walked into a bathroom, like a public why, why bathroom, and the dude was naked. naked? <laughs> <laughs> the only people no. that do, do that are. No, the, oh, I will say this: the only people that do that are retarded people. Sometimes, like <laughs> if you're at like a Walmart or a fucking theme park, and there's like a group of retarded people going on a field trip. Every once in a while, you just come up to a urinal and you'll see one of them with their pants on the fucking ground. So. 
maybe Chrissy knows a lot of retarded people. I do. Yeah. She I'm hangs out with a lot of comedians. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Twitter. No, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm being serious, though. You guys know that. You yes. probably at one point yeah. in time have walked into a bathroom. And there's a, a big ass person. <laughs> right you understand. Here. You're yeah, like, you understand. You go like, okay, you know, I get it. Hey, you do there's actually thing. a substantial amount of people saying yes. Yeah. There's there's wrong. Wrong. No, there's there's wrong. What are you trolling you guys? No, 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 get out of here. They're trolling. They're trolling. These are my allies, the 21 percenters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see how quick we wanted to get off the Mandalorian? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, straight to getting naked to take shit. Back on the Mandalorian. My favorite part. I'm more part... talking about naked Just having through... a shit than the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> The best part, the funniest part was when the pirates came to town and they were insistent on like getting a drink at, at the school. Well, it used to be a bar. We really want a drink here. And and he was like, the black guy was like, no, it's a school now. And the pirate was like, the black really guy, drink here. Carl Weathers, the black guy. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> and yeah, th but you're right. They're so oh. whole bit insisted that we're going to have a drink yeah. at this place. It's like, yeah, why? Is it that important to you? You're going to. Risk, uh, so it was dumb. Why do you want to? What, yeah. Also, what pirates. This? I found it Wait, hilarious. Andrew they actually, pirates? What the they fuck? actually <laughs> wanted to make them look like pirates. They gave them like pirate looking jackets and things. Yeah. That is like, oh, this is new to Get a pirate world. beard. He what was made of seaweed. The, uh, One of the dude was, was made of seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> what happened to the Zephyr people? Did they get murdered in their sleep? Probably. I hope so. Like, also, that's, that's like a lava planet, and now it's growing trees, and it's got grass and things. It's like, okay, uh, they're terraforming, I guess. Sure. Maybe. And somebody needed to watch The Terminator, because we had an android fight that was supposed to be really scary and tense, and he's just dragging himself slowly across the floor with one arm. And it was yeah. stopped by someone pushing over a moderately sized statue on him. And he's like, I'm not sure if I can take him if he's got all of his limbs. Well, you, you stopped him incredibly easy before. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Mando... The, the the great um, bounty hunter that it is uh, manages to miss a droid two feet in front of him on the floor that's moving at the pace of one arm by about three yeah. foot on the floor. Because and also, in in this is bear in mind, hands. like they actually do shoot the android several times, and he took out that android with one blaster bolt in the first episode, and now mm. it's just it's unstoppable. They're shooting it and it keeps going. <laughs> And the only reason I think he got damaged in the first place is you could show little tiny mechanics that Yoda, Yoda can hog. So now we've got two little tiny things we can turn into merchandise and toys. Yay! It's Can't the minion all effect. It's <laughs> the minion effect. What are the little mechanics called? The incredible seaweed. I'm not even sure they gave him a name, didn't they? No, he has a name. The little rat raccoon Look, mechanic guy. He's even guy. wearing a pirate <laughs> sash. It's <laughs> like. You don't have to make them look like actual pirates to be pirates. Yeah, the pimp king. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, surely the king would be like if he had a peg leg or something. Babu. But... What did you just call me? It was Babu. <laughs> <laughs> it was Babu. Probably an insult. <laughs> oh, it was. Babu Frick. Babu, Babu Frick. Frick is in it. What? They brought Babu Frick people back. Uh, but I it's, mean, hey, it's it's not leading. It's not leading into like my sequel trilogy. I like the part when it looked like Baby Yoda wanted to eat them. Okay, I thought that was like I heard. That was they cute. Eat them. <laughs> he kept squeezing them to death. Yeah, and just, yeah. Yeah. Stop That's touching cute. them. He's like, They're no. Like, thought Ezra like, made oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. Baby. So, so, so they did the Baby Yoda eats things joke for the fifty eighth time. Hey okay. Ryan, oh, never get old. Ryan, you know, I laughed. Me. I thought I was Ryan, like, you know what they clapped. You know what they introduced in this this episode? The space whales. The space whales. I I did hear someone told me that they showed showed Shadow of the Purgles, which really? if you're familiar with Rebels are hyperspace whales, uh, which are actually a big reason why fake ass Thrawn and bitch ass Ezra are missing right now, um, and that's going to be actually a big plot point probably for Ahsoka. But I did hear that there were the Purgles were kind of shown. And then, if you didn't watch the cartoons, you probably have no idea what that is. No, no idea. I, I did no not idea watch that cartoon. Like, are they implying that there's animals in hyperspace? They yes. are, yeah. They are. Is, they are, yes. I did find it funny when um, he goes all the way to Bo-Katan just to ask. Well, for, first he asked to join her, which came out of left field. I was like, what was when did you want to do that? But then it turns out he, he only went there to find out where the pools were that he wanted to bathe in. It's like, 
you don't have that on record. You don't know where it was. Like, These are big things. And then, no, it's just to learn the location of something. And you went all the way there. Okay. And you then you need to go to the pools of bathing. Okay. Where are they? Not going to tell you. Not going to tell you, yeah. but you need to get an Android first. <laughs> and when you find the Android, but you need to get a part for the Android. And then well, you need to make a part for the Android. I know Android. where it is, but there's still 15 minutes in the show. Yes. So, yeah. and then, then I need to go get the location. Then he leaves the Android. To go and see, I don't know. It's, it's bizarre. Like, yeah, is, the, is he, the, the is he trying to get the part, or is he just going to the planet now? And he says, "I'll find out if it's not poisoned." It's like, isn't that really easy to find out? Like, wouldn't people just check? On the the analytics room? say that we have to have a space battle now with and, the and pirates, <laughs> right? And then we need to go somewhere else. Baby Yoda needs to be cute every five minutes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm saving this. Oh my! What is this all about? Oh like, my! Oh, do you want to Save. show the original picture if you can find I, I, it? I saw let the me, picture, but like, what? the feather. It looks like he's looking at his dick. Face? Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. what it looks like. We've, like, we've like, all like, been there at a moment where you're like, "Wow, it just looks a little different today." I'm in the, you know, fucking 90th percentile of what my dick usually where looks is it? like. Where is it? It's I'm tweeting like a 14 year old girl now. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, there it is. Up, 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 up. There you go. The original. So there's the original. Wow. It just looks like Garrett, he's do you have the other one? <laughs> he's admiring himself. Yeah. <laughs> do you have your yeah. version? Ryan's like, there's nothing wrong with this, man. It actually yeah. looks like Ryan a little bit. There we go. And then there's the <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> 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 Original. Wow. And and the the <laughs> I can't believe they put oh. extra girl on there. <laughs> a little feather. <laughs> oh. now, okay, now we need another X-ray girl or Perry oh, Chance. So we can have the whole team. Energy. And Lady Gravemaster. We need the Lady Gravemaster too. Oh, she's another giant, by the way. Just Excessively massive. tall for a girl, like an Amazonian. Lady Amazonian. Oh, Mandalorian sucked. It was so. I like. I cannot even stay with it. I'm not. I okay. don't even care. I don't even care. Picard is better. Picard's first episode of season three was better. Picard will probably be better. Uh, Picard season three. Not the first two seasons, but uh, yeah. Watch the first three episodes of Picard. I enjoyed them. I yeah. Was like, yeah. Episode th- I, I graded episode one and two, six and a half out of ten each. Episode three, fucking hell, that is a belter. I up? was loving it. Absolutely loving it. But think about the disco fans, okay? Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. Hold your heads up high. Oh. Um, Story modern, tre- modern Trek Renaissance. They've what? changed. What? They've changed. <laughs> Delusional. The world. Oh. Wow. This is a this is a parody account, right? It's gotta be. Sniff your thoughts. Captain Pikachu. That's funny. Pika. Gotta be. Pika. Pika. Pike a chew. Yeah. Not Pikachu. 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 Um, so they use cake as eternal as the uh, like a memorable thing from Star Trek Discovery, which is retarded. Ba- retarded. Yeah. It's it's a, <laughs> it's a show run by is that black woman's name Michael. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's about all I know about Star Trek Discovery. Like <laughs> the fact what? that most what? people are going, it's still on the air. It was still on the air. What? I thought I legit thought it was. Off the air two seasons ago. Well, it's not. I did not know they made it to five. It's on the streaming service. Oh, Mm -hmm. true. Doesn't it air in Canada or something? I think it does, and it doesn't. I don't have TV, so I don't know. And I still remember the first series where there were so many like anti-law plot holes, and they even came out and said, "Don't worry, by the end of this season, we're going to do something really intelligent that'll just fix it all up, and you're going to be so embarrassed when you see what we do." It's just, oh, we travel into the future. Yep. Okay, but that doesn't solve what happened before. Saying, I'm never going to talk about this, and they travel into it. doesn't explain why the technology that you had in that ship never went anywhere else ever. They had incredibly advanced technology compared to where they should have been at the time. It's like, this goes all the way back to Lost. It's the same tactic they did. Like, yeah, oh, there's, there's things that explain it. Your theories will all make sense. Mm-hmm. It'll all make sense by the end. Same oh, people, same shit. We were just shit. bullshitting the whole time. We were yeah. just yeah. bullshitting the whole time. And Even Star in interviews Wars, with Lost Sins, they said they had no hey. idea what they were doing. <laughs> Uh, somehow the emperor returned. Yeah, uh, yeah, same people, same fucking people, and they're just everywhere in Hollywood. And then now we're seeing it all burned down. So hey, oh good well, for us. good for us. 
And maybe we'll get something new on the other side of it, you know, after like a, a burn in the forest. It burns all of the trees that are just mm. dying and taking up space, and it just burns it all down so the new stuff can grow. That's what mm -hmm. I'm waiting for. Exactly. Me too. It's like, all right, can't happen fast enough. Keep doing what you're doing, Disney. Star Wars. Uh, Peter Pan of the Wasp. Peter Pans. Let's Love go. it. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. And yeah, Peter Pan oh next. God, and it's like, Peter yes, Pan. keep going. You're doing great, Disney. I Why would they do that? Patel Pan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think any Peter Pan film has done well in the box office. I may be wrong about that, but I don't even I don't even think that Hook did well. It was a great movie. I love that movie. Rufio, Hook is great. Rufio, Rufio. Hook, 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 I, I watched that I think like, maybe a couple of years ago. I well, think I you know. teared up in it. It has such a good story of fatherhood. That is a, it is a like, tearjerker, but I don't think like, it did well. I don't think that, that those movies do well, so they keep remaking it. And think about the last one, Pan, with uh, Hugh Jackman. Oh, I haven't bombed. even watched it. It that bombed, bad. yeah. It yeah. bombed hard. So, like, what are you doing? And they keep making remaking their cartoon movies into live action, and those keep bombing. So why are you? Oh man, like Little Mermaid. No what are you like, doing? Uh... <laughs> Stop. Uh, we're the Lost Boys, but you're not a boys. So, so... oh. Let's uh, like, let's bring up the trailer. Should we watch the trailer? Yep. Yay. Seriously, just listen on that note. Struck. Like one of the important plot points of Peter Pan was that the Lost Boys had no girls. I thought because they wanted a mother to, you know, um, uh, no, they were too smart. Had, had... Too smart because girls were too. They were too girls didn't get smart. Or yeah. yeah, not like it, it, the, yeah, it's not like the there's problem. not women in the story. There are like Wendy's yeah. there, Tiger Lily's mm. there, Tinkerbell yeah. is there. Like there, there is female representation in the story, but it's not in the Lost Boys. Mm. And like, well, I... one of the stories is they wanted Wendy to be their mum, and it's like yeah. that seems to be completely yeah. undermined now. Well, you see, what? because you see, the traditional uh, wife is now seen as 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 the devil mm. you see what you need to do chad is you need to get in a same-sex relationship <laughs> get a kid and then cut the body parts off oh god that's how you modern god. parents and that is yeah, modern modern, parenting. modern yeah oh my goodness it's because mm. that was there was a theme of the original thing it, it was essentially that <gasps> men stay childish but the women were too intelligent they actually matured and carried on so they had kids had a family so they didn't need to be in this because they knew better well now yeah. disney's saying that modern women are more thick than they were in the 1950s and so now they're on the island with the stupid men that were there in the first place well finally and... they're getting something right well, <laughs> don't, don't, don't there pull is, yourselves there down a, to the, the level of taking care of human beings and raising them to the next generation yeah but that's for oh, just, yeah. those are for that's for slaves <laughs> But Losers. they could have played with that angle. They could have said that there is a problem with kind of the way things are and actually played off the fact that you weren't here before. This is a major issue. What's gone wrong over there to make you not fulfill what you, where you're meant to be going and why are you here? You, you're not meant to be here. You used to be better than this. But they can't do that because they agree with what it is. So they don't, they simultaneously don't understand the themes of the first one while wanting to change them. And so they can't, that's why you can't adapt it. You're making a different movie. Yep. And they're just like, no, we're going to put That sounds like oh, wow. everything they've made over the last five or six years. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's, here we go. It's not oh, just boy. Peter Pan, by the way. It's Peter Pan and Wendy. And Wendy. Okay. And Wendy. She, she's going to be the hero of this story. Oh, you Yo, know it. Yes. Heroin. <laughs> Can you get it right? On the when, when she already was, you don't need to. She was the lead character in the story. Peter yeah. Pan was kind of like, he was the person that you looked too. You go, oh, Peter Pan, he's a cool character, but it's really Wendy's story. It starts where w Wendy is. She gets taken to this other world. She convinces the kids to come back. It's really a Wendy story. But you I just want to say it's very, it. very bold, very bold of Hollywood in this day and age to make a story about this mythical island where young <laughs> people are kept. Um, you know, yeah, so Disney. I, just, I think it's interesting. <laughs> Tell me, do you bleed? <laughs> you will uh, you come to Neverland. Michael! John! Are you... Lost boys. Every last one of us. But you're not all boys. So? Oh, God. Uh, Chris! Oh, this is nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So modern. Oh, man. I, right at the beginning they, of the trailer. They too. chose that to be at the beginning of they the did. trailer. They did. Like, what what I was proud of. So. What do you want to bet when we finally see X-Men from Disney? Somebody's oh, yeah. going to go, 
You're not all men. So, oh my God, wait. <laughs> so, the ex, pe the ex people. That's what it's going to be called. Yeah. Uh, the X mutants. Them. X them. Pete found it. Just like he found all of us. It's like he found me. Peter Pan? Were you expecting someone else? Yes. Yeah, Peter Pan. Yes, oh, yes we were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He immediately cut to Tinkerbell after that. Yeah. What do you say, boys? You ready for an adventure? It looks very far away. It's closer than you think. Riveting acting now. This year. Ben exploded. Hmm? I don't, it, it's, exploded it's, Big Ben. It's, like, well, it's mm -hmm. basically, I know it's kind of tough to realize as, or a shad, but it's, it's essentially the toppling of the patriarchy with Big Ben. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very oh. symbol, it's a very <laughs> symbol. So they're smashing it. Smashing I just those, thought like, this, ceiling. this new Peter Pan is here to give IT support to the regular <laughs> Peter Pan. <laughs> uh, you medical you know, support. Fine. Did have you someone tried... forget that password? Uh, Did you turn you it off and turn it on? Thinking a happy little thought. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Steve. Thank you for calling customer service. Have you guys think, seen London lately? Labels, it makes sense. So. <laughs> there, look. White people at home. I'm afraid of my love. White people? Perhaps I will. People, don't just wait. White the past in your heart. Oh, but, Agar Lily. Cultural oh. consultants in for the, a team of cultural consultants. Yes. There's not going to be a chief. Readers. There's not going to be a chief. Yeah. And, and <laughs> she specifically chief. said that um, with the old Peter Pan, you know, I watched it when I was a kid, but that needs to be left there in the past. We we need oh to we God. need to move on from what that was because that who was the, that was problematic. Who said that? Who, who, Remaking who, 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 it. Uh, the, the one that like, watching was, uh, This last scene, I can't. I don't know her name. Pocahontas. Lily actress. Pocahontas. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she was the one that did the Elizabeth interview. Warren. <laughs> she is now <laughs> <laughs> in her truest form. Oh man! <laughs> what makes the red man red? Come on, yes. that'd be based if they bring I, that I song think, back. Come on. I really want to see Pander Pan. I don't know what you guys are talking about. The, the article said it was a massive issue in the original Peter Pan. Um, when one of them calls Peter Pan his pale-faced friend or something like that. I mean, I don't even know what to. Oh, pale face brother was the was the term that he used. It's like, Brian? what's even wrong with that? But that's wow. what's getting changed. They had Andorians an entire team called yeah, because his skins. their skin was was darker in complexion, yeah, red, it, it's and he was factual. pale faced. And they they he considered were friends. Brother. They were friends. It was about being friends together. My God. Hold the past in your heart. But Isn't you that just like here? saying it's up to you. my N word? What was that like? Hang on, go back. Hold the past in your heart, but where we go from here, it's up to you. It's an, another one let of the these fucking die. let the past let die the past lines. Die. Yeah. Oh, coming up. Disney, <laughs> hey, let the fucking past die. Yeah. Stop remaking your shit. Yeah. They're just being like, fuck the past. God, it makes no fucking sense. Well, it's part of, the of what, yeah, itself. That's them doing it in practice. They want to remake it, destroy the past, and put it in the new, the image that they want. And don't forget, uh, like, yep. don't remember the past, people. Don't get hooked up on it. This is the new stuff that we want you to absorb and learn from. And it's like, I don't care about it all that much because it's Peter Pan and I'm an adult. But I care about it because they're remaking it and they're trying to push this to your kids. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. They're remaking no, it in this and new they're modern constantly image. talking about modern audiences and moving things forward and being quote unquote progressive by just rehashing shit over yes. and over and yeah. over again. This is the least creative company on the fucking planet now. Yep. They don't make anything and new and anything they redo sucks like horribly. Mm. They are bad at television. Like the Disney well, he, Plus is just horrible. all of it's bad. Mm -hmm. Again, Ryan just pointed out their flagship show premiered a couple of days ago. Nobody, the biggest story of Mando's, nobody gives a shit anymore. Wow. They're screwed, <laughs> and I'm here for it. Yeah, but you've, simul right. <clears throat> you've simultaneously got a company who relies on their old, like their history, uh, their IPs that they've built before. They rely on what better people than, more talented people than them created, and they hate it. They're like, let it yeah. die. They well, you keep it. going back to it. You've employed uh, people that don't you understand your anything. entire business model and are incapable of replicating it. It's, exactly. It's and you end. don't you don't need to show your kids this new slop. The old stuff no. is still there, still and it's yeah, and it's like unless story. they change it on their streaming services, it's just uh, as good as it used to be yeah. um, in a lot of cases. So no, I'm not going to show my kids this. I'm I'm watching Dragon Ball Z with them. Like screw yeah. it. Shad. Yeah. I mean, Hollywood is devolving. 
I mean, that's the, like, it's, it's dying, it's devolving, it's an old model. They are scared to freaking death. Their money's uh, tied up. And as I talked about earlier, you are going to see a lot of things outright canceled or quietly shelved and never spoken of ever again, just in the next year. Like, things are done. Uh, the, the stuff that this stuff was already in production, it was already made, uh, you, you know, like this and Gotham Knights. You're going to see some garbage, you know, spewed out in the next few months. I, you, you promise you, there's Disney Marvel executives. There's one who's like, go, maybe we shouldn't put Marvels in the theaters. Maybe we should <laughs> you put it, it on yeah. Disney Plus. You know, they've had that conversation. <laughs> you know, they wow. have. Mm. Uh, Do you think this was intended? Then they got struggles. They got struggles. Maybe, yeah. Out of it. I think a lot of stuff. Well, they were they were pushing really hard for streaming content. Okay, so how many how many uh, new subscribers is Disney Plus going to get because of this? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero. The, the reason they cast the reason the they cast this Peter guy Pan, Peter Pan was to try to get all those them. Indian subscribers back that well, unsubscribed <laughs> because they lost cricket. Yep. So. Yeah. I will give you parameters. It's between zero and zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless he plays cricket. If he starts playing the, cricket, the, they might get some back. But In the time period, it would be very, it would be far more unlikely to find someone of that nationality with such a thick English accent that he has in the show. They just, like, hire a like, guy who's uh, fully Indian and has the Indian accent and lean into it, then, you cowards. But, no, like, they get a... There's a yeah, lot they of Indians to, And they can't with fly. They just take a, they just take a cab everywhere. Look. <laughs> <laughs> like, Where are you going? And not, then of course, we're not taking the West Side Highway. You... That is too much traffic. And then you've got Black <laughs> Tinkerbell, and it's like second star to live. Like t- okay. taking, <laughs> taking this like super iconic blonde-haired, blue-eyed character in Tinkerbell and making her black. And and listen, the the actress is beautiful. She's gorgeous, right? Every yeah. time I, you whenever you put her on the thumbnails, you're like, wow, she's really beautiful. She's not Tinkerbell. No, like they, they have set her up for this. Well, role, how you know predictable I mean? was that? Oh, they're remaking yeah. Peter Pan. Tinkerbell is going to be black. Everybody would have oh, guessed wow. that. Yeah. Why do they do not tell the fairies, by the way, in Disney? Why can't she be Asian? Puerto Rican. Because yeah, they would call her Tinkerbell. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be for Halloween. That's why. <laughs> Problematic. <laughs> Gary. All right, let's play. Oh, what no. we got? Wendy music. Moira, Angela, darling. Where is Peter Pan? We don't know. We're just hanging out with this Asian dude. In that sword fight, the guy on the right falls over. He's not even touched. It's it's another one from the Galadriel Rings of Power where they just walk into the cell. Oh, she just man. goes to the air and says, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. But hang on. Was was that Wendy guy kicking people's butts yeah. with a sword? Yes. My yes. internet's yes. dying and so I only saw frames. Oh, she beat like, three oh. people at the same time. Oh. I, it's before this, right? Yeah, it's just before that. Just before that, It'd go be back. You see, back. women can do things now. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. Wendy is giving me like young parent vibes. Yeah, right oh, there. Oh no! Oh. They're aiming for the snotty. They're, they're not even aiming for it. They're aiming for the this side and purposely going for yeah, the sword. The guy on the right the does same... nothing. He just reacts. I'm is gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swing my sword at the sword. Okay. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can you please? Uh, uh, can you please verify that these are the same choreographers that did the Galadriel fight? It must be. <laughs> it must be. And the throne gut. room fight in uh, Last Jedi. Oh, that that's bad. Times are changing. Just Ladies when it plays, watch stuff. the guy on the right. He, like she's not touching him. He's not touched her. Nothing. Oh, look. Hey, also, he just pops back. Look, he goes oh. back, like like he's oh. hit in the face. Oh. Nothing happened. Yeah, also, those are two full-grown guys. You know what that looks like? That looks like, like hands in the middle, wow. like everybody. Go team! All right, all right. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off as a swordsman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get a sword on, 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 on the leverage point of the thing. It's gonna you're gonna burst through the guard at all. Piss off that she can hold back the weight of two guys on that leverage point. Possibly three He's triggered. guys. He's triggered and, about the sword. <laughs> and <laughs> also, sword why accurate. is why is Peter why is Peter Pan fighting bitch for Tiger Lily yeah. when he can fucking fly? Yeah. Wow. Well, because of the symbolism, Ryan. Maybe okay. he's not happy right now. I don't know. Because girls get it done. 
<laughs> maybe he's had to spend so much time with so many fucking women that Peter Pan's not happy anymore and he can't fly. Oh. Maybe that's uh, it. <laughs> he's menstruating now. Oh my oh, god. Man. And she's down. She's down and he's like two two hundred pound, hundred and eighty five, two hundred pound guys, four hundred pounds combined against a hundred pound girl, maybe. Oh, not, mm, not even that. So that I don't even know how the third guy reaches them. Because it looks like that's just before she explodes upwards. Yeah, and, and then all of a sudden, he's miles he's over there. the right, wow. he just yeah. teleports. He just pops uh -huh. in. And then An pops animated out. movie from 50 or longer years ago has more verisimilitude than this. Yeah. That, like, we are devolving. Yeah, that's sad. Yep. I miss I miss when we had real diversity in Peter Pan. Uh, Hook. All right. Bring back Hook. Yeah. Bring back Asian representation with Rufio. Okay. Mm -hmm. He needed, Rufio. He needed a better ending. Stop the Asian Rufio. hate, Disney. Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. Rufio. Come on. Rufio's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's that another the other thing people complained moment. about. With with Jude Law, they're like, how did you cast Jude Law and then make him ugly? <laughs> so you've managed yeah, to piss off everybody. He's Captain <laughs> Hook. Captain Hook's supposed to be ugly. Jason Isaacs was a good Captain Hook. Even the he Mary Sue's coming after one. this, which I didn't expect. But like it just shows that Disney are crap at cinematography. They don't have any talent. No. This is all volume. It's all volume, Jim. And Wendy. That's so lame. Oh and my God. That Wendy is so lame. Get it done. Pure pan. Girls, the girl do times are changing. The ladies can do stuff now. <laughs> there are so many good like memes just about the name Peter Pan with this diversity though. It's it's like you've got you got Peter Pando, you've got <laughs> Petal Pan, you've got Pedro Pan, like, Andrew Pan. Yeah, there's like there's like so Patel many Pan. Patel Pan. There's there's so many different things you could do. Patel Pan. It is a meme though. It's a it's a parody. It's that's how ridiculous this has gotten. It so. Uh, it, it, it is. This this actually feels like a parody. It, it feels does. like satire. Yeah. It's like, where's, we're going oh, to make where's... Peter Pan how a woke fucking company would do Peter Pan. Where's Tinkerbell? Oh, she's getting in another fight at the airport. God yeah. damn it. Come on, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Get over here. Tinkerbell, you can fly. You don't need to take Spirit Airlines. Yeah. Come on. That's all the other excuse. It's like, oh, this is some ex conspiracy within Disney to make them look bad. Oh, God. It's a Mary Sue. Taking shots yeah. at Disney. Wow. Oh, the first Why Peter look Pan and Wendy and trip. Oh. That's, that's certainly an interesting way to describe the diversity. Uh, oh, but hey, what the hell? Yeah, trailer makes me wonder once again if Disney has something against good cinematography. No, they just have something against good storytelling. Yeah, and media uh, and just every aspect of creativity. Oh my God, Peter pandering. <laughs> You're pandering. Wow. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's even been people on the woke side complaining about this. I'm not sure yeah. if you mentioned mm -hmm. it when I had to duck out, but like it's getting too much for them. They're like, they're starting to realize, oh, this is Mary 40 Sue? seconds. Yeah, yeah the Mary know, Sue and... is about as woke and stupid as it gets. Yeah. They're like, hey, this isn't good. They are the bottom <laughs> of the garbage tier. I'm a pansexual, which means I'm attracted to anyone who can fly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you, you know, you, know, you okay. earn that. No, you no, that. no. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. Don't Take it back. Work <laughs> <Don't> the <laughs> material out, okay? The Mary Sue is a couple of girls who bought a pop vinyl and an X-Men comic once in high school, then took women's studies classes, and then started a website hating everything. That's the Mary Sue. Yep. Can't wait till they're gone. Uh, hey, hang on. Where was I? Oh, I wanted to bring uh, the Mandalorian again. I know, fuck the Mandalorian, but uh, Ryan, you didn't see it. So you hated yourself for bringing it back. I, I hate myself for bringing it back. But like when they're taking the kid out to make him a Mandalorian, they made him his little kid helmet that he can never take out again. They get attacked randomly by a giant alligator, and the giant. first thing I thought of was that kid who got dragged into the swamp by an alligator at Disney World, and it's the worst thing ever, you know? But that's oh, the first yeah. thing I think of. Like, wow, that's weird and meta. Disney's taking doing? inspiration from the real stories. From the real stories. What are they but... doing in that fight? A okay. crocodile turns up. You stand where you are, start blasting it, and then think, I'm going to attach ropes to this thing so it can't get away. Yeah. It's not trying to get away, and you want it to leave. But like, no, I'm going to hold it, it here. This will be fine. Like, it just death it, rolls. They all die. Like, congratulations. Make them look 
It made all the Mandalorians look really incompetent. I was wondering how the Empire wiped them out so easily, and then I was like, oh. Uh, it's pretty okay. easy. They're stupid. Oh, they just, hey, let's they, do they our suck. ceremonial yeah. thing at a beach where a giant, you know, uh, prehistoric <laughs> alligator comes and eats everybody yeah. all the Holy time. Holy crap. <laughs> they, are, they are lucky that Mando showed up at that convenient, perfect yes, time. Yeah. What the hell? Because if he didn't, neck. they were screwed. I was thinking, but surely they've got bigger firepower than this, and they're just floundering constantly. Did uh, also a did, cave behind them? Did, yeah, exactly. Did yeah. Was Bo Katan in this episode at all? Yeah, the, he visits her to at find out where the um pools are on Mandalore because he couldn't look uh, up a map. Did uh, <laughs> how did Katie Sackoff look in it? Good. Oh, probably. Oh, uh, still. She looks like like still the character of Bo Katan supposed to be in her mid sixties. Yeah, mid sixties. Accurate no. to that. No, oh, she looked good. Weird. She, I, I, it looked like that she just sits on a chair all the time. Yeah, with nothing to do, no phone, <laughs> nothing to no do. book. Like she's just sitting she, there, she's just sitting on this throne doing nothing. Doing and nothing. She, How? And no nail file, nothing. She's actually got like a built-in vibrator in her suit. That's all she does all day. <laughs> she's like, give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> give me oh, thirty no. seconds. Oh. Uh... We're just building up every single <laughs> cast member. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Save to desktop. Oh dear. At first uh, I was like, first I was like, eh, it's not a great like blend of the face, but whatever. And then I saw the trans person and I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm as even see it, like, like you, he's look right. as you're looking away. Very. Oh, he sees it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 it was like four times in the same week. <laughs> oh, look, it's another fucking tranny meme with me in it. Oh, <laughs> we love you. Oh, how how fucking kidding. original. Yeah, Please keep them coming. Oh, no, too much. I'm now. just going to keep shopping on eBay. Oh. What are you shopping for? Ash? Yeah, what are you shopping for? Tranny shit. <laughs> <laughs> With that one comment, it's gonna oh my. Two this is on erected <laughs> Transformers. Uh, and more than meets the eye. I Transformers. On his car. I was abbreviating Transformers. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a wheel jack. What are you trying to jack? Wheel. Wheel. Mm. wheel. It's around. There. I'm gonna send that. you something in the it? DMs. We'll show it later. It's pretty cringe. We need to wait. Was it like overreactions? Or it's something? overreactions, and hopefully the channel. He follows me on Twitter, so it's uh, Grizzy. Grizzy, go subscribe to Grizzy. He's got one point uh, one thousand five hundred subs, but he puts together these little mm -hmm. like uh, you know clips of the overreactions, and they're pretty cringe, dude. Pretty effing cringe and pretty genius. Uh, yeah, like uh, it, it's a little, it's a little bit crazy to me. Oh God, look at that! Um, disgusting. You know, <laughs> yeah, very beautiful. When, oh, when we oh. were 24 hours out, <laughs> and it seemed like a lot of people had no idea it was coming out on March 1st. No, and idea. then, um, and I woke up in the morning, didn't, didn't watch it, didn't want to watch it, but I did want to know if people were talking about it, right? Because I was interested in the reaction. So, I go to the trending tab. I go to like search by United States trend at what 10 in the morning something like that for me one through 30 no mandalorian no grogu no dinjarin no 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 nothing Baby there was one hashtag the mandalorian was a promoted tweet by disney that was it Damn. and that mm -hmm. wasn't the for me trends that was searching united states trending list uh the morning after the premiere of your flagship disney plus show the third season of the mandalorian and that to me is obviously a lot of us uh, two years ago when Gina Carano got fired, that definitely impacted the way a lot of people saw this. Uh, but I think, I think even more than that, I think what's had a bigger impact on it is how bad the Obi-Wan Kenobi series was, how bad the book of Boba Fett was and how much damage mm -hmm. it did and the, how it just destroyed anyone, any hope that some people may have had, in my opinion, falsely so in Star Wars. I think a lot of that's just been shattered the past two years. Uh, mm -hmm. Agreed. Star I mean, dead. we're not seeing anything. This is a cinematic franchise that they've turned into the, I mean, the equivalent of direct to video. It's a streaming, it's crappy streaming garbage. It's the Ewoks TV show 
that was in the 80s with the little kids. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. what Disney has turned it into. Full blown. So there was an Ewoks well TV done. show. Yeah, there, yes. Yeah, dude. There's fucking what? movies and shit, man. Yeah, I know yeah. there's movies. I like live action I Ewok TV, TV show series. with like the a droids. little blonde girl. I watched the it. Droid show. Cartoon. I was super I high believe, like, when I watched it. I remember it. the movie. Um, I, the movie that was fun with Wicked and stuff. And, you know, yip -cha. but I didn't know there was a show. Crap. Yep. Well, it was a TV special. It was a TV special. They did the cartoon. I think they did. Was it a cartoon of the Ewoks too? Or they did the droids. There was a droid. Yeah, there was a droids one. I can't remember if there was a. Because there was two movies to my Days knowledge, are a and it's, blurry. it's one of the movies based off the show. Then, because I, the, I just remember the movies. I don't remember like they may have aired them on TV. Oh, sure. They I, made it. I, well, the, the Ewok movie was on. It was a TV movie. It was a TV movie for like ABC or something like that. Yeah. Long time ago. Long, long. time I know ago. people who love those. I don't I, love them. I don't. They they suck. <laughs> I have nostalgia. I'd rather watch the fucking kid, holiday and, and the and special. As a kid, you just yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. Did you find that, Garrett? I put it in the Twitter DM. Are you? That's the Ewok show. That's the Ewok show. No. Did you find what I put in the FNT Twitter DM? Uh, yeah. I put the video in. Yes, the, the Ewok show. Uh, I was in my late teens and getting really high, so I didn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the Ewoks. I didn't like the Ewoks at all, except when oh, wow. one died. <laughs> yeah, when one when when the one dies and he's like smoking, like, oh, and the other one comes up and he's like shaking him and crying. It, uh, I think it movie. was wasn't it Tebow that died? Maybe. I don't I think know. It was Tim name. Tebow, I don't. Uh, oh man, don't. I just know I think that it sound they make I when they die. I think it was Tebow. I think the dead Ewok was Tebow. I think a lot of Ewoks died. Last time I Ewoks checked, Ewoks are Tebow the proto Baby Yoda. Yep, they, they should are. die as well. Oh. Oriana's back. We're here for the Mandalorian season thrust today. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nothing short of fantastic. Season one was great. Season two was absolutely amazing. Not even close. We are for back. this season, dude. Yes. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Hi. And they, more than enthusiastic about it. They sound dead inside. So excited. Hello. They sound That's like actors. Hello, I, could <laughs> I could watch her. I could I could watch that channel. Let's see how far we could go. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I should mention we should mention the channel again. And look, uh, I have product. I am fan. Believe me. I am fan. Please buy product. I just bought this. I did not just buy this little baby Yoda <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> to rip the head off of. It's did, you bought it just for that, didn't you? Yeah. And look, well played, sir. Well Grizzy. Played. Oh, we, uh, <laughs> I kept it as well. I kept thanks the, for letting us show your video. <laughs> Go subscribe. Go Headless. subscribe to Grizzy. I've got a baby Yoda -Y. that uh, Teresa Martin made me. Miss Martin Muses made Aww. me. Uh, a little baby Yoda with an axe in its head. Ah, oh, yes. I've got, it I've got it somewhere. All right, let's let's see if we can handle the rest of this. Let's go. They're so excited. Me. Do you think this kid is retarded? His hands look way too big, and the ears like have not been developed yet. Yeah. So keep it or abort it. Abort it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was the brood out of the black croak. Ninja. But then he takes up the Have small. You ever oh, he takes up the small. Oh, God. <laughs> Dancing. <Okay>. Dancing. <laughs> Bo Katan. <laughs> that was so That's just nice. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's Twitch oh, content. Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Is she making a tiny helmet for Grogu? <laughs> No. You make a Grizzly uh, some armor. Oh, I'm no. taking some. I'm taking his memes. <gasps> we haven't seen a Rika helmet. Oh. Tell me this is a Grogu helmet. It's not. Oh. <laughs> is she making a tiny helmet for Grogu? No. God damn it. I, I hope that would be amazing. <laughs> This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. They sound the dead way. inside. Uh -huh. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? I know that's the alligator. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> they I, I'm not even capable oh of acting. Oh, right. Hang on. Pause. 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 Pause.
a lot of their reaction sounds like they're reacting to the absurdity of what the hell is this coming from? Right? <laughs> uh, like <laughs> more soy jacks. <laughs> I think any time anytime people are like filming themselves reacting to something, I feel like they that there's overreacting. Like, yeah, the pressure to do yeah. that, which is why I like mm-hmm. I know a lot of people do fucking trailer reactions. I don't do a lot because sometimes I'll They're film cringe. a trailer reaction and I'll have no reaction and I'm yeah. like, who the fuck wants to watch this? I didn't do anything. So <laughs> I like I get trying to show people how invested you are in it. This some of this it looks ridiculous. Did they set up that there was a big alligator in there or did he just randomly come out of nowhere? He just randomly comes out of nowhere. Randomly yeah. comes out yeah, of nowhere. Just, yeah. No setup. Them. Okay. No okay. setup at all. Does it kill anyone? Uh, yes, yeah, it, it takes out like five of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got anybody important. And there's this no. huge scene where the, the the armorer, she's got two axes and she runs at it. And I was expecting like cro- climb on its back or start hacking at it. No, she runs straight past the crocodile and just picks up a guy out the water. Like, yeah, and then gets whacked, the... which was kind of fun. You know, <laughs> I, I, w- I was expecting one of the Mandalorians to go full badass mode, fly into its mouth, and launch a rocket and make it explode from the inside. But now they all just get their asses kicked until they get saved by, luckily, Mandalorian. Yeah, if he doesn't so show up with his the ship, they're all dead. They're all dead, dead. because they all they those... connected their fucking ropes to them. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand that. <laughs> so it just over. And all the explosives, these little tiny things that they stuck on his back, it did nothing. Just lob it in its mouth. It's got yeah. it's got to be more effective. Oh, I have the no Legion, idea what they were doing. The Legion of Memers are going to do terrible things to these pause faces right here. Oh man, Sorry. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible things. Oh no. <laughs> There'll be two sounds. You fucking getting hit, and then you hitting the floor. All right, that's what my uh, that's what my dad used to tell me about his penis. <laughs> uh, moving on. Oh no! Crocodile turtle. Oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> Somebody has to go in the beast's mouth and I don't know, throw a grenade. Genius. Oh, death roll. Uh, nice. That's so realistic. Oh, this is so fucking cool. <laughs> realistic. <laughs> Let's go, Mando! Yes! Let's go! Let's go, the boy! Let's go! Let's not. Holy shit! Hell yeah! I can't tell if I'm just cringing because the format of reaction is giving me goosebumps. I have goosebumps right now. Shut the fuck up, bitch! You just killed every cat in Denver. (laughs) (laughs) This is is why women should be seen and not heard. I'm just (laughs) saying. Let's go! (laughs) (laughs) That's a good. They're back! They're back! They're back! I'm crying. Oh, oh my! Oh, she's geez. crying, oh, guys. No. She's crying. Okay. Uh, like and subscribe, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's I uh, I, watch. Uh, the, you I, can I, watch the rest of it uh, at, at, at at your leisure. At your leisure. At the I, I don't. I don't know any of the YouTubers who do that. I, I, I don't know who, who which ones are actually enjoying. That might be nice people, I, but but yeah, getting, yeah I, I, I don't I, know. But so I, 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 like I have no format. idea what kind of content they make. But yeah. what I will say to me, those are the only people that I've seen had a ton of excitement over it. Like content creators who are specifically yeah. doing Star Wars content. That, that, those and like some of the pronoun people on Twitter. Those are really the only people who I've seen show any real excitement over Mando being back. Disney got the audience they want. Yeah, I agree. Really like small. the thing is, so much of their enthusiasm, especially at the beginning, was it felt so forced. Like they really try, like let's go. It's like wow, you guys do not sound into it, and they're just trying to put it on for the reaction. I really yeah. do not like reaction videos like this, where you watch a trailer and you react to it, because it will inevitably become that it will become them like upping their enthusiasm for whatever is deemed cool or whatever even if they like it like you may actually like it but you have to up your enthusiasm to make it like that much larger and then it's, it's just so cringe to me i can't i can't do yeah that. this is the problem i don't with... care if like the content 
they react. I think there is some good reaction content, but not, a lot of it is just like reasonable crap. content of yeah. what people just like yeah. watching. It become it just becomes just overreact, like and so everything, every small little nothing becomes a <gasps> and yeah. it, you just come across as so phony and fake and but is there an audience if I audience was sitting next to you watching fake? the show I yeah. if I was sitting next to you watching the show and you were doing that I'd be like can you leave my house yeah I, you're I, being annoying like I, what can you, we just watch the show are you, are you what, what's, it, what's sad show? sometimes reactions like that can be genuine but not all yeah. the time like that when it's deserved like I remember when I was watching uh Invincible the animated series the last episode yeah there were some moments when you like just alone on the couch well, I was the, like the Whoa. Game of Thrones reactions from back in the day like in that yes. bar that one bar yeah. those were yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah. those are pretty good it dilutes the the reality also, whenever people actually do have reactions like that do watch trailers that really get them amped that is great that does happen and i love that but whenever you have that for every single trailer that comes out it dilutes the entire effect it makes it all worthless if everything is oh my god oh, ah! nothing is that yeah nothing is exciting that's what baby grogu ate him oh my god Those so probably are cute. And then there was like, I've seen a lot of people. <laughs> like just, that's, the moment he appears on screen, oh, it's just oh, like a reflex. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm for liking him. No, it's just, I mean, you know, like Star I mean, Wars is supposed die. to be storytelling and not like just let's put a cute little thing so the people thing can make like, cute little thingy noises and there's like, no story. It's just waiting for yeah. the next cute little thingy to happen. Uh, that's like that's fucking Star Wars now. Baby Star Wars Yoda, used to have some balls. I, 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 yeah, Baby Yoda might have been one of the smartest marketing things Disney has done in a long time, but it <clears> seems <throat> to have been done on accident. It was. Because they had mm. no merch for him or anything. When it first dropped, the, Disney was like, oh, what, what? You like Baby Yoda? Quick, quick, get the merch out. Get the merch well, out. It's not like Baby Groot that, was you popular. Want everything Baby Yoda at all times. <laughs> so I, we've talked a lot about this. I think some of that, the decent amount of that is because they wanted to keep it a real fucking secret like and how all of these fucking franchises we see leaks through toys like through the toy lines through the marketing for those things oh a random fucking box accidentally revealed that this character is going to be in multiverse of madness or whatever they were really trying to keep this as fucking close to the vest as possible i think well, they, oh, I they, think they, they, stuff at the wall. Like the merch, it took ages for actual good Baby Yoda merch to come out. I can like, I can say it now. It works. The person telling me all the Doctor Who stuff that ended up being right worked for toys. Like he exactly. worked, he worked <laughs> for toys. He, they they got all the they got all the scripts, all the plot points early, and you got to uh, get the concept yeah. art so they can start working on their designs and how they're going to make the toys mm -hmm. and all that stuff. They get it well, early. I think they're just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks with new characters or new merch they can do. Th those mechanics are solely there for merch. They've taken Baby Yoda and thought, well, he's small. People like small things. Let's try something even smaller. And they're trying Speaking to of small emotions about <laughs> Baby Yoda oh. onto them <laughs> by getting him to hug them. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, well, Disney. Well, Gary. I couldn't well, resist. Wait, well played, Gary, and fuck you. <laughs> 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 I mean, you have a new setup? You look so well lit. Uh, well, yeah, it's still, like, light outside too so wow it is I light like it, it. it's lovely it here like you're on a tv it's lovely yeah. here in san antonio today isn't it comics <laughs> yeah it was very nice yeah oh, a nice yeah. cool evening and morning and uh oh, i mean well, after the tornado was warning it was fine tornado <laughs> yeah yeah it's beautiful um, outside now yeah just on what Disparu was saying though yeah you're right you know the only reason they try to do the babo frick people and bring him back is they want to try and get another baby yoda thing and it's not working for him because it's that that uh, that one's Baby Chewbacca. Uh, but even even the droid, they tried to make the cute little droid who's helping them out. And it's like this little thing. Again, it's just they're, they're desperate to try and find new Baby it's, Yoda. They're designing, faces. instead of Funko Pops taking a character and making it a shitty Funko Pop, they're now designing characters <laughs> three Funko, Funko Pops. Pops. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. a Funko Pop. Garrett, it's, it's more Funko Pops that can go to the trash pile because that's exactly. what's happening right now <laughs> with all the Baby Yoda Funko Pops. Goodbye. I wonder if environmentalists collect Funko Pops. Probably not. Uh, it's really bad for the environment. A lot of patrolling. Save the environment. Don't buy a f and save your credibility and don't buy a Funko Pop. <laughs> Stop wasting space in my comic. Listen, I made sense? tons of money off those things when they first came out. Okay, I stocked the hell out of them. I was making them dollars. It was like print money. 
when they first came out. But then I started recognizing, oh, these things are just all the same. Uh, and Imagine. they're they're dumb. Well, they can make so many of them. Baby Groot, BB-8, so, Baby Yoda. I, I, Bruce, Yoda I thought I, I thought those uh, merch you have in the background was Funko Pops. What are they? Some are. There's a fucking um, there's other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, got him! <laughs> hey, don't you put your stop. head in front of that. They're, they're all as... Overwatch. Um, ah. And Overwatch doesn't have much merch, which is why I got them in the first place. I needed a background. I like Overwatch. I was going to stream Overwatch, which is where the background comes from. But yeah. Overwatch has some great stuff. Funko's like, little I, action I figures own... are good. They're little, I think I they're own little retro action figures. Three Funko Pops. Funko and makes all good Star Wars expanded universe. The only Funko the Pop I have is of great. Stan Lee, Lee, and I got that for free when I met Stan there Lee. There you go. Somebody sent me yeah. a, a Funko uh, TARDIS, and I kept it. It's Funko here, makes good got, products. It was a gift. I've got Darth Revan. Pops. I've got Darth what, Revan and what Darth you want? Malik. You want to get swords? Does everyone recognize this sword? I think it's sword. Have you seen this sword? If you've seen it. House of the Dragon. Yeah. Oh. This sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd you get that? So this has been sent to me for review by Cult of Athena. I don't even know if it's Ooh. out yet. But uh, I need that yeah. sword. I need yeah. that sword. That is oh, it's badass. So cool, is that, uh, is that, put it back is in that Dark Sister or is that Blackfire? Dark Sister. Dark it's sister. the King's one. I think it's Dark so, Sister. So, no, no. King's, no, King's that's one. Blackfire, that's Blackfire. Yeah. That's Blackfire. Yeah, that's Blackfire. Blackfire. Because Blackfire. It, it looks bigger. It looks be bigger black. than Dark Sister would be. Yeah. But I, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Black, it's bigger. Black tends to be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Black, Blackfire is like a, a two handed sword almost. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And, and also, well, no, Dark this Sister's one? Dark Sister nice was is kind of a bastard sword because it's for the women. His white brother a little <laughs> right. bit. Yes, smaller. because yes, yes, it was uh, Aegon the Conqueror's sisters. So, but it's, this is actually one-handed, right? Yeah. Mm, the, the, yeah, I'm not sure this is an official replica. I think there's some um, differences, small, yeah. but it is um, carbon steel, like functional sharp. And so nice. is it actually yeah. sharp then? Oh yeah. Dad, well, what sword would you choose if you had an intruder and all you had around you were swords? Like, which one would you grab? And why? Uh, Messer, Krieg's Messer or Falchion. Those things are made to just slice. And then he would get shot to death with his favorite sword <laughs> in his hand. <laughs> Not in Australia. <laughs> hang on, hang on. You want to die with? Yeah. Not necessarily in Australia. Okay. So because this is true. Um, that look, true. we do have gun crime still. Don't get me wrong. But uh, uh, well, we're um, talking about the government so raiding your the house. Distance. The government raiding the your house to take all your swords. That's what's going to. They happen. will have guns. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Not, I can't defend against that. <laughs> But actually, this is the thing. If I tried to use this sword for self-defense in, in Victoria, where I'm at specifically, if they weren't using a sword against me first, I'll go to prison. What that the is hell? ridiculous. Oh, wow. They were it's yeah. that screwed Wait, up. If they had so a gun. So, so the law in Victoria, this is how force. retarded it is. No, this is how retarded it is. You're only allowed to use equivalent force to what they're using against you. What are you supposed that's to just carry a pack retarded. full of weapons? Well, that's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at it's the same in the He's got a throwing star. Yeah. I got to have a throwing star. Is it the same in the UK? He has all the swords. Yeah. Reasonable force. That's now, true equality. reasonable doesn't necessarily mean the same. Shad. Um, like, if you think they've got something, it rely it relies more on the percep your perception at the time rather than the actual. Shad, situation. you just get one of your many swords and put that on their very dead body in their hand. Yeah. With a little blood on it. <laughs> and you say, "Hey, yeah. he took one of my swords." Yeah, he took it off the wall. So it's the same. Hey, as, why firearms needs to stay. As, is it the same way so in in the UK? Because like in San Francisco, Dude, you you have just blown what I would have. Done. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. So now, if somebody does break in, <laughs> this clip will be, <laughs> and they get, and they, you know, oh look, they, uh, they got a knife uh, from you the. Should have pretended and they, and like you were... weren't listening. <laughs> turn, turn your camera. Well, probably <laughs> was until he was specifically asked. <laughs> no, that was just a deep fake of As. That was really awesome, As. That yeah. was a very impressive deep fake. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Thank Odin. You. Hey, how's hey. it going? Hi, Odin. Odin. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Odin, what are you what giving you up for this time? Uh, well, I'm I'm fasting as a part of it, so intermittent oh. fasting, basically. How long? Uh, so very very small. Everybody intermittent fasts. That's why you have breakfast. That's <laughs> <laughs> what sleep is. Uh, like a second small breakfast snack in the morning, and then it's not until three that I have another small snack, and then my main meal is at five or six. Are you giving up pizza? That sounds like Odin? a regular day of eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
just thought about it. You thought about it. Depends on your diet. So I had breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner, and I fast in between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and while I sleep. <laughs> I fasted breakfast. for two that hours. Is, that is intermittent fasting, which is hilarious. <laughs> and then I fasted another hour between second breakfast. <laughs> like the new health trend. What about eleven? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I did two hours before eleven. I did. I had two hours then eleven. Hey, uh, yeah, Odin. I guess is, if that's is, going by your understanding of fasting, then yeah, but. Uh, is Ant-Man going to flop? Uh, there's a chance. Yes. It, de- it depends upon what your break-even is. I know for some it's 600 million, for mine it's 500 million, and even that one, it, okay. it, it might barely break. So I what just if see how it's going to be. One, this one's got to be at least six. There's no way it's not 600 billion so, or more. Odin, but, what's the budget for Ant-Man? I'm going somewhere with this. Budget. 200 million. Uh, what if it's actually, we'll go minimum, 250 million? Then the break even goes up quite a you know quite a bit, so so it doubles mm, up. It, no. So it probably could flop after that. There's a, like if it's because it is. By the way, the budget's two hundred fifty million minimum because there was massive reshoots, uh, and I have just found out. I got confirmation from somebody who uh, worked for for Disney Marvel that I they will do say not that, report that at all. Yeah, most budgets do include reshoots. So uh, no, they do not. They do not. They do not. I I just heard from somebody who works pretty high up in Disney Marvel, and they are not reporting their reshoot money. Well, I'm not saying that they're reporting this, but they do indeed hold aside money for reshoots because all films go through some kind of reshoot. In yeah, some they pick ups and stuff like that, but we're, we're talking... Yeah. Uh, so, the person told me that it's anywhere from $50 million to $100 million add to every single budget from Disney. Holy shit. And... because. That the reshoots flash. are really extensive. Like they're almost remaking half the film at times. That, yeah. yeah. Yes. James and, Gunn confirmed it. That's uh, how flash is it could possibly be. And I mean, I asked the person, I'm uh, is this counting Avatar? And they said, okay, maybe not Avatar 2. But outside of Avatar 2, Flash could be the most expensive movie ever made. It needs to I believe that. It needs to make yeah. a billion to break even. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god! Wow. I, I totally believe that. I wouldn't be surprised if they were if they actually report at least three hundred million. This is like this I guess is like Flash version least. three or Why four. Why is it so expensive? Uh, it's been reshot. Like the entire movie has been reshot. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember when the Flash the was meant to be a team movie. movie with Cyborg? <laughs> yeah. yeah do, do you remember when they announced this movie in 2016? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I know. Six years ago. <laughs> well, when did they announce wow. Black Adam? I think I'm pretty sure I was still at the comic store when they announced Black Adam with with The Rock. <laughs> so yeah, it took a long time. Wasn't but... Black Adam meant to come out in 2019? Well, it? CP Black time. Black Adam was know. supposed to come out, I think, in 2014. <laughs> I can't remember. It was. It seems so long ago when they announced that with The Rock. But, uh, jeez, yeah, Odin, it's uh, it's bad, and uh, that's just when it comes to the Flash and Disney Marvel in particular. They have just quietly stopped reporting any reshoot money on their budget <laughs> because wow. uh, if you factor that in, half of Phase Four, almost half of Phase Four, uh, lost money. Lost money, and and I guess the, the big the, question would be: Do they report that on uh, their taxes? Because they kind of have to. And if they don't, oh boy! If they actually know that information, they should. Uh, they mix it into the losses. So good. I mean, there is a way to away. absolutely hide that, and you would have to. I mean, it would have to be a forensic accountant or whatever forensic. What was that accountant movie. that came out for Disney? You remember that? Yeah, the, that came the out one who came out and said that. they're cooking the books. They yeah. cook yeah. the books. Mm-hmm. They move that all the stuff nowhere. around. They have all these different verticals that they could just move no. money to. But it's this, well, I mean, you guys there's, have there's heard a of all right, right, there's a, yeah, Hold on. There's a difference between cooking the books, meaning they're hiding, they're actually like reporting things that aren't true at the end of the day, versus, hey, we aired one episode for one weekend of Andor on ABC Family or Freeform or whatever it's called. So we're allowed to technically take some of this budget that was allotted for that, put it over there so it doesn't look like Disney Plus might be... Lo- yeah. That's also deceitful, but and that'd be cooking the books, but you're also not lying about right. actual money. And I know that Valiant Renegade reported sources that had talked to to him, and I think it was actually it was like WD News, WD Pro, at WWW Pro, and he got news that they had been saving money to be spent on something and then ended up spending it on Black Panther, and so Black Panther's break even actually was probably a lot higher but when it ever comes to those kinds of words and those kinds of things coming out obviously i you know trust people who i trust 
But when it comes to like the things that I chart, I can only go by based on what's actually being reported because everything else right. is rumor yeah. until it's been, you know, actually right. confirmed. So well, have you guys heard of Hollywood accounting? How no film has technically ever made profit, so they don't have yeah, to pay that's, that's what it is. What? It's, crea it's creative accounting. So you're not, yeah. as to, to what Ryan just said, you're not lying. They're not lying. Mm -hmm. They're just being so, very creative. That's how we all do our fucking yes. taxes. Yes. Right? Well, right. <laughs> if you don't know, Chrissy, Hollywood accounting, right? The main mm -hmm. um, studio will make a new studio to make the film, but then this other studio will charge it all overheads. And so we're going to charge you a crazy marketing budget. We're mm -hmm. going to charge you for the studio. Uh, the, sorry, the filming set. We're going to charge that and that and that to this other company that they made. And so this um, company that has technically made the film is never actually making profit because they can continue to charge it to this this day, Return of the Jedi has actually not made profits as a result. <laughs> and, and that's very oh, normal across wow. multiple companies. There was a, a mm. certain coffee company that would buy the beans off another company that they owned, which was in a different location in the world. And so that coffee company never made any profit at all because the beans were so expensive and it allows you to shift the actual profit to ask, a different country where you pay. Ask David Prowse if Return of the Jedi ever made money. Because according mm -hmm. to George Lucas, it didn't. And that's why they didn't pay David Prowse his residuals. And he bitched about it till the day he died. Wow. Yep. yep. He deserved it. And so, yeah, they actually have in contracts for like actors and stuff. And they fool them if they, because, you know, there's a lot of actors that don't know about it where, oh, we'll share a percentage of the profits with you. Like a small percentage, but you'll get a percentage of the profits. Ah, it never made profit. We don't have to pay you. Wow. Yeah, it's all bullshit. So sorry. Wow. So sorry. Ant Man's go flop, though. I think it's going to mm -hmm. flop. I, I, it's I not going to do gonna, well. It's going mean... to struggle to hit 500 million at this point. Like, I don't think it will. Yeah, like and... even in my like charting, and I even I always admit this, my charting is very conservative. Like it's based off numbers that are reported. I mean, I know that there's a lot of other things that you can probably calculate into it. So if it's even close to the best case scenario that I had, or rather the lowest case scenario was that it making 11 million in profit, which even then you're like, yeah, that's not much of a win. No, you, you, much at all. you put two hundred million or one hundred eight million to make eleven million dollars. Eleven that's million. How much does Paul Rudd bad. cost? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Is that just uh, Paul Rudd's? No, it's the, it's the only metric we can go off. Odin, you should have I mean... just taken twenty million dollars and left Paul Rudd in a fucking room alone with like his random <laughs> way more with, his random crew from like the first two Ant Man movies and just like put that out. And, like yep. that that would have it would have made more money than this. <laughs> There are so and many ironically, things. probably a better film. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you think about it, they could do a non CGI like character study for so much less and make so much more because yep. of like the IP, you know, re you know, brand recognition that the MCU has, even though it's falling but every single year. Ant Man Three is not an Ant Man <clears throat> Three. It's just set up Kang. That's all that movie was. Yeah. yeah. It had just, nothing to do with the first what a big two. Indictment. What a big indictment of to set next. up to set up the guy who's already been defeated twice. Yes. 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 Well, because that's funny. That's it's like we, a Marvel we root for people or... that no defeat. That was the writer's excuse for making it, Kang. Oh, by the way, this is it's the writer Kong. who's going to write the Avengers Kang Dynasty. Same that's, writer. Yeah. It, it makes him. <laughs> it makes him look like a pussy. And you know what his experience was prior to this? Mick, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Again. Oh, and no. Are you oh, taking the piss? Because they're Mick all from Rick and fucking Morty. Mick, who's Mick and Rorty? That's what that's <laughs> Mick and Rorty. 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 It's the, it's Rudd, the Chinese Paul knockoff. Paul Rudd got paid $10 million for Ant-Man 3. Well, the thing that's fucking ridiculous about and all this is... And their profit was 11. <laughs> like, literally, literally, everything that has been done on the Disney Plus whoa, whoa, is being whoa. extended got it, over yeah. to... Um, the movies, it's, it's just set up for the next thing, right? I mean, yep. it's the exact yeah. same thing we're seeing for Mandalorian season three. It's set it's up a for filler a filler episode. Yeah. yeah, it's just filler for more content. Yeah, they, they my favorite. Us. My favorite part of all this, though, is is the mainstream media running with and this two weeks in a row, right? You have Ant Man and and the so you had Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania, right? Saying, "Oh, biggest opening weekend ever," and then all of a sudden it fell off like a light, and now it's losing to Ant Man and the Wasp and the original ant-man and it's it's gonna end up probably being the lowest grossing film of the entire franchise as now. so uh how much yeah. did it gross on thursday domestically again thursday oh, 1.4 million yeah wow cocaine bear out when, uh, wednesday yeah. uh, 1.5 million monday 1.7 tuesday 2.5 and you have yep. this weekend Creed coming out, and it's just going to destroy it at this point. So, and it's only projected to make about fourteen million. And Ant Man and the Wasp made about sixteen million during its second weekend. Oh shit! I was going to predict twenty million, but okay, oh, yeah. it's not going to make anywhere close. No. 
So 1.4 million. I wonder what that breaks down per theater. Uh, it, it was uh, it's about probably three, like three hundred dollars, four hundred, one hundred fifty-two. Oh, wow. I think. It was. And it's about it's about to come out of the big theaters for. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, three hundred thirty. The three fifty-two was for the Wednesday. For Thursday, uh, three thirty-six. It was three thirty-six. Oh shit! Hey, guess what? Cocaine Bears was four twenty. By the Yo. way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It is Very still apropos. it is still in the four thousand three hundred forty-five cinemas. Yeah. God, the theaters must feel so good about Disney right now. They must just yeah. love them. I say, mm. do, do it if you happen to have some of that avatar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have avatar yeah. back. <laughs> those avatars I can put in a theater, please. Uh, my they're son. just waiting for Mission Impossible yeah. that Reckoning Part 1. That's what they're waiting for. When's that, that coming out? Sick. July? Like July? July? <laughs> 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 Uh, Chris Gore. Chris Gore says uh, John Wick Four is pretty damn it's good. Tracking well. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. If John Wick Four projections didn't they just drop on some like sixty or seventy million? That'd be the top yeah, it's, by far for it. And so it's been cons- the difference is that it's consistently gone up. Right? Yeah. Is that every John Wick has made more and more? No. Next week we get sixty five. Yeah, I'm, I want to see that. Interesting. I want to see that. Well, it looks interesting, well, but so the projections pr- compared to budget don't look good. Uh, so I hope it's good. You also have Champions and Scream Six that weekend. So, so hang on, John Wick it, Four might be the best John Wick movie we had since John Wick One, and it's the one with nunchucks in it. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Of course, of course. And using swords to deflect bullets in it as well. Oh, oh my god. Why not? And then the week we'll before see. you have Shazam. We'll so. see. It's already on a back want... foot with that nunchucks. We'll see. Shazam ain't hey. making no fucking roads, mate. No. What if the earliest yeah, number yeah, was 35 nunchucks. million opening weekend, and I was like, oh, 35, <laughs> that's, that's awful. That's birds of prey level. Yeah. Like, that's where you're getting. And that Pandemic like birds of prey. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. was an abysmal release. It just tipped over 200 million worldwide. Hey, but it's great that James Gunn brought in the writer of birds of prey to help build the new DCU. Everything's great, guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, smart, it's saved. Smart and woman. Tom Taylor as well, the guy, uh, Tom King, sorry, yeah. the guy that fucking destroyed Batman and tanked mm-hmm. his sales. Christina Hodson, is that the the person you're talking about? Mm. Yes. The, mm-hmm. the Birds of Prey. Like, I feel like she's attached to a lot of shit. The Flash movie, she's attached a, a to lot that. of ga- yeah, a lot yeah. of garbage. And yeah, didn't, like, she, didn't she also write Batgirl? Yeah, she's putting Probably. those knees to work. I think she <laughs> she might <laughs> she might have uh, she might have. Uh, uh, written Batgirl as well, by the way. Uh, maybe, but nobody will know because the it's movie's not ever so coming bad, out. <laughs> they didn't even... <laughs> they destroyed it. They did. <laughs> Never wanted uh, to see a movie more until they cancelled that one. I know. I know. Now I really want to see I it. I want to see it. I, I never wanted to see a movie strategy. more until I saw a video of... Leslie, is Leslie Grace, is that her name? Of her running. I know. Is Timberlands ever a surface that they're like, they'll ever like either officially they or can't, unofficially? Like, they can't or else no. they, if it happens, then they will lose that tax benefit that they got. As far Ooh. as I know, even uh, some creators, like they, they, they weren't informed first and the drive had been wiped before they, they could they, even get to anything. They didn't want him to pull Ooh. a Zack Snyder. That's yep. basically what it was. Yep. Yeah. They, they didn't yeah. want him to take it out and be able to show it to people. You yep. think there's not copies anywhere that no it. one backed it up? There like, might be some dailies and stuff that you could maybe put together. There's always something. There's something well, out there. Well, Chris Gore, uh, there's a documentary uh, about the Fantastic Four movie. And yeah. the, the way that I got out is somebody working on it burned a copy before it was destroyed. <laughs> And uh, we need a national treasurer like going in there and finding a copy of it. Breaking but what, it. Would, the ba- what would the what would the movie WB. be? Would it be released? It's the hidden trans- in the water tower. Release the trans- the tower. Yes. As a mockumentary, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We must find the cut that was never released. Uh <laughs> yeah. my son Logan has left a donation. Uh fifty dollars oh, in the stream lab. Every side. week. Every week. I know. Why I don't know where he's getting the money. Why is he getting all this money? I d I I pay his allowance and it ain't that much. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, we'll be talking. Uh, hey, Dad. So I, I took a trip to hey, Italy with, with some friends, and I'm currently in a hospital in Rome. 
I decided to end the debate about pineapple pizza myself and ask the (laughs) Italians how they felt about it. I was stabbed and someone uh, showed up to, uh, to the house when somebody showed up to the house. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're Italians. About it. <laughs> Italians very yeah, basic. Yes. And someone may um, show up to the house. Yeah. You know who's showing up to the house, kid? The guy delivering my beautiful, wonderful pineapple pizza <laughs> after <laughs> this watering. episode. I'm just going to put a guy's for a cob. <laughs> I fuck <laughs> How is that not me? Different I you're gonna find oh. it there. I would get up in my head right fucking It's called recycling, guys. Oh Ads is saving the planet by recycling. <laughs> for, a oh, for a potato, I'd fucking do it. <laughs> they, don't, don't do it, Ads. Stay You'll strong. Need it. You'll need it. <laughs> Oh. I, I, but I, just sort of I thought it was right? going to be about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> just carbs in general. It doesn't matter what form. Like, no, I've been holding this Fucking in. piece of bread, a biscuit, like a something. Potato. It's been like 20 <laughs> days since I've had a fucking carb. I'm going fucking insane, man. <laughs> good on you. No, seriously, though. Good on you, man. Yeah, I love tough. seeing your progress. Well done, so As. We're going. proud of you. You're looking good. Man. We're proud of you. I'm not. Belt. I'm looking like oh. a guy that really needs a fucking pizza. What do you mean? No. What? No. <laughs> oh, look at look at Ryan. You are look cool. At Ryan is look cool. Look and that came right off his floor. That came right off his floor. That's directly off his floor. That doesn't pizza. do anything because I know where that, where that pizza's been. With you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just say you would heat a hobo's ass? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but not his floor. But not yeah, off but of him. Ryan's a <laughs> just stepped too far. <laughs> Uh, Master Austin has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you very much. And Stardust Viking has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. Hundy, thank you. You have just gifted. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful gift that's going to last pretty much the next five years while I try to get through Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I will be playing uh, Hogwarts Legacy in the next couple days. Uh, Gary so Potter. Good. And the bigots of Azkaban is on its way. Oh, it's so, it's so good. Ew. That's right. So, uh, Lee McGovern so has uh, donated ten nerdrotic memberships for fifty dollars. And J Mac. Oh my God, J Mac! Holy J-Mac. shit! Has gifted fifty nerdrotic memberships for two hundred fifty dollars. J Mac. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, he did that, and he came into a stream the other day with us. Dropped two hundo, three hundo, two or yeah. three hundo. Then he dropped fifty sub bomb on top. Wow! Wow! Damn. Damn. On the real BBC, Jay, fucking hell, dude, legend. Yeah, uh, we had Chuck Dixon on last week. Woo. Fucking legend. So uh, coming up, we've got Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, who's got a book out. Uh, if we could share that in the chat. I have that. It's I in the description Do you have right it? now. Yeah, Scroll down I, there to look I thought it. we were going to talk about it. Yes, today. Graham Nolan yeah. has released a book. Uh, we had him on last Friday. Oh. He was a, uh, what a great guest. Stayed the whole time. Dude, he was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, so, let me change this to real dollars. Dude's an inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I love when you when you did that. He was like, "Whoa, we've made a lot of progress." <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so this was released Wednesday, and it's got forty thousand dollars already, and. You, uh, according to sources, uh, your boy Zach, uh, when we talked about the the Rambo comics, which we'll show later with Chuck Dixon and our and our friend the Critical Drinker, you guys like you're you're freaking amazing. He made they it made ten grand in a day. Wow, ten grand. Jeez. So thank you guys, thank you for the support. This is the Iron Age. You are supporting yeah. the Iron Age. Graham Nolan, true comic book legend. So is Chuck Dixon, and this is Joe Frankenstein. So please, if you want some uh, a, a real comic by a real comic creator who has mm-hmm. broken away from uh, the system, from the the two, uh, you know, the two, the big two that are now no longer big, uh, the comic American comic book industry that committed suicide, it's still alive. It's still alive. You just gotta work a little harder to find it, thanks to Indiegogo shadow banning, which they are doing. I and I don't know if it's deliberate or Indiegogo. Made some cuts. I heard they they fired a bunch of people. So uh, I don't know what's behind it, but it is happening. So please support our good friend Graham, who will be back. Who will be back on this show and Real BBC. And uh, he's going to be on Tuesday night's main event. Right, Ryan? 
Yeah, I don't know exactly when, but he will. Yeah, he will be on Tuesday night's main event. Uh, so yeah, thank you for supporting Graham Nolan, the legend. The legend. Legend. It looks dope. You know I, who I, else has a book out? Drunk three PO. Oh, yeah. Very good. Jay. Look at that. Oh. Jay. Oh my God, he's over sixty thousand dollars. What? Don't tell him. That. Oh no! Oh, there you go. Very... Close. You know what? We could change it to like uh, put yen it to or yen something. or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Send the screenshot. Change it to Shut yen, and up. he'll be like, "Oh my God, Wait, Jay, I can't change it now. You're two it's million dollars. Woo. I can't change it. That's really That's good right, though. Man. Why? That Why is really good. Wait the page. Yeah, he's got a book too. Jay's got a book. Got 220 well pages, I think. Yeah. Children's graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Acromatic Chronicles Blue. There it is, from our very own Drunk 3PO. And if uh, if you don't have any kids, buy them for your friends' kids. I love you it. You can buy it for a libraries yeah. too. You can. Yeah, yeah. save it for your and future kids. Schools. So Aww. yeah. Yeah, maybe you yeah. can sneak into the library and switch it out for the like. I'm a gonna porn. chop my dick a off. Porn. book. Wow. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's good charity there. Yeah. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah. Do the right. Oh. oh. Oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, god! No. Oh no! Yeah. Yes! No. <laughs> he better, he better like be getting some eggs. carbs for that. That's all I'm saying. He better be getting some carbs. Aw, Jay's in the chat. He just oh, said Jay. Aww. What's up, Jay? Hi, Jay. He said thank you for sharing the campaign. Means of a course. lot for forty nine ninety nine. Did he say? Did he say wow. anything about this picture? Yeah, I bet uh, he's not it. yet. He Leave probably up. didn't see it. Okay, it wait a minute. Okay, what exactly is Baby Yoda doing? For the sake of Baby Yoda, <laughs> I hope he's getting that butt. Well. Uh, he's getting that butt. Of course. Wait, Baby Yoda is as. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, oh, this wow. impersonation of as right now. <laughs> Definitely drunk three part. PO's the hobo. Oh, look, if I'm getting a pizza or a potato at the end of it, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Second uh, No regrets. That is not. This is the reaction oh. video we're all Rick and great. For. It's foreplay. Wow. Because I'll have a I'll have a better uh, orgasm when I eat the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I've already yep. called that before. No some for him. No some for him. Acromatic Chronicles Blue. Check out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. You know what? Like... A book for all ages. <laughs> <laughs> There Indeed. is no eating that's equivalent to an orgasm, but that's not entirely true because when I had Denny's after I got out of prison, it was fucking great. It was spiritual. I got a little wow. I got a little Denny's Grand eyes. Slam. Had a gr I had a Denver omelet. So Denver cry. Omelet. So you equate crying with orgasming? Uh, is that what you're saying, Gary? Uh, you know what? There can be happy crying. Okay, there's happy okay. tissues and sad tissues, Ryan. Happy tissues and sad tissues. <laughs> 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 no. I, I knew happy tissues. Wow. 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 And uh, drunk says, please never show that again. <laughs> oh, pull it back up. Wait, Get it back up. Show? Back up. <laughs> Don't the signed one as well. Up the sure. show. This is the one you don't want to show again. You don't want to show this one again? Is this, this one. what we don't want to see again? <laughs> that one? Is that one? Is that one? Oh. Hey, the reaction even, face is I would even take a so vegetable pizza. I'd even take that. Hey, Jay needed the money, okay? A young, vegetarian pizza. I'm going to send money. you a recipe for a keto pizza. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Yeah, but I need, I need a fucking woman to make it. <laughs> well, don't eat any more carbs and you'll get one you will i'm gonna uh, go i'm gonna go ooh. on the um i'm gonna go on to that russian brides.com no. and i'm gonna i'm gonna get myself a a trad wife with huge tits and then i'm gonna go to ukrainebrides.com because they're <laughs> having a because they're having a buy one get two free. <laughs> get two free. <laughs> uh, hey, you're just trying to support the war effort as yeah. we, we yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're enough. getting them out of war torn. We're Europe. trying to keep them yeah. safe. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. The Hardy... make me a fucking sandwich. <laughs> the Hardy Boys, <laughs> and, uh, the Hardy Boys in the case of the secret STD for fifty dollars. <laughs> Where'd it come from? So Kor, Kaloth, and Kang live for 75 plus years and have gray hair. Worf, 
uh, goes virtually dude bro to father Christmas in 30 years. This, kids, is why you don't do the space cocaine. <laughs> 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 Wolf of Grey. Wolf of Grey looks like awesome. Wolf is yeah. absolutely insanely great in episode three. He is. I am Wolf, son of Morg, from the house what? of Morg. Do, is it uh, Defiler of Duros or whatever he <laughs> yeah. said? And, dis- and Killer of Garon. Yeah. And uh, would you like sugar in your caramel tea? <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> <been> great. <laughs> I haven't seen episode three yet, but the end of episode two, he comes in and hacks people up. And yeah. it looks like he's using a more functional Klingon he's sword. Using a sword, and not yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, are they fixing up even the battleth? Because I have freaking okay, had a hack. So, oh, yeah. Chad, the guy, who, the guy who the guy who designed it doesn't make any sense. The guy who designed uh, the original one designed a new one. So it's it's like an o- so they I, brought in the OGs looks, to do it. Did, yeah. Did they see my videos and hear the feedback? Because maybe looks they like did. Actual, I'll ask. Uh, like, That's I'm, awesome. I'm, uh-huh. I'm genuinely excited about that. I say the bat look doesn't make any sense, but it looks cool. I like it, it up like, on the it's, wall. It was made for Flash, but no, as a weapon, it's an utterly of your arm. nonsense. <laughs> no, it's, it's a nonsense weapon. But if they, they they're making a new type of Klingon sword, it's like, oh, now that's. I mean, they probably but, use a similar. You were, you were already high, but now, like, no, they probably hard. use a similar excuse to what they did in SG One for the staff weapons. That like a lot of it's about intimidation, not just like. No, no, they, they say it like it's purposely an awkward weapon um, for them to overcome, and you, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a uh, badge of honor to be able to defeat people with a weapon that is. You not have to hurt like, yourself uh, using it. Use. Yeah, that yeah, sounds very Klingon, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez, uh, the yeah, uh, I, I look, I can't wait for episode. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> 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 That's your next one. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> See, now that's more fucking wholesome. There you go. Not getting oh. sucked off by a ch- anyway. Let's move on. It's like on the video, like Nina looks horrified. <laughs> like you actually oh, did it to a real yeah. baby. Like she is repulsed. I, I don't think she should. Any idea she was going to rip that head off? No, she didn't. And Maul has giggled. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't have a camera on. He's just it. spent his entire time doing it behind the camera. Uh, like, like, do you remember when there's like uh, somebody did some animated version of somebody like holding out a little toy for Baby Yoda, like waddles over, and then they bring in a gun and they shot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like find it. There was a couple brutal things going on, and there was one where like somebody dropped a piano on him and squashed him. <laughs> oh no! So, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Rolo Tomasi for one hundred dollars. The Rolo. Yeah. Uh, even though freaky ass Kevin Spacey's in that movie, freaking LA Confidential rules. It was a great movie. Uh, just wanted to thank as because of him, I won't be wasting one iota of time or money on the new Chris yes, Pine diminished oh. and dickless oh. movie. Hey, oh. Friday Night Tights. Yeah, tell us about that, as I know you just oh, yeah. did a video. Yeah. Uh, so the the writers came out with a really good marketing ploy. And uh, in an interview with Variety, said that we ha- we intentionally, and this is quote from them, we intentionally emasculated the lead male characters so that uh, the female characters could take center stage. But it has but, nothing to do with wokeness. Yeah, but it has nothing right. to do with wokeness. No, not it's no just because we we think we it's, love fucking it, around with we, we love emasculating men. Fresh yeah. and funny. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> fresher in Hollywood than a masculine yeah. man. And now, in case everyone's right, it's for the D&D movie coming out, and it's yeah. already, mm, this is not, that's such a, a red it, it looks like D&D fans are going to fucking hate it. Um, but, Modern yeah. day D&D fans will love it. Yes, they will. Yeah, yeah, they got, they got no just... money. They got no money, so they yeah. can't go to the cinema, mate. Well, the, oh, the funny thing about it is you could tell from the trailer that's basically what they were doing to them. So it, this shouldn't come as a surprise that they came out and admitted it. Like, but you, you yeah, don't but need diff- to do that, right? You have, like, right. Michelle Rodriguez in this movie. We all know who Michelle Rodriguez <laughs> is going to play. It's going to be the same character that Michelle Re- Rodriguez has always played. Yes. But you don't need to make a man weak to make Michelle Rodriguez's yeah. character look yeah. strong. You yes. don't have to do that. You know the what I mean? The, the, semi ghetto, yeah. the semi-ghetto hot lesbian that we're supposed to be convinced likes men in a movie. Uh, there's I, a seriously. difference between doing something and having the goal mm-hmm. to just say it barefaced out loud so that this is what we're doing. 
when yeah. half of your audience are literally what you're insulting in front of you. Yep. It just shows yeah. how far the window of acceptable speech has moved when you dare say that out loud and not expect any kind of backlash. I know. It's, it's like, weird. it's like, even though I was like expecting it, it it's made me not want to watch the film at all. No, it, you know, it's not yeah. like that didn't work out great for Tim Miller uh, with the Terminator when he said this movie's going to scare the fuck out of misogynists. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he learned yeah. his lesson. He learned it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you I can't, hate, I hate can't do that. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we could play this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he's switching. He's switching over here. Hey. <laughs> Oh my God. I don't know who made that, but great job. Oh he's perfectly timed with the warning as well. Yeah, I, I got to think why it can't be that bad. I, uh, oh, 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 the fictional oh. character in a fictional oh. landscape, okay? Fictional. Very fictional. Made out of digital Minecraft. Very, 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 very fictional. Very fictional. Oh. 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 Everybody's saying time. demonetized <laughs> shit. I, yeah. it's, a, it's a very fancy version of Minecraft, guys. Yes. Okay. Oh. It's just a new oh. texture pack, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's a with the they was it ray it. tracing or whatever it's called on. Yeah, look at X-ray girl's face. Send help! <laughs> I'm watching it again. She said send She's help. Oh, no. it, gets, it gets so much worse. Rat it gets so much worse after that. It really, it really shows it. <laughs> oh, that's the light opening. Oh, does it keep going, Garrett? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No. Just describe it. Oh, no. Just describe it. Okay, so after he falls down, he's twitching, and then he walks up, and there's just brain matter everywhere. You can see his brain, and then he starts it. pissing on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and starts pissing right on him. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's so best. dark. Wow. I just get lighted quickly. <laughs> That's what you get, shit. baby Yoda. Oh. Chrissy's stress braiding right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it's a juice. That's literally what I do. Yes. <laughs> braiding. She's like, yes. that, she's like that video whenever That's the little a rabbit's girl hopping thing. and it gets oh shot. She's like, <laughs> my wife does that too. She's like, are we getting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, baby Yoda, I'll save you. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shove that thing in a fucking video. blender. <laughs> I don't uh, think it'll fit in the blender. <laughs> His little brain is like popping. Yeah, uh, I mean it's it, it's on YouTube, so that's fine. Yeah, go watch it. You can hey. find it. Yeah. Uh, Kickle Hel Kickle Helvetti. Is that how I say that? X-ray girl. I I'm actually not sure. Uh, Kikeli Helvetti. Kikeli Helvetti. Kikeli Helvetti. Kikeli hey. Helvetti. Kikeli. Hey. What's going on? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, for 50 <laughs> so cool. British pounds, proper money. Proper money. Proper yeah. money. Hey, LFNT, as someone who gets stuck and unstuck daily uh, by my... S gets Really? As someone who gets stuck and unstuck daily by my stepbrother, I approve the bullying of Az's Kiwi Boozy. 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 I think he said Boozy. Uh, boozy. boozy. Also, I recommend the metal band Battle Lore. Their songs are mainly based on Tolkien's work. Forked Height being one of my favorites. I'll check it out. That's cool. Hey, there's a metal. Oh, I forgot the name. Sorry, metal band in Iceland. Uh, an Icelandic metal band that listens to us. And uh, Melissa. Bjork. Said, Bjork. That's it. Bjork. No, um, no. <laughs> I forgot what they're called. Bad, bad Bjorky. I'll find out Man. next episode. But they're fucking Just... good. They're really good. They're like so. Well done. Cool. I'll remember your name, but it's probably Icelandic, so I can't pronounce it. Does it's, it end in Doter? Awesome. Does it end in Doter or? Is it Erd defer to Bird? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Reykjavik is the only Sweden. word I know, and I think yeah. that's the name of a town or something. <laughs> Swedish chef. Yeah. Reykjavik is the uh, capital. Of yeah, that, that's the only. That's nice. it's, yeah. my wife's is been there. Is it a town? I haven't. <laughs> Reykjavik. My wife's yeah. been there. I haven't. Yeah. I don't Isn't go that to where Ezra Miller just choked a fat woman? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she was pregnant. I thought. You're in Reykjavik. <laughs> 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 I just see the the other one where he's like the guy wanted to take a picture with him, and it's just and then oh, everyone yeah, just turns and is like, do you want me to, you want me to knock you out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. It's something that's like a target bar, or something. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, that's that's one. Of, that kid's like 15 years old or something, right? It's a TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. I, I promise you, Ezra Miller is probably straight as Ryan, but because he's in Hollywood, he's forced to do all these other things, and he's just Aww. bitter about it. That's what. That's my theory. <laughs> 
That's my not theory. Not sure how comfortable I feel with you making that comparison. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan, yeah. how straight are you? Yeah, how straight are you? Ryan. I feel like that's not so much like going to be remembered as someone talking about Ezra, <laughs> but is fucking talking about me. No, I think when, <laughs> when when the lights are on. Okay, you know, um, uh, uh, who was Perry Mason? It was Raymond Burr. Burr. So <laughs> when, when the cameras were off, he was like the most flamboyant gay guy alive. So he was like, you know, I'm Perry Mason. The cameras cut. Let's go, boys. Come on, everybody. You know, Howard Stern told the show story all the time, right? So he I think it's actor. opposite with Ezra Miller. He's like, I'm very damn. And then when it cuts her off, he's like, what's up, dudes? Let's go get some fucking uh, pussy and I, smash I, it. Funny. I actually, you know what? Like, I, I actually kind of understand that because from everything we've heard about him, like, he misgenders all these fucking they, them people all the time. Uh, and he's just all about fucking hooking up with all these chicks. So yeah, I, 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 kind of I think you. when the cameras wow. aren't on, he's, he's just crushing pussy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> even even, even if it's been groomed him. for the past four well, years. Well, okay, Aww. he can still describe uh, every producer's penis in Hollywood. Uh, oh. So, oh. I mean, it just he egg probably shape. wasn't very, you know, it's it's just egg, just egg shape. shape. <laughs> They're all egg shape. <laughs> that's that's Jeffrey Epstein's, right? Yeah. Had the, the uh. first the first question they come down and ask him, like, the true your penis is shaped like an egg. He's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> How'd you find out? <laughs> yeah. Hayden 75 for $50. <laughs> Hail Friday Night Hayden, Tides. Hayden. Hail the fellowship. Hail Gary. Ah, Shad. Killed by Garrett. Ryan. Exude Ghoul. Chrissy and Hail Disbrew. Glad to have you on FNT tonight. How does everyone feel about the Netflix Hogwarts show that's rumored? No info yet, but it'll be a big mistake. Uh, so I, I read briefly yeah, about knows? the Hogwarts so doesn't... legacy. Adaptation. Why would it be on Netflix? I don't know why would it be on Netflix. No, I, why? I think it's supposed to be on HBO. It's HBO. It's yeah. HBO, yeah. not Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm surprised they didn't do it earlier. Had, didn't have a plan with the game. They probably had no idea that it would make almost a billion dollars in two fucking weeks. Oh, yeah. Story yeah. is not my favorite part of the game, I'm going to be honest. It's not a fantastic story. No. And then there's some good things. I, I like it's going to be the rings there's of some good power because okay. you're going to go, when was the ethnic cleansing between uh, the 1800s of, yeah. and Harry Potter? There was a lot of Asian hate in between the, would, the game and the books. Well, dude, well, well, World War II like happened, all right? I, uh, so, oh, hey. internment camps. <laughs> I'd like to pour one out for all the Transformers that died. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> hey, a lot of Transformers oh, died. Great. Okay. Optimus Prime died. Yeah, man. I there's cried. gonna be He's there's gonna be like, some pivotal sad. hey there's gonna be some pivotal shit I that cried. goes on between Hogwarts Legacy and Fantastic Beasts because you have World War One right World War One goes on between those and then at some point it's probably never gonna happen because the last movie flopped uh, Secrets of Dumbledore <laughs> big secret he's fucking gay, he's gay. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> literally the only reason that the film exists is to yeah. make that officially canon yeah but yeah. the like that should all be leading up to the fight between Dumbledore and Grindelwald yes. in 1945, which is the culmination of World War II, effectively. Mm -hmm. Like it all goes in line. So it's sad. Like to me, it's sad we're not going to see that. But hey, when you decided, it's better make in our imagination about Ryan. how these two dudes are fucking each other. Yeah, I guess you get what you. It's deserve. better in the left to the imagination. Uh, I, agree. I don't think Hollywood should fucking yeah. make anything <laughs> anymore. Absolutely, uh, Ryan. Uh, not you, Ryan. This Ryan. Oh. Proper Ryan. For 100 Ryan. Euros. Euros. Yeah. Wow. Euros. I will be in Europe in September. Ooh. Ooh. September. We're going. September. Do you September. remember? Yeah, that's right. September. There is a, it's, it's way out of the way, but my wife, there's like this Tolkien exhibit. In the UK? It's in... <laughs> fucking some Coxwald or whatever the fuck towns you have in New York. Wow. What was the name of that? Uh, there is a town called Cock the Coxwald. Oh, no, Cock That's That's Coxwald. Cock Not the Coxwald. Cock Every time it floods, all the news That's stations go down there uh, just so they can say Cock and Mouth on TV <laughs> as often as possible. <laughs> Every time. Uh, is it no, in the Coxwald? Cock and the Mouth is flooded no, again. No, I don't know where it is, but it's, it's outside of London. I want to go. Uh, uh, as and I everywhere. did watch, we started watching uh, Clarkson's farm. Mm. Fucking great. Mm. It is great. Ah, oh, laughing our asses off for an he said, hour. Uh, there's a great bit. He's at an auction and he says, uh, Amazon said, uh, can you please try and get, I know I believe him. Can you please try and get as much diversity into the show as possible? And he said, well, here you are. This is the 
great diversity of the British farming public. Six-year-old white man, and who's just all no, fucking he goes, white. He's all. We have diversity. We have every version of a sixty-five-year-old yeah, white man. It's funny when fantasy meets reality. You yeah. know. Fantasy. Yeah. There's been a lot of articles over here about how the countryside is racist. I, I, I yes, still don't yes, understand yes. it, but that, they do keep saying it over and over again. Wow. And, and, and why is the countryside racist? Well, there's just too many well, white people, clearly. Like, yeah. If, if, oh, if you have joking, to, that's, yeah, that's legitimately the, the argument. the countryside of yeah. Britain. It's going to be that's cool. Hilarious. White people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan for 100 euros. Picard season three, talk about hitting the reset button hard. Not only did they bring back all the TNG cast, the composer Stephen Barton uh, integrated music from Alexander Courage to Goldsmith to the greatest Trek composer, James Horner. That's mm. called panic mode. Absolutely. That's why it's a win. <laughs> that's why it's a fucking yeah, win. That's why it's a it's win. It's a win because we had one guy went, oh, there's all these fans that are really fucking pissed off. I'm going to respond to them too. Not just them, them too. I'm going to make Star Trek the best I can within these confines listening to that legitimate criticism that's a massive fucking win it's an anomaly it's not going to save star trek uh as i said last night this is the last time you will see live action star trek that's good probably ever ever think about that because it's still in the hands of alex kurtzman and then once paramount finally admits publicly that they're completely out of money because i know that from somebody uh they're going to shut it all down and sit on the IP, and maybe in 20, 30 years, maybe they'll reboot it. But uh, it, they can't make a movie. They have, uh, they've have they had Star Trek 4. How many directors have they had for Star Trek 4? Five? Four? Five I fucking directors? I got Chris Pine's like, Chris yeah, Pine, it's yeah. really Chris. frustrating having literally no idea what's going on with this movie. No one tells nothing, me anything. It's not going to happen. So yeah. this, this is a response to Nobody our criticism. It. For mm -hmm. once, somebody listened and wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So it's not perfect. It's not ever going to be perfect. But the fact that that's happening, that is progress, not perfection. Mm -hmm. That's that's yep. what we have been asking for. Exactly yeah, and what that, we've been asking for. This show is progress. It's good. I mean, the third episode is really fucking good, actually. It's yeah. a good story. Yeah, and so really I, I've watched up. It's, it's movie Trek. It's not yeah. e and g but it, mm -hmm. I'll no, take it's, it. No, it's movie Trek. It is definitely yeah. movie Trek, yeah. I, I, so I, I, I've watched up to... <clears throat> I was just saying, I've watched up to episode two, right? And I love the fact that legitimately you don't need to watch season one or two of Picard. No, like, no, you don't. I never like, did. Never completely watched Completely it, separate. It's, it's its own contained kind of conflict. And for me, in my head canon, this is the, you know, next generation sequel. I, I, this is, it just, nothing it, else exists. Yep. Just this. I well, can... they keep mentioning that Picard's, uh, you know, an android, and that is mm -hmm. annoying. But if they cut that shit out, it would have been fine. Wait till he's well, well uh, to like... me, he's like, I don't know, I he's never... got an artificial heart or something that he had to get over the years. It's like yeah. I don't need that. They address yeah, it I later, and that. I will say, they address it later. I will also say, definitively, two horrible things they did from season two get retconned immediately. Like Good. boom, <laughs> like they Good. didn't never yeah, just one of them involved the bull. I well, I'm, I'm not going to, if I told you, okay. it would be a spoiler, and I want you to right. watch it and be surprised, pleasantly surprised. I, I bet you seven goes just out of the blue. Wow, I could really do some cock. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've liked the entire time. Just with the captain. It's yeah. like the ultimate twist. Oh, yeah. Disbrew, just stares in the camera. Disbrew, if you want to know, D I'll really DM you on Twitter. Dick in, you know? Uh, yeah. With a penis, yeah, not I'll, a I'll vagina. DM you on Twitter. T to me, what they did to the Borg is like the greatest. It's it's the biggest issue I have with Picard because they were one of my favorite villains, and to they didn't just ruin them; they made them the exact opposite of what they, they made were them all the nice. Long. They're gonna yes. assimilate the world with peace, and and, and the drummer from Scott Pilgrim is a Borg queen everybody. now. Assimilate, oh. assimilate with peace. Do they fucking even hear them? So anyway, uh, mm -hmm. the Borg were destroyed in first contact, but. The weird thing was, in this episode, they mentioned Wesley. I'm like, did you not see, like, series two at the end? That was one of your big plot points. Well, she said, I lost my son Wesley to space. Yeah, so he can't, he's one Out of the, the um, uh, it implies, like, what the hell did he die? Like, Gary Seven, he's one of the, like, I forgot what, they, like, Gary Seven, that's what he is. So he's like a, a time-traveling 
watcher yeah. type of person. Mm-hmm. I um, thought I, I, I hey, he's out is, of the dimension. Holy it is, shit! It, it, told him to get it, out. He holy left. Shit. It's certainly more um, movie check for sh- Trek for sure. Uh, well, there, were, there were a couple of moments in episode three where I was just like, that could have been in the next channel. Yeah, I lo- I loved the conversation between Picard and Crusher. Lovely Crusher. That, it was done very well. It was done really well. And <clears throat> wait till you get to the next two episodes. Holy shit! Holy but, shit! For me, my well, favorite stuff that between Riker and Picard. And I saw it Eric. The yeah. end. It was the very end of the episode that got me. For that, especially episode one, I'm like this is really mid. Two, I'm like I'm not really sold. Even yeah, three, same. I think it improved, but it was only the very end and the twist in that that I really liked. Um, and one thing Worf, that I like Worf, but I don't think I, I don't like that storyline where it is at the moment. And so I think like Worf's level like lifting it up. But Riker and Picard have been a great since episode that's what one. made episode one good was there, Riker, Riker, and yeah, Picard. yeah. There, there, I won't spoil it, but there's some really creative storytelling, actually good quality storytelling. The end of episode two, there's an exchange between two characters that's unspoken, and you know exactly what they're communicating. Mm-hmm. And Picard oh, yeah, yeah, acknowledges yeah, yeah. something, and that was that was beautifully done. It was a great because I'm so freaking sick of like Lord, Rings of Power. They have to spell like say everything, yeah. voice everything, yeah. say stuff that to the scene and to characters that they would know every, everyone would already know that they're, they're, they're so dumb that they think they have to spell everything out and it was so refreshing in house of the dragon where we actually got subtle storytelling where they didn't tell the audience everything they showed things characters in like communicating without you know speaking and then they had did that at the end of episode two with picard and i was like and you could you could tell exactly what picard realized and what was being communicated yeah. before he spoke well, yeah he, he was and in it denial. was brilliant it's it was, almost yeah. like they it have talented brilliant. people making it mm-hmm. yeah. what um surprise we needed those um as i was gonna say something but <laughs> I I'm, an old man. <laughs> and I'm an old man and i've i uh I forgot. That happens to me all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. No, I remembered. So I remembered. <laughs> uh, Captain Shaw, fucking he, he's an oh, MVP. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Absolutely. I would, love to see a, I would love to see a show with just him. Like, he'd be a great yeah, guy. Crew. Him and the crew. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Worf, Worf is absolutely an MVP for the series. Riker is an MVP for the series. Shaw is. Uh, mm-hmm. But even, like... Um, Wait, there can't be multiple. Uh, why am I blanking on oh, yeah. now? LaForge's kids like aren't it's annoying. Like yeah, she's, she's good too. She, they're like uh, like the new characters aren't annoying. That they're they're uh, we don't yeah. have the women, uh, you know, telling the captains what to do, and, and especially Shaw. You know, like a Pike in in Star Trek Discovery season two always stood with his hands cupped over his balls, uh, because Burnham was like disobeying every one of his fucking orders. And he was just there to be, a, a, you know, people liked him because they like Anson Mount. Hell on Wheels, fucking great show. Go watch it. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he, he wasn't that great in it uh, because the writing sucked. But we have crew acting like a crew. Sydney LaForge. Sydney LaForge yep. is like a good character. Yeah, right. A yeah, good, right. interesting yeah. character. Uh, and and Jack, Jack Crusher should have. An Asian dude's good, but I don't know what he's called yet. Oh, Lieutenant Lamar. I'm gonna, I got it wrong. I got to get his name down. The He's Bajoran. good too. Yeah, it's not Lamar. Yeah. That's it's not. No, it's Lamar. Or so, like, I don't know. Yeah, Dude. It, it, she's great too really because can. it's like the whole issue with her is she's like caught between two worlds. Like her dad's this like legendary engineer, and she wants to be a pilot. But Jordy started as a really, pilot. He started, well, as a pilot. Know, yeah. he started as a helmsman. He did. He did. He got promoted to engineering in uh, season two. Yeah. But this is like a, this is a situation where you you could say, oh, they're just doing a girl version. Of Jordy. of Jordy, yeah, but they made her endearing likeable. and an actual, <laughs> yeah. actually likable. Wow, that's what you need to do for characters if you want yeah, to like I, them. I, if they if they do a good job and you can see that they'll put their oh for merit actual merit, not yeah. just for the the hire, right? No one complains. We are like, yep. like they did a good job. Awesome to see, and I found it really interesting. A lot of people were saying the only she got ruined to the end. But Deezer in Rings of Power, like, like, like we judge it on the merits, like the he was actually world. a more likable character than other people. In that first episode? In the first episode. So she becomes like, <laughs> she she becomes like Sith at the psycho. end. And yeah. she turned we into a rule of right? stars. <laughs> power. They, they ruined her as well. Join right? me. Yes. <laughs> and together. Patrick L's. Well, oh, go on. 
I, I really like Shaw because I think it, the, especially when you watch this stuff all the time, I, as, and F, through episode one, I'm like, I like all the old characters. I don't like the new ones. And then there was Shaw. And sh me liking Shaw proved that it's actually, it's, it's not that I just, oh, you're just lying in the past. It's not nostalgia because here was something new, an entirely original character, mm -hmm. which was a step, like head and shoulders above everyone else. It's yep. like, no, it's not me. It is actually you because there's the evidence that there is a good character and a bad character actually in there. You combined and, good writing with a talented, mm. charismatic actor. Mm -hmm. And it's weird. You get a good story that's it's enjoyable. Like, it's wow. so strange. Yeah. Crazy I, stuff. I, I love that he's very by the book and has a stick up his ass, yes. which is very much the opposite of the previous captains we've been yep. getting. Yep. But honestly, that should be the more common Starfleet captain. That is exactly yeah. obey, the, obey the rules and, and do I, the job. Uh, I really liked it in episode three when he gets um, taken out, not dead. He gets yeah. taken out of the equation and he knows he's out of the equation. Oh, no spoilers for episode three. I and he turns to Riker and he's just like, um, you it's... got us into this mess. You, yeah. you get us out of this mess. <laughs> you know, so good. <laughs> My favorite part of him is literally, they're, they're, we're going to do this plan. We're going to go over here. And he just goes, no. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, that, was the, the, the yeah, no. that was from the first episode, Chad. The delivery of that was perfect. That was from the first episode, Chad. I love how Az just like, whatever, Chad. I don't give a shit. Who <laughs> <laughs> it? Hey, do your fucking homework. Do your job, I'm Chad. Gonna... Do your I, job. I, I, You're a day ahead enjoy, of us. I, You're in the future. <laughs> you should watch everything yeah, first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. This is what I'm doing. I'm saving it so I can enjoy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saving it so I can enjoy two episodes at a time. So I'm not like feeling like. Oh, so the I rest of the world should oh, wait oh, for oh, Shad. Yeah. <laughs> That's a terrible idea if you don't I get spoiled. Binge model going. Binge model versus. <laughs> <laughs> this is my oi, oi, this is my arguments against the binge model because you can binge it if you want. You just wait, and that's just what I'm doing with the card because I want to get a larger chunk. So because sometimes the episodes feel too short, and I want to see what happens. Well, next. here's the problem. And so I watch two episodes. Here's the, the problem: time. you live stream and cover pop culture content where people mm -hmm. pretty much keep on top of it all the time. Yeah, I didn't know we we're gonna exists. talk about because you don't get to do this anymore, <laughs> Shad. <laughs> we talked about it last week, dude. I'm not gonna stop talking about Picard is like because it's the one fucking good thing out there and I'm, unless I'm going to bore my audience with uh, I just watched 1923 and thought it was fucking great <laughs> I could sit there and bore you with the Sheridan shit you should do a live stream on that too yeah that's it that's, that's great should. yeah it's, I just got it's the a soap opera of, it's a fucking uh, soap opera with violence and some bobs so I'm down with it. I'm okay with that. I just got the season four of Yellowstone, and I'm great. loving it. I'm feeling freaking wrong. I get told you need to watch Mandalorian. I do watch it. It freaking sucks. <laughs> then half of you guys didn't watch it anyway. We... Well, Chad, <laughs> That's true. Chad, <laughs> Chad, I'll thank you for that, because I did tell everybody to watch Mandalorian. I did. I, 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 I watched it. I did my homework. I watched it. Even, Gary, I even I went back and watched the Mandalorian watch episodes in Bobo Fett so I could be up to date wow. with them. Okay, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, you I didn't ask you. Don't blame me. That's good being wow. thorough, but no, yeah, uh, stay stay up to Picard date on Picard, Picard because yeah. I'm no one be... told me be up to date with Picard. Freaking That's out. a given. Come I didn't on. watch I either. Introduce Chad. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear me complain about Mando spoilers. <laughs> what, what are you going to spoil? <laughs> what are you going to spoil? I can't believe you guys spoil me about that giant up for the alligator. Bench. The giant alligator. <laughs> Which is the, oh, which the is, giant alligator? I just thought it, I thought that was in horrible <laughs> taste. I thought it was in horrible taste because the first thing I thought of was very bad. So I'm like, I forgot about the alligator. That's attack not the only Disney. person who's ever been killed. Uh, oh, at Disney World? No, no. Yeah. Uh, remember at Disneyland when there were no deaths at Disneyland up until like the last five years ago or something like that, which was total bullshit, by the way. Like twenty five people have died at Disneyland yeah. over. They just over move the, their body outside. They of just the don't report it, including the decapitation on the Matterhorn. Wait, what? What? Yep. Yeah. What? Yep. Yeah. The, X Ray girl, you like, would comics drive doesn't them have out. anything to worry about. X Ray girl, if you go on the Matterhorn, be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like New Orleans level of crime. Like, like, oh, we don't count it as a murder if they die in the hospital after the fact. It's like, yeah, they what? would. The the MGs wouldn't, wouldn't establish that the death until after they left the. Uh, the ground. So Disney statistics. Yes, Back basically how they do their box office too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to process that there's a decapitation on the Matterhorn. Was yeah. that like, was that a murder? Did someone do it or was no, it no, no? It was yeah, years Mickey and years and years ago. There, uh, there is a book. I forgot the title now. It's an older book that somebody told me about. 
I got it as a paperback for it's like five bucks. titled Decapitation on the Matterhorn. No, but it's basically all the dark <laughs> shit that's happened at Disneyland that's been c- covered up. Uh, yeah. Help me chat with the title. But uh, I, I yes. believe it's called It's a Small World. Uh, uh, somebody a was a little bit too big for the Matterhorn and uh, and head went all the way down to the bottom. And they had to go get it. I remember oh. hearing about that. There's, there's all sorts of things I've heard about. That's Disney why I never put my arms Imagine being up. the person sitting behind yeah. them. No, somebody died yeah, on yeah. Big Thunder too, but that was a seatbelt. That was a, the they were too fat for the seatbelt. So that was the person who recently died, right? That was like three. Okay. Yeah, that, that they, they were a little too hefty for the seatbelt, and uh, they got ejected. Okay, okay, horrifying deaths at theme parks. There's no, the decapitation park. was at uh, was most definitely on uh, the Matterhorn. But it was from okay. years and years and years and years ago. If it was on Space Was- Mountain, you'd never see it coming. Okay. No, you wouldn't. That's another one. Yeah, like I wouldn't even put my hands up in that ride. I would go. That scared me. Listen to this one, right? There's a That's theme park in Australia. Uh, you know those water theme parks? Dark side of Disney. Giant- <laughs> you know those water uh, rides where you sit on those giant kind of round things, okay? And at at the end, it goes up on a conveyor belt. In Australia, what happened Ooh. on that conveyor belt as it reached the top, it flipped upside down, and the people Ooh. got caught in the conveyor belt and meat grinder. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Wow. The worst I had heard was oh, one of those ones that you, brings it up and then big drop, right? The big drop rides. And Superman. they were up there, and yeah, Superman. And that was Louisiana, the wasn't it? Cord snapped. No, I think it was maybe one in Ohio, but the cord snapped, and uh, basically it just sliced off someone's le- like feet, like 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 at yeah. the ankle, yeah. at the ankle. Same like, thing like, on, on a Superman ride. Right? Oh well, Superman ride. It took her up. Her hair got stuck in the <gasps> in the yeah. gears. Yeah. Yeah. They tried to yeah. tell him to stop, 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 and they didn't, and it just went. I, I saw yeah. a video right where. We, yeah, they went up on sort of this ring. I think the summer's coming up, everybody. Yep. Into the well, <laughs> hey, Garrett, yeah, so, uh, Garrett. Hey, Geeks and Gamers has a channel called Park Hopping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> goes to the park Top each ten day. biggest is <laughs> you just make sure I just want to say, the theme park, no, check out Park Hopping. The uh, one Garrett, that chopped off the person's Garrett, feet we're, that we're, got moved to another park. I rode that ride because oh, shit. that's the kind of person. So, the, I so where we stayed in Orlando, Garrett, remember we yeah. were looking at those two rides, and one of them was shut down. It's because that's the somebody one where that had fat kid fell. Yeah, that that would, somebody mm-hmm. had just died off of that. That's well, not Disneyland, it was, though. It was some like really, really fucking fat kid who shouldn't have been on the ride and he couldn't get buckled in. All right, Ryan, I you know. <laughs> hey, you're right. Hey, guys, I, you're here still. You weren't this person. But this ride, uh, dude. This, I mean, I that this must have been was also black. Uh, and that ride, <laughs> dude. That thing was high. That that was yeah. like an insanely high. Right. Yeah. It's I like don't do the thing. towers. You know. There's a towers. video out there. That, oh yeah, no, thanks. Rough. Um, Patrick Ells for fifty dollars. <laughs> By the way, watch Park Hopping. They're still cleaning up the sidewalk today. <laughs> I think we found a new like wow. a new playlist for Park Hopping. Like that's a whole subject yeah. of just grisly deaths at parks. <laughs> just do a video. Hey, it's Jay. He died uh, right there. Yeah. His head right right do, some, wow. do some video essays. And they're really grisly. Like these are just messy. Ugh, ah. <laughs> these things happen. Jay's got the selfie going, right? And he's like, wow, yep. somebody just like lost their head on the ride and they need to start to duck lipping a little. Yeah, Jay takes one of those, like one of his Instagram selfies, yeah. like, with a, oh. like a, just a just a limb hanging. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 oh, he staged that shit. Patrick Ells for fifty dollars says I just spent a C note on shots for my coworkers going uh, going away party. Thank God we're the only three people. We're having a good day, and I might end up sleeping in my car. Hey, it's better than driving home drunk. Sleep in your car, one hundred percent. Unless it's like forty below. Yeah, then, call, then call an Uber, a taxi, or Uber. Yeah, or call an Uber, dude. Uh, Quantum Sledgehammer on the Streamlab side for $50. How would I describe FNT? How would I describe FNT? <laughs> Lowbrow humor, dick boob fart jokes, mm-hmm. childish behavior, middle school antics, inappropriate comments, unrelenting cursing, and m- unmerciful trolling. Bottom line, uh, wow. I am with my people. All hail the fellowship <laughs> and all hail FNT. Yes. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, I'll put a judge for yeah, a moment there. Us. We are professionals. Yeah. We are professionals. Are you kidding me? These Russian brides are hot, but I mean, can they make a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> can they make? Well, yeah, but it'd be like boiled chicken and boiled 
frog hearts or something like that. I hope I you know, like whatever the Russians has. eat. I'm just what? kidding, Russian. Sorry? I'm just kidding. I hope you like borscht. Borscht? Borscht is good. I mean, I hot like sauce. These ones? I'm prepared to try anything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Russian fans. I thought that was the East German dating yeah. website. But okay. like, are you also trying to get out of the Ukrainian draft? <laughs> 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 I love it when we laugh at you. I'm out of you. I don't make sandwich. Fuck off. <laughs> I love it when we laugh at everything. Ryan just gets more serious. Laughing is gay. If I made the joke, I'm typically not going to laugh. Yeah. Uh, I do. Or if, I or if a woman all the time. It, so. I don't care. Uh, that that's my barometer for when I'm recording a video. I'm like, if it made made me laugh, then it should make somebody else laugh, right? That's, that's what I do. <laughs> so. I, I've seen people go nuts at their jokes. It's like, how else am I supposed to know if I think something's funny? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'm not making the joke for you. What? <laughs> I don't often <laughs> try to, for me. I don't often like try to make my videos funny. But when I was doing my live stream the other day, and I was recording a video in the middle of it. Uh, there was a line from Holly Bailey, who's playing Black Ariel in The Little Mermaid, who was like, this is really a story about modern day women and modern day women being independent. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Are you going to start at OnlyFans? Like, and, and, uh, uh, only uh, and, and it just like came out. I was like, that worked. I watched that video and I laughed at that. Yes. yes. There you go. There Good. you go. It worked. Only Fins. Slade only Lawton. Fins. Uh, two parts for fifty dollars. I said a variation of this on T M N E. I gotta say T M N E really slowly, or I go Tim and Nee or yeah, something like rough. that. Yeah, it's T M N T or something like that. Timony. 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 There you go. Timony. I can do that. I can do Timony. About a month ago, but it's more fitting now, and more than one person on this panel will get a kick out of it. X-Ray Girl and anyone else who knows a, a Baby Yoda, I wish each and every last Baby Yoda out there could be given uh, the treatment Disbrew suggested in his video or that they all each transform into a single orbalisk. Is that supposed to be obelisk? Obelisk. Obelisk, what? yeah. Oh. Uh, replacing, ev <laughs> replacing every last one of that disgraceful character. That's that's it. So I think so we should do what Disbrew said. What, what did you say in your video? I haven't seen yeah. it yet. Oh well, I said that essentially the Mandalorian has become just a baby Yoda merch operation, and I think mm. they should just turn him into a football because every time he appears on screen, I want to drop oh, kick yeah. him in the face. Ah. <laughs> and I think we should add. On People to got that. very angry. Right Five into hours a into wood that chipper. video, I was still you down know? two subscribers over the entire video. A lot of people watched my <laughs> <sunset. laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Baby Yoda fans out there. Leave Baby with the, Yoda alone. E even, even with the yeah. fact that they are milking it so hard and they've gone f too far into it, I still like Baby Yoda. He's a cute guy. You know. Yay! He I, I, has a cute design. I mean, I do I have, have a Baby Yoda. You yeah. Yeah. Wow. I do have a Baby Yoda that what? I want to show you guys. Let's see it. Full oh, screen. Uh -oh. Full screen, Ryan. Uh oh. <laughs> Yes. He's never been happy. So happy. Wow. I'm so happy. I about that. Legion of Mamers won't do anything with that. No. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Fuck. Oh shit. Uh -oh. Yep. There you go. No, bad. Bad. He's even got hand. X's on his eyes. So. Yeah, he did. This is Baby Yoda in my dreams right here. Uh, Keep him right here on my desk. Fearless leader for $50. This is for each member of the Geeks and Gamers crew. I'm graduating from high school in May, and I'm going to start making video games this summer. What kind of games do y'all want to see? First, Ooh. RPGs, fighters. Wow. What Something with swords. Mm, RPGs. RPGs. <laughs> yeah. RPGs. An RPG, RPG fighter. With RPG fighter with swords? Hey, there you go. There we go. You big chivalry fan, Chad. Maybe you can have Ooh. Baby Yoda as the villain. Right in exiles at the moment. Oh. Oh. 
There you go. <laughs> it had racing to it somehow. There you go. Make it I, I, like, um, I like Among Us, and I like Slither IO. It'll um, just be another game I'm bad at, so. I just want a game just with a lot of diversity, honestly. Really? I don't feel like we've got <laughs> enough of that. So that's really what I'm looking for. Hogwarts Legacy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. You know, it would actually be a butter it looks knife. Like Get it right. The way that they could redeem Baby Yoda for a lot of people is as soon as he starts talking, he starts being mega based. Yep. And just the juxtaposition. Yeah. That would be Taxation hilarious. is theft. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> it's like Oaken. Bo-Katan opens oh her mouth. He's just like, Bitch, shut up. <laughs> yes. You do a lot of talking, bitch. Talk talking, bitch. Can we have an Eric oh. July? Wait, voice sorry. Theft taxation. <laughs> Don't smoke crap. <laughs> shut your mouth, you will, bitch. Or, uh, <laughs> Alex Jones voice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be oh, good. Someone's <laughs> got a fucking Alex Jones voice. That sounds like Baby Oh, face. my goodness. Someone do that. Animate Baby Yoda with Alex Jones voice saying that. Oh, Bo-Katan oh, walks man. up and he's like, You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking oh, goddamn God. fucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Baby Yoda. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. turn my yeah. opinion yeah. around. Yeah. Right around. There's got to be some. There's got to be some clips, like, what? or somebody could make them um, of like Mandalorian, but Baby Yoda is Alex Jones, and just yeah. like put tons of clips in there. That would kill. Oh, it would kill. Uh, uh, that's how Bra- you redeem Baby Yoda for uh, everyone. Bradley Burnett, <laughs> two parts for fifty dollars. I do. Even though I smartly watched only one season of STD. I know all those ironic scenes you uh, iconic sorry iconic scenes you mentioned. Well, ironic too. Uh, Not ironic. You're putting we're right true. Fast, Imagine if Trek fan went into a coma in 2005 and woke up to hear that crap. He'd say, "Holy crap! Put me back in my coma." Uh, remember, uh, all reshoots are mulligans. Marvel mulligans. Everything is doing great. Just great. I'm concerned they're going to start putting nets up around Disney's headquarters like <gasps> they did at Foxconn in China. Mm. In China. <laughs> well, around their effects studios, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we, um, we, I'm gonna play this video now. Hopefully it's funny. <laughs> Hopefully it's funny. I made it like right before the show. Hopefully. Did you laugh at it, Gary? Because if you laughed at it, then someone else will find uh, it. Yeah, I did. I did <laughs> laugh at it. I did laugh at it pretty hard. So um, <clears throat> usually I don't talk about other YouTubers, uh, but this mm. one, uh, I got a reply guy who's got almost a million subs, or I guess he used to have a million subs and doesn't anymore. Is that the case? Oh. Well, when you shove a banana in your ass, you know, it tends to drive people away. Oh, he's kind of that? a weird thing to do. Oh. What, facade? <laughs> what, <laughs> this did was you scary. do that on YouTube? He's, I think he's. Oh, don't, don't, don't oh. think about it, X Ray. Don't, okay. don't, don't, and don't. We look know it up. you and Banana. <laughs> that was okay. a genuine question. <laughs> don't look it up. Well, that's, I was just like, is this like a DSP? Oh, no. Just like, camera's well, just accidentally on. But it's been oh, so tasty, but no, no. no. Put some since, in my since, uh, <laughs> since Jeremy isn't here, uh, this will be a little guest appearance from Jeremy. So here we go. Hopefully this works and it's funny. If not, well, sorry, not sorry. Great, great way to say. I love you. <clears throat> oh man. All right, so um I got fucking uh <laughs> I got banned from Twitter again. Not permanently, but uh I have my uh 729th uh Twitter ban going on right now. I uh I said some mean things, you know. I'm I'm always doing that. I try, I try and I try to be a nice guy, you know? I try to be a nice person. I try to say the nice things. I try to be uh, be friendly and affable and, uh, you know, reasonable and get along with everybody and be the diplomat, be the scholar. But uh, unfortunately, it seems like uh, oftentimes I just can't quite fucking get there and I come across like a fucking angry asshole for some damn reason, even though, of course, I'm nothing like that, right? So uh, here's what I did. Here's uh, here's the thing. Here's got me in uh, in some trouble there. Uh, I'll tell you guys off so you see this shit a little better. But uh, so uh, this guy, or I guess it could be a girl. I don't know. Probably a dude. 
Ripiverse goalposts uh, says the Amazing Eighth has a message for Nerd Roddix, right? And then uh, Nerd Roddick says, "Who? <laughs> who? Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> And I said, uh, the guy who created the genre you're grifting in, you faggoty nerd bitch. Because, <laughs> uh, you know. And then I guess that was, uh, that was too mean. I got, uh, I got a little strike for that. You know, uh, I actually got four strikes um, when I said that. Some of them actually were from tweets that dated back to, like, 2010. So I guess I not only uh, pissed off Nerd Roddick, but I guess I pissed off some of his uh, fans. And at least one <laughs> decided to uh, to go back and uh, and find some other stuff they could report me for, <laughs> and so uh, they even found stuff back in 2010 to to get me. And so uh, yeah, I got I had four tweets taken down, and my account got suspended for seven days. Wow, <laughs> I think you were too har- <laughs> you were too harsh on Hot Topic Jack Murphy. Uh, when uh- when did he stick the? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see the part in the video where he stuck a, the banana up his ass. No, it wasn't. Oh, that's like that's then, like eight years beep, ago. What was the bleep for? It? Completely missed. Yeah, the bleep. I, missed. Yeah, I think bitch got bleeped. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. I forgot to beep out the f word. So I had my I had my sensor. I was a bit surprised. I had my sensor. Oh, oh and I, okay. at least it hit it on time for me. <laughs> I don't know if it didn't hit that time for you. No. <laughs> maybe for the people in the chat, maybe they saw it. Oh, well, I think this episode has already he's he's cool the, 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 Something's never changed. I was like, shit, I probably should have beeped that out. So I've got my beep. I, I just like the idea that he's created the entire niche of talking about television and movies. Like nobody ever did. Yeah, he invented it. He invented it. Amazing atheist a decade ago or whatever. You know, yeah. back when like he was one of those guys back in YouTube's infancy. Back when there wasn't a lot of competition, a lot of guys made it big quick. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's not like you invented the ni- you just yeah exactly filmed yourself doing it. People have always been doing it. Yeah, and like, it, look, I you, did you, that. You hit sunny. on something. You hit on a truth there, Ryan, that uh, back when there wasn't a lot of competition and there were yes. options, some people did get a big following because there were fewer people doing it. There were definitely other people doing it. But then, yeah. That doesn't negate what they've coming. done. That doesn't negate what they've done, right? A lot of these people were the first in and, you know, started, yeah. um, you know, started doing something that maybe people hadn't thought about before or whatever. So. Like but sticking D- a DSP banana up their ass. Claims so, yeah. that, uh, DSP he's, claims yeah. that he created Let's Play. And look where he's at now. <laughs> look where he's at now. And it's not like I wasn't having these conversations on my comic shop every fucking day before there was a YouTube. So... I don't know. So, so what we'll you're saying, he was like, like the, uh, years on him. It was, was he the Jack Murphy before Jack Murphy? Is that what you're saying? That's or? what it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he was getting paid, so I don't know if that makes him <laughs> more or less shameful. <laughs> but, uh, Jack Murphy. Uh, I was going to make a bad joke. I don't know if I should. Do it. Do it. Uh, speaking of somebody who put something up their ass, we might have a guest who actually did put something up their ass coming up that soon. That is true. We'll let you know. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. Was it a banana? No. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't it, it a was banana. Not, it was not no. a banana. It was not a banana. <laughs> that means what? Jeremy Griggs is coming yeah! back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's what he gets for not being here. Oh, and for the record, <laughs> Chrissy's on this stream every week, so. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, you had a pretty wow. good joke. Your your joke about anal was pretty good, uh, though. It was a really good one. Like, glad you made a clip about that, equating it to the to the jab. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I got lots of good. clips coming. Mm-hmm. Chrissy's a pro. Uh, rolling the oh, speaking of somebody from your show, rolling the wretched, rolling the wretched. Four parts for two hundred dollars. Got to meet him. Uh, interesting oh, news. I yes. totally promised not to tell everybody on Friday Night Tights that he waxed his balls. Ah. <laughs> okay, it was part of my crowd work. I had a joke about waxing. I'm like, oh, I'm like, you, sir, have you had anything waxed? And he was like, uh, and I was like, out with it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you have to hesitate. The answer's yes. Yep. yep. And he admitted like, he, he had a sack. I was like, what, you're back? And then uh, how did it go? He's like, no, you're 
he said, I wax my balls. And I'm like, well, <laughs> like, what was it for? Like, was it, was it for your anniversary or wedding or something? Or was it for like a little league game? Like the event matters. <laughs> like, what was the occasion? <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh, it's for like the anniversary. I think he said it's for his Just anniversary. Just liked it to be sleek. Yeah. <laughs> it ended up <laughs> being dynamic. okay. It all worked out. It, sounds it all pain. worked out. Yeah. Uh, to go through that yeah. much pain. Respect. You gotta have some balls. That's respect. You have to hold them taut. Like that's that's yeah. what I have to do. I have to hold. Have to do, uh, okay. girl. Has how does, how does, does that work? How do you do? <laughs> Why are you she asking is. X-ray girl, Ryan? <laughs> X-ray girl was going to She was kind of old. She's done it. She's done it. She's done it. <laughs> so oh. very stereotypically, X-ray girl has been a fucking like Asian waxing person before. <laughs> so you, do you need a multi, <laughs> multiple hands to do that? Because you got to pull the sack like this and then have your own. One at the top. And then two hands, or at least, Smear, you know, so one drive. hand to pull it off. You go, mm-hmm. yeah. eight people. Yeah. So, you, what, you, so what's you, the so stretchiest, you actually... hold on, what's the stretchiest sack you've ever seen, actually? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ten. That's really a question. Yeah. <laughs> like, how? Oh, my God. Even as is disgusted like, by that like, question. It was like Doctor Who. I can't remember. They're like the moisturize me woman. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> How do you not get hard when that happens? Like, how do you go oh, there and get it? They do. do. They do. Yeah. Some people like you do. would. There's no. And there's no option. The you can't thing, not. A good. Well, some people don't. But it, it makes it easier to wax if they're easier. hard. Yeah. Because then it's all stretched out. Ryan has and... a lot of knowledge about this. I, 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 like, Ryan's like, had I go this every done. week. Probably got a little buds there. Ryan's got a lot of knowledge about getting hard in massage. The reason I started doing it was because guys tip better than girls. I bet they do. Well, no. I, I've I, I had know why. very, very specific discussions with X Ray Girl. About I'm sorry, X Ray Girl. Did you just <laughs> say, X Ray Girl? Did you just say you get tip for fondling guys? <laughs> yeah, they tip <laughs> I'm very careful and clinical about this. Okay. Mm, very, very gentle. I would want you to be that because, wow. like, that's yeah. some delicate work. Hey, you're hey, doing. like, I've, I've seen and done a lot of like. We'll call it clinical things, uh, and in the <laughs> hospital to to males. Can we all oh, have this put is, this is in? clinical. This is no, no she just said non clinical. She just said this. Did I say non clinical? Oh, no, you said clinical. Okay. Good. He's just hearing non clinical. <laughs> okay, okay, here's my question for X Ray Girl. You don't, you don't want a person doing that themselves. Right. They could hurt did, something. Did right. they tip better if? Uh, like as soon as you start, if you're like, oh, hey there, big boy. Uh, <laughs> I, have never, I have never said that. A lot of compliments. Never said that. Yeah, every, you just went, wow. Oh, That's the first wow. word Sorry, every Mark. time. Sorry, Sorry, Mark. Poor Mark. Asian, <laughs> Good job. Not, you just well, open the door, variety. cancel my three o'clock. Did you ever pretend that you couldn't speak English? No. This is way too much information. <laughs> oh, my God. But I will I'm say, pretty fascinated about it. Um, I think it was Asians. There's Not a lot there. Huh? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> At least oh, the ones sad. I've seen. <laughs> what about black people? I, I actually haven't waxed a guy, a black guy's. You know, it's all been white, like white dudes and Asians. I don't know if they wax. Well, I, that says like does that say more guy. about you or them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. To Maybe that's well, the you question. Know white, so. Next time he's on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, You're going to have to ask some. <laughs> We're really pushing the bounds on this one. You know? We really are. This <laughs> fucking episode, are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I'm the one. I'm the one pushing the bounds. <laughs> I'm just saying in general. <laughs> Shooting Baby Yoda in the face. Oh, no. Wax and ball. ball. Wait. I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's the three hour mark. We're good. Nobody's yeah. three hour mark. We made it. <laughs> Sun's getting low, big guy. <sighs> Sun's I know. getting low. I know. I've had a long day. Not as long as X ray goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends if she, if she saw Asian people that day or not. Yeah. True. True. I can't you mean say a long day? Long day? <laughs> Why not at this point? <laughs> long day. <laughs> it's a long. It's a long day. The longs don't make a white. <laughs> <laughs> they do make. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>
Chinese, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's acceptable racism. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god bring up that same Lulu picture again with the feather <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay <sighs> big breath sun going down yeah it's down below the horizon <laughs> <laughs> Just it's like dark sun. outside it's like midnight you know it's like one o'clock in the morning you know it's like Oh. Not a long gonna... day. I went to the gym. I did. <gasps> I saw that. Minutes of exercise. Nice. Good. Hell yeah. Uh, Good. Good for you. Congrats. Baby. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it was. <laughs> As makes me feel like a fat piece of shit every time he says he's going to the gym. That's I mean, like, I go. Yeah, I, I like it. I feel like it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am. That's okay. Oh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Every time legit I though, mirror, legit though. We watched the, the earlier clip, the opening of the show. That was older footage of you. You definitely look. You've lost, yeah. You've lost some weight, man. Oh you look yeah. Good. You look good. You, you look don't need good. carbs. It went. It all no went carbs, to my no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a clip for that. There's a clip. <laughs> Remember that Perry Chan clip uh, with with the giant <laughs> yeah, no the yeah, giant yeah, testicles the, the guy with the giant testicles i'll, I'll yeah. find it yeah. yeah yeah i remember that yeah <laughs> except it's ryan <laughs> i think it's ryan yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will. the saggiest bulls i've seen <laughs> wow you don't see mine it makes it uh, hard to, it makes it hard for him to go to the store <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i remember that one <laughs> yeah i do is it does it as drum on him or something is that that clip so, yeah no, no. I am, I am the you are the testicle. You, as I, is the I, testicle. I'm the testicle. Yeah, yeah, it, oh my god. That's why we can't show it again. It's like with YouTube's new rules. It's like Jesus. Yeah. How do we get away with that? Yeah, know. yeah. Don't want to show anything you shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Thanks everyone. It's been a lovely time. I've enjoyed talking shit about stuff. Okay. Quite like, what do you I got coming like up? What, are you got a Hogwarts stream in five minutes? No, I'm no. done with Hogwarts. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is tomorrow. As. As. I want to know. As. Bye, As. It was well done. Bye. Uh, Roland the Wretched, uh, back to his super chat of uh, <laughs> $200 in four parts uh, after outing him for waxing his balls. <laughs> uh, one of four got my interest free loan back from the feds and decided you guys uh uh good to do some something better with or you guys are going to do something better with it i am betting the state of california is going to send me uh chits instead of a refund what's it no shits instead of a refund because gavin oh uh nuisance gavin nuisance, nuisance. is 35 billion in debt fucking hell wait a minute Wait a minute. When I left California, that motherfucker was talking about the surplus. This big fucking surplus. You mean it's all gone because that surplus actually came from federal taxpayers? How do you feel about that, the rest wow. of America? You you gave California a surplus that they fucked off within two fucking years. That should make you angry. It should. But Gavin Newsom, going to be up for president soon. And his I ass know much is about to fucking it. lose. And watch. I don't know. We thought Joe Biden was going to lose, but look yeah. at that. Uh, like, oh, at fuck. this point, if Joe Biden can win, you know, because that election wasn't fought. I'm right. not going to be surprised um, by anything. Anything. Yeah. I, I I can't believe how ri ad, like brain riddled that guy is. It's just. You, well, you know, if the Republicans want to win, they need to ballot harvest. That's all there is to it. So they need to cheat, too. Great. Yeah. Yep. Now mm -hmm. everybody's fucking cheating. They yep. need to cheat where it's legal, where it's not technically <sighs> just. It's called exactly. equity. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's the catch-all term. Yeah. What, what was the outcome? Yeah, I mean, I guess, but and then if they start cheating, are they going to cheat in primaries like the Democrats cheated in primaries? Like fuck Bernie, but the guy got screwed. The guy got screwed. So yeah, he totally did. Yep. Well, uh, if he would have spoken, up, if he would have spoken up about it instead of just taking it like a bitch. Well, he took his third house. You know, the million. That's why he yeah. stopped saying millionaires and billionaires. Off, and he just said billionaires. Yeah. Uh, it was like a billionaire. I am. Here's uh, some money in a book deal. You'll be fine. Yeah. I had. 
uh, had probably too good of a time in San Diego and forgot uh, rule one of comedy, never volunteer. Chrissy asked if anyone gets waxed, and I raised my hand because I'm a re I'm retarded. <laughs> the way she looked at me, I know what a praying mantis sees before it, it, its heads get ate. <laughs> that was bad enough. Then I pulled an as. No, I didn't pretend to be British. No, I did profess my love for men with tits. I said a quiet thing out loud. I had my junk waxed. So Shad, get your Q stick, uh, your Q stick and ball rack waxed if you want. If you want to talk real man. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Uh, it was great having Gary and Melissa sitting right behind me for the show. And Melissa is a saint. Yes, she is. Uh, can't wait for Vegas. Hail Friday Night Tights. Fellowship, Baby Thor, and Hawaiian Pizza, and Long Live Boomer Gary Gaming. Cheers. It was great meeting you, dude. Yeah, it was great. Super cool guy. Always Can't wait to volunteer. see you in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, uh, it, it helped Chrissy's show, sucker. It helped it. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in Vegas, man. Speaking of, everybody, RSVP, link in the description. Vegas. I just cool. bought my Heck plane yeah. tickets today. Hell yeah. I need nice. to get that myself. Dude. Must be there for a while. It. You're gonna fly First in on Tuesday. Rounds. I'm I'm gonna fly in on Tuesday. Do Tuesday night's main event from there, mm -hmm. and then Wednesday, and then I'll be there for Friday night tights there, and I'll stay through the weekend. Fly back on Monday. Were you? Oh, yeah. oh, oh have we booked sticky paws yet? Quarter blind. Yes, we did. Yes, okay. we have. Hi. Um, we actually have uh something that just got confirmed today people i know a lot of people are going to be in vegas at the end of april but at the end of march beginning of april so april 1st right right in the afternoon saturday orlando megacon the geeks and gamers crew is going to be doing a panel there Ooh, orlando. So, i mean we're oh. in orlando now a bunch of people are here yeah. so if you're going to be around or want to be around please come to megacon on saturday uh, i think it's right mm. at 2 p.m that that time might fluctuate a little bit but pretty good time um, so we're going to be there. We'll give you guys more information as it comes up. And I'm sure uh, we'll be doing something, you know, during or after as well. Hell yeah, so. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. It just officially got confirmed now, so we're letting you guys know. It's not, not a ton of notice, but you got a month. And, uh, yeah, Saturday, Orlando Megacon. And Chrissy? Yes, just confirmed. Uh, tickets are now on sale. I'll be doing a comedy show uh, April 27th, so that Thursday. Hopefully there's nothing else going on, but if you're planning to come out for the whole weekend, uh, that'll be a nice thing to do. Lila Hart will be on the show as well, and I still have to confirm a few other spots. So that's the nice. day after and our meetup. And we'll be there. Yeah, it's, yes, and, and, Thursday. And it, you could have two shows at, or one. At the space. Two if it sells if it sells well. It'll sell but the well. first one right now is uh, for 7 o'clock, and then if, if it so sells, second we'll do a late show. Is that Chrissy's show? Chrissy's yeah. show. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, Chris Gore is going to be there. Uh, Robert Meyer Burnett is going to is going to show up to our nice. meetup. Oh, yeah. nice, very cool. Yeah, uh, it's during CinemaCon, so if you're going out for that, uh, we missed <clears throat> oh. out on our media credentials. So hopefully, yeah. Chris I, Gore can hook us yeah, up. I mean, it's, it's just going to say an industry thing. You know, there's a there's a showing of the Flash there. I know, but we can buy tickets. You can buy tickets. Yeah, to you go. Can. They're um, really expensive. I don't really yeah. want to fucking buy tickets though. Really Especially true. to see fucking as a flash movie, I'm gonna fucking hate. It, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna pay to see that. I, one Michael I'd Keaton cannot make up for two Ezra Millers. Sorry, <laughs> yes. I love Michael Keaton. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Every everything that was like that I liked about that trailer would always brought me back when it's like, oh, there's another oh. Barry. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Supergirl looks awful in it. She looks fuck, and that yeah. girl is hot. Like she's, she's good looking. Yeah, she's hot, yeah. dude. Like, she's what hot. did they do to her? They it's cut the her super hair off. Suit. A super suit as well. The design is like I. <laughs> this, those yeah. suits are like they tighten everything up. Like it just I don't know. Minimize. In weird yeah. ways. They MCU'd her is what they mm -hmm. did. I no, mean, honestly, yeah. the AI versions of your wife as Supergirl that As said he would smash look way better. <laughs> 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 Just so yeah, everyone yeah. can appreciate them, because uh, yeah, yeah, oh, whip them out. I'll, I'll, I'll share them. Yeah, didn't you say you spent over a hundred hours on that? To to make the model specifically. Um, so when you train a model on AI, that takes a lot of work, and I've been tweaking it for ages to get the best results. And so yeah, it takes a lot of effort to get some of these going. And so 
I like I love classic Supergirl and Look at uh, you know, nice. my wife. Oh, is my I love this whole thread that you did, Chad. I was like oh, really admiring you. it. Yeah, I like objectively um, uh, awful. Chad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like a banana taped on a wall is better, guys. Uh, yeah. That's the yeah. takeaway. Yeah. Well, it's better than it. modern. I like, that she looks, I like that she looks wet. I don't know if that's the idea, but. <laughs> well, I didn't wow. see those body pictures. Looks. Hold on. Wait, yeah, where are those? Please, <laughs> me. Oh. Like, you know, like, no, no, there's, there's more. I, I, um, because then <clears> I also tried to, you can know, see your belly here. button very specific. Go back yeah, to that yeah, last yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, like this one, belly button on this. But, um, the classic Supergirl costume is just amazing. How can you see a belly button but no nipples? I'm just, I have to ask that. The winter. And, you know, yeah, we can get bat nipples. Yeah, we can get bat nipples. <laughs> <Free the nip. laughs> and so then experimenting with different designs you can remain true to the classic design and still play around with certain things even like um uh, I, cool. a that one suit, makes it look right? like she's got a penis because of like the oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. well this is my favorite kind of full suit one um uh, i think it, like by i don't know the, the cape on the waist gives it a very feminine look imagine that, if uh, captain think, marvel mm. looked like that yeah yes Ooh. yeah pretty awesome and, uh, right, so billion. this is in the classic kind of Superman outfit, and this is when you know I was experimenting with the designs with the briefs, the classic Superman briefs, and uh, oh. you know, I like that one. Better. Yeah, that one's yeah. better. Yeah. Fun. yeah, like I wonder really? why. It, it I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but like Supergirl costume with briefs still fits, and it still looks very feminine. It looks great, mm -hmm. and so. Spike um, time. Well, it's also more, it's also actually more athletic. It's got, it's more in line with either a sports Very shorts athletic. or, 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 um, a, a leotard like for a, a gymnast. gymnast. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like well, this one. See, this one is more in, athletic. In episode one of, uh, the Supergirl TV series, they had her in something like this where it was like very, very tight Thank shorts. You. And she was just like, there's no way I'm wearing this. So they changed the costume. But they used to be able to show things like that as variations that were possible. Hmm. And Hel and there's Helen ways Slater. you can do it, like, like different designs and things that just look brilliant. Yeah. But what they have done in the Flash one is just was so bad it prompted me to make these ones as yeah. a kind of a tribute and memory to classic Supergirl. You know what could have been. Yeah. yeah. What AI two are you using? So this is stable diffusion with stable custom. Diffusion. Uh, yeah, yeah, with a custom model I trained myself and also takes a lot of time to refine the prompt. And a lot of these as well um, have me doing illustration edits and fixes mm -hmm. in Photoshop to really round it off. Um, I think Stable and... Diffusion is better than Mid Journey. Well, it seems to it, have more functionality. Like you can actually change it a lot. You more can do it. a lot more with it. You have a lot more freedom to change up things like custom models. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You, then there are textual inversions you can. It's a better add, tool. And there's, yeah, there's more. Nice. Yeah, there, there's a lot of tools you can do with like, oh, I only want to redo the hand or redo this section to refine and get better results. Yeah. And that's um, yeah. And but you can do amazing things with it. And uh, and this is awesome because. I, I I wouldn't have I, I don't have the money to be able to pay someone to make something like this, which is just a bit of an mm -hmm. indulgent kind of thing where I want to do a tribute for Supergirl. But this program has enabled pe people to make incredible art completely for free and also to use in professional things like it's going to enable me to perhaps explore animation in the future. And I'm absolutely working with artists still. In fact, it's enabled me to pay artists more because it's opening me up opportunity to do more projects than I could before. And so... Yeah it's um really beneficial yeah it, it's a tool it's a tool, it's a tool. you know and it needs right. to be it needs to be harnessed because it's here it's here to stay you can't get rid of it fighting yeah. against it is kind of uh pointless really you need yeah, to figure out how to harness it and make your industry there, better a... like humans are always going to be better chuck dixon is mm -hmm. never going to be topped by a fucking computer i don't care how good the computer gets Chuck Dixon no, is Graham going to Nolan be better. Won't be top. No. Graham yeah. Nolan <clears throat> is going to be better. Okay. Yeah. So, like, and and for me, like, some of the best Supergirl art is done by Art Germ. It's, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. And this isn't to try and replace him or even compete. But this is something that I'm able to actually trigger and be part of the creation of. And it it creates more mm -hmm. awesome stuff for us to appreciate. And yeah. Yeah. that's always happened. I mean, for decades, ever since like automation started. People mm. always predicted that we would run out of jobs, and it like no, it just the the jobs moved to a new area which used the tool to do something else. Yeah. When Photoshop came around, predict where it's going to go. When Photoshop came around, traditional artists 
lambasted it as a it's not really art it's digital it's fake mm -hmm. it's not the same and it's like you oh. know, it's it's a different tool that artists can use to make better like I, I imagine you could use this for concept art so oh, yeah. much and then yeah. a concept artist could take this and, tool and, and then make Garrett, a million different variations Garrett, of it since photoshop <clears throat> and even before with light tables artists have been fucking cheating since day one not oh, everybody's yeah. jack yeah. kirby or graham nolan or john byrne there was a lot of motherfuckers yeah. who uh, even recently used 3d models or were just tracing uh, what what was the whole uh, you know line from Mallrats? You're a tra I'm an anchor. No, you're a tracer. You know, yeah. like the, like they've been saying <laughs> this shit forever, forever. And it makes and it makes the people that really can draw themselves even more valuable. Yes, it does. Like hand drawn art is going to be premium, and that, I'm always going to be getting hand drawn art into my graphic novels I'm developing because I freaking love it. I love artists. I love the talent that they're able to put into it. But now we can also complement and lift the production and be able to do more. Yeah. Which is really exciting. And well, I make it like right now. I'm making a T-shirt. I'm making a new T-shirt, and uh, I'm paying an artist, Vincent Rush. He's a comic book artist. He's phenomenal. But I could use something like Stable Diffusion to concept art and be like, "Hey, could you mm -hmm. do something maybe in this perspective or something like this?" And he could take that and then make mm -hmm. it even better with his hand-drawn art and in his style. It's just another style. It's another tool, and mm -hmm. uh, it's the future, really. Mm -hmm. um people asking in chat for even a link to those images they're on my twitter feed <laughs> it's a bit of a bit wild <laughs> on my there, twitter yeah. <laughs> but they're there um and look th cool. there are really important discussions about the ethics behind it and i've made dedicated videos discussing go doing deep dives how this technology works how it makes the images so you can go check them out on shadowversity just look up ai to to understand the technology and realize that the, you know, in the largest, most primary way this functions, it does not actually steal art. It's, you don't have yeah. to stress about it. That's and I've works. already con I've condemned the unethical stuff where private information being used. Yes, that's bad. Okay. They're fixing it. They're making new base models in Stable Diffusion 2.0 and everything that has, uh, you know, artists like um, uh, accepting going into the model and all that stuff. And they're fixing the problems and the tool is really beneficial. Yeah. Uh, and I think that there's some people that are that don't like it, and I think that that's fine. I don't think, I think there's anything valid, wrong with yeah. people, yeah. you know, being a little bit worried about it, and people, you know, spreading their concerns and saying, "I don't want to use it" or "I don't want to see it used." I don't we think we should wrong all with be worried that about those, AI. I'm not going to uh, let some yeah. fucking yeah. Computer, oh yeah, I think I'm not letting like a computer it, totally drive fine. my that, fucking car ever. Yeah. <laughs> ever. That is see, totally this, fine. This Again, is back to it. Like Graham Nolan is 100 percent better. He's never not going to be better. Like, also, humans this, will be better at all times. This is not artificial general intelligence. This is an, a program. It's a it's a deep learning network for for specific visual references and stuff. Right? It's not like actual uh, self aware AI. The world, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. self aware AI. Oh yeah, there's some concerning things that I'm fully over. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but we're we're yeah, like super cautious, far away from that but, though. But this this is not going to take over. Like like. Uh, like control robots or anything like that it's it's an amazing tool um and yeah yeah but uh like i said the the new supergirl right i don't know who they got to design it there's so many ways you could have designed supergirl's outfit and they're saying it's in line with the <clears throat> universe you could they, like that's not an excuse the, the outfit looks awful there's heaps of ways you could have designed it and made it look really good and keep it in universe but most expensive movie ever made possibly <laughs> needs to make a lot of fucking money He's like a lot of fucking money, to, to, and it's probably not going to make its money back. Uh, the A. Marcellus for one hundred dollars, because George Lucas was still in charge of Star Wars when Clone Wars two thousand eight was created. He allowed Filoni to butcher the Mandalorian uh, culture that was established in the EU. The Mandalorians True. already had a great culture, but once again, the EU was thrown out the window you're not wrong yep sadly and, and right. all all of that just to throw it out again with the mandalorian yep. right and ryan oh. we have talked about the tartakovsky clone wars which are fantastic absolutely yeah, I think, fantastic i think that those are great and i also think that they fit in perfectly with the movies um and that's something that i value a lot as well yep. uh wg for 100 dollars on the stream lab side hey all friday night tights just saw the trailer of russell crowe's uh, in The Pope's Exorcist, pretty scary, man, but it got me thinking, if Ryan was possessed by the devil, I bet it would actually make Ryan nicer. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not wrong, WG. WG can't I might, wait to see I might possess him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, hey. Look at that. Uh, Butter Biscuit 92, two parts for $50. Uh, long time no see. Been over a year since my last donation. It's all right. I'm What's sure up, you were biscuit? busy. What's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, I lost my car. Oh, no. And was out that of work sucks. for about six months. So I oh. stopped listening to pop culture things because it wasn't helping with depression I was dealing with. Got a job at the post office, but I didn't make it. Got a job at the second post office and just passed my probationary period this past week and i'm a sub mailman working six days a week and i'm getting into the swing of things with pop culture again glad you are doing well cheers butter biscuit hey, hey man good to good hear you landed on your feet yeah man. Good to be Yo, you got a stamp you got a stamp hookup can i get some stamps i get some stamps? i love stamps i love letters i need to send stickers. some mail i need to yeah. i'm having my kids send letters yeah. Dude, just we're going exercise. We're just going semi analog. Like fun. we well, except for you guys. We're like we're paying we're we're annoying the shit out of every but we're paying everything with a check now. Fuck Zelle. <laughs> fuck PayPal. Fuck that fuck all shit. That. I will use a stamp. It was cheaper. <laughs> Snail mail that shit. Yeah. And uh it's and fun. like a lot of places like my mom's or my mom's thing, they don't know what to fucking do. They're like, why don't you just use the online portal? It's like, fuck you, no, you're gonna get a check and then they sit on the check <laughs> for like a month because they forget they get yeah. it. And then they call us and tell us we didn't pay. It's like, no, motherfucker, you know, we paid you. It's called a check. Oh, it's coming. Uh and it costs <laughs> less. It's cheaper. It's fucking cheaper. It's yeah, so, but then you gotta wait fucking a month. So before, what? Like, you know, don't care, not my problem. I paid in time. Damn right. I'm going Battlestar Galactica with this shit. Analog. Fuck it. <laughs> Analog. <laughs> Become uncomfortable. <laughs> That's right. You're going to start paying for your movie tickets with checks and your groceries. I'm going to pay them with fucking pennies. As long dude. as I'm you gonna do it in a timely manner. That's true. That's right. Patrick L's. I mean, genuinely, though, just on that note, that does actually have more security because if you're relying on PayPal, they can say, oh, you're problematic. We don't like you. You're yeah. not going to use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, your bank can too. It's what they so did to your Eric. fucking bank. Yeah, exactly. Like, bank. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's why I, I, we're going to you know, change to like some local Texas Credit bank, union. like based bank. Yeah. I want, somebody needs to make that. Caps right. soon. Based savings and loans. We need that right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some based credit union or whatever. Uh, Patrick Errol L's for fifty dollars. Uh, you guys think these remakes are bad? Have you seen the preview for History of the World Part Two? Uh, everybody's saying it's good. I am very skeptical. I'm very skeptical about that. Yeah. I but it's not a remake. The it's a sequel. I've seen the trailer. It doesn't it's look good. It does it not doesn't. look good at all. Uh, did you see uh, Jeremy Boring's? Uh, uh, Hershey ad. Hershey's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. it's good. I saw it scrolling past. I never clicked they're, on it. Though. They're making it so easy. I know. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I, basically, if you guys hadn't seen it, Hershey's is doing a campaign with just the she <laughs> or the her and the she, right? Like, oh, oh look for women. But it's featuring a she trans her. person. So a biological <laughs> yeah. male. A yeah. Biological and, male. <laughs> and so Jeremy so Boring's man, yeah. like, yeah. Hey, guess what? We're going to come out with chocolate. One's going to be called he, him. The other's going to be called she, her. One has nuts. And if you need me to explain which has nuts, <laughs> you're the problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty well, good. Well, as I said in my tweet, I look forward to celebrating men on International Women's Day. There you go. <laughs> We're taking is it, is over, it, baby. Is it I international, just ignore wait, all Is it this. International Women's Day Jeremy's do. birthday? Uh, uh, it's it's it, the March, eighth, I believe. March is International Women's Month. Jeremy's birthday is somewhere around there. I don't yes. know. Exactly it is actually a month now. If I yeah. actually knew yeah. his yeah. birthday, yeah. that, that would make you gay. Screen. Well, it's it, a month. If I actually knew his birthday, but not everyone gay really. As fuck, yes. Yeah. It's That's a month, but only like well, big well, corporations. I know because it's my logo. wife's birthday. They have the birthday on the same day. So, well, yeah. fair enough then. There you go. I think that video starts as well. It's like International Women's Day. I love International Women. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Not in that list. <laughs> oh my god. And I think hilarious. isn't the website I hate Hershey's.com? Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, nice. There you go. So I got an email from an anonymous email from somebody who works in the corporation, and I guess it was just panic. Like after that thing, they fucking panicked. They Good. had a Ooh. bunch of meetings, internal memos were passed Fuck around. Uh, yeah. Good. Hershey, fucking choke. 
morons. Choke, okay. choke yes. on your nuts. You have choke on your nuts. nuts. In your woman's car commercial. It was a man. Yeah. <laughs> it's featured. It was a man. <laughs> oh, yeah. sure, that's man. why I said, Garrett, I look forward man. to celebrating men on International Women's Day. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> that's oh, what's yeah. becoming. And it wasn't just like um, a dude in the background. It was the featured person. Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing, man? Who, the no matter, no matter what it, he tries like to do, commercial. What are yeah. you doing? No matter what he tries to do, he will still be a man. Yep. Yeah. Sheep City in two parts for one hundred dollars total. Sheep. Sheep. What up, sheep? I love you, sheep. What up, my German sheep. chocolates? <laughs> uh, so, despite uh, preventative measures, through a chance string of events, uh, Emir Emirata's dogs did the wild thing. Uh oh. Oh. You mean no. they had? Sexual relations, I guess so. And, uh, and because of the timing, uh, there may be a birth around the time of the Vegas meetup, so we might miss it. What for fucking no. puppies? Come on, come on, just bring the dogs, bring, them with you. bring the fucking dogs. Say, say yeah. that you're this is why you spay and neuter sheep. your pets. Yeah, excuses, sheep. you know, th no, those dogs can be your what are your comfort dogs on the trip or whatever. And if they have the puppies, then you have more comfort animals to pass around the plane anyway. Yeah. What was that? How long are dogs pregnant? That's like, does this depend weeks. on the dog? Robert Ryan sure. was just talking about this because he. His right, dog I'm had looking. A bunch uh, of puppies. Fifty-eight a of... to sixty-eight days. That ain't that long. They it's, got it easy. Yeah, six weeks. Yeah. Um, you brought pigs. Like pigs can like give birth and then like in a couple of months get pregnant and give birth again. Like. That's why there are some fucking bacon, bro. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Everywhere bacon in Texas. Bacon and ham. That is uh, like a great evolutionary feature of the pig. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it is. Uh, also, the final part of my Pokemon review is out. If ha uh, if you have no interest in Pokemon but loved uh, loud yelling, check it out. <laughs> now my focus goes directly into my manga. Next promo involves a certain guy with a robot helmet and a man with a Disparu-esque haircut. Oh, wow. I'm tr I'm trying to get there, Disbrew. I'm close. <laughs> Disbrew, just just leave your hair to do whatever it wants. That's yeah. what I did. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Captain Garrett, this is four parts for fifty five dollars total of store of I can't talk of swords <laughs> and starships. If the FNT crew were in a comic book, they would have the following superpower: Shad, a steampunk medieval armor suit, and microfilament. Bastard Sword, Quarterback Garrett, Team Armor and Hacker, Inventor of Gadgets, Lethal hey. and Non-Lethal Weapons, uh, and the Assault Tank as Detective <laughs> with X-Ray Vision, <laughs> used for ethical purposes only. X-Ray Girl, Immortal Ninja Demon Slayer, trained in all-girls high school with one male student. Ryan Kinnell, Berserker Rage, Jeremy, uh, Reptilian, <laughs> Wall Crawling, Cobra Venom, from Toxic Spill. Chrissy, <laughs> shape-shifting and comedy, in quotes. Uh, like heart of Captain Planet. <laughs> Gary, heat ray vision contained by his glasses and, invis <laughs> <laughs> and invincible fast healing. Weakness is video games, swords, and starships at, 417, at 417 subs and one video with 44,000 wow. views. That's Thank amazing. you, Fellowship. Hey, I didn't have Damn. that many uh, early Gosh. on. Well done. Captain Gary. Oh, he's Pretty got good. one more. Hang on. I was blocking it. Forgot Disparu. Disparu, martial arts monk with chi, telekinesis, and the ability to telepathically command an army of chipmunks. There you go. Oh, <laughs> with cheese? And his name Lots will be Disparu. Lots of thought put into those superpowers. Like, they I love suit. it. They suit well. Hey, you saw Ratcatcher 2, and, and uh, you, you can do a lot yeah. with chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> if you can control their minds, it's gonna be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Eric, yeah, it's not, I feel like there's a South Park mind. episode about that. You can do a lot. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Richard Gear's like what? Oh, mm. I, I'm talking about hamsters. My bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> things to teach Richard you. Richard Gear, Richard Gear, paging Richard Gear. Uh, uh, I mean, wanks. Eric Bailey on the Streamlabs side, circumventing Papa Susan Patel, Papa, Susan. Papa Patel, whoever the hell is CEO Pan. of fucking <laughs> YouTube now for one hundred fifty dollars. Hey all, I hope FNT continues being a great place for memes, chat, nerd arguments, and more manual transmission as. My father <laughs> passed away this Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and I thank oh, God dang. for his life, 
while he was here, he would have said, y'all were amazing nerds. Hail dad. 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 Praying for you. Uh, I miss my dad, too. Um, fearless leader for 50 bucks. Thank you. Uh, this is for each member of Geeks and Gamers crew. I'm great. I, did I read this one? Oh, okay. I read this one. Sorry about that. It reminds me. I, there was a super chat from a couple days ago. I got to read it later from a kid who said he started watching my show in freshman year of high school, and now he's graduating. I'm like, wow. I didn't even oh know young God. people watch this show. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> The, the, the worrying, really. The amount yeah. of, uh, what is it? What's the minimum U2 age, 13 or something like that, to 18 is like, I have more women subscribing to this channel than young people. So 9.9%, yo. One of them was at your show, Chrissy. Oh. Yeah, we had one. <laughs> it was one like woman five at to all one. The shows. Yeah, it was kind of a sausage <laughs> fest at your show, but, uh, you know. Uh, it's it. It's a great place for single women to meet men. <laughs> it is. You pointed that out in your show. Right, but you, what was you said? Everybody in the front row? I forgot what you said now. Everybody in the front row was I'm like, yeah, I was like, it was like five guys had to share one woman. I yeah. don't know. I counted, <laughs> I counted the holes. She got she got shy and went to the bathroom and never came back. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Still uh, guest dude for $50. Says, working on my first 40K model and listening to Friday Night Tights crew in peak Perfect Friday. Uh, nice. Here's hoping Henry does the setting justice. See you, cats at Fan Expo. And I promise my daughter won't stab Quarter Black with a lightsaber again. Uh, no, you can stab him. It's fine. <laughs> I remember that. That was awesome. You guys were great. That was fine. Are we, go are we doing Fan Expo in Dallas? I will be. I will definitely be going. I guess so I'll go. It's up to you guys. Yeah, yeah I can I'll, probably make I'll, that work. When is it? I'll be there. June? It's June. June. I, when is Anime Matsuri? Uh, July, I think. July or July. August. Yeah, yeah probably. You can't see. Much. I think it's August. It's August. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's August because I wasn't able to go. Texas based people yeah. could make Dallas. August 10th, 13th. Yeah, because that's what I couldn't make because I had school starting already. So, yeah. yeah I'll August. make the Texas stuff. Sorry, I can't go to MegaCon, but I just got back from a trip. I need to make videos. So, and I got Vegas coming up. But, uh, UK, September. See you then. Oh, yeah. I'll do 865 for five hundred dollars. Jesus, Mad do. man. What the hell? Oh, wow. Thank oh. you. Thank you guys. Wow. Are Hail Friday Night Tights, you all rock. Saw Disney stock had a small bump up recently. You think it's investors buying uh, in while it's at 50% discount, LOL, or Iger having success? Shelving movies and stopping production of work. Well, it's also firing employees. Uh, work is it working in the eyes of the gen general public? I think too little, too late, and Disney will shrink by forty percent in the next two years. I, I they are going to shrink. I think There's you're correct. Their experience shrinkage. Yes, I think you're correct. It's buyers trying to get in at a low price. And they're trying to jump in before it goes back up, but well, I think overall they're going to be going to get worse. Their parks yeah. make mm -hmm. money. That's I mean their parks make money. Uh, but Universal, I think, is making some serious inroads. I have no desire to ever fucking go to Disneyland. I, that used to be like the one part of my childhood that I enjoyed. I liked going to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, fuck Disneyland and Disney World. I'll go to Universal if I need to go. Well, to I've park. been hearing that even the parks have been having troubles too. So they've been taking it in the they shorts. Own, Disney owns it, so many companies. It's We don't even know. So they have a lot of revenue true. streams. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're in trouble when it, in their main. See, they're an entertainment company. That wants to be a movie studio and produce, t you know, streaming and movies, and they're having a very hard time doing that. UK, uh, Disney UK yeah. posted a loss of almost three hundred million. That's but, the park. So it yeah. posted a loss, but gross revenue is up. I love these headlines. Yeah, yeah isn't it great? <laughs> a spin on that. We lost money, but we gained money. Yeah. Yeah. We lose a dollar on every item, but we yep. keep selling more. <laughs> so in other words, they're uh. still getting money, uh, but they're making less of it. They're making less of it. Uh, they're well, in... losses has a specific meaning there, right? Yeah. Like that—that that means they lost money. Yeah. Disney UK for probably like a couple month period. I, I have no idea. That's the first headline time I've seen that headline. But you got also like you got Disney Paris, you got Disney Shanghai, like you got you got all this shit. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, it's the financial year of 2021. So 2021. That's COVID year, right? COVID. It's one of the COVID years. It's yeah. probably because mm-hmm. it was probably like fucking closed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, like th- them losing their tax exempt status in Florida is fucking huge. They're trying to downplay that. Uh, the media, who the access media and the fucking shills, state media, is trying to make it sound like it's not. It's fucking a disaster. It's an absolute disaster for that company. And uh, now there's what you know. It's great that there's government oversight of Reedy Creek with DeSantis there, but what's it going to be like when he's not there? You know, and uh, and I think there's going to be massive corruption and shenanigans with that too. I don't, I don't think government oversight is an answer for fucking anything, but that's me. Completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, and they, if it hurts Disney, fine, but not a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get a feeling so that says, when new new uh, government employees come in, there might be some hands getting greased. Oh yeah, uh, like the loss yeah. is due Absolutely. to impair impairments of investments. Uh, you mean Disney Marvel and Disney Star Wars? Yeah, as <laughs> That's well an as increased development costs for <laughs> Disney a, Plus. What a very nice way to impairment of investments. We have incompetent fucks running our <laughs> running our shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this like? But, hey, is, it does will Disney, be monetized. On, does Disney UK mean like in the UK? Like production company in the UK? Is that what you're talking about? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. What, That's what, what is it seems? What is see, they UK? do a lot of they do a lot of filming and stuff over there. Uh, yeah, Star, Star Wars is all Star Wars. shot there. Yeah. Andor was all shot over there on a on Ooh. a studio that they spent millions on making. Um, yeah. Uh, the report also pointed out that due to pandemic, it's live shows such as The Lion King at the Lyceum Theater. Uh, I've been to the Lyceum Theater. I saw the gayest thing I've probably ever seen, which was the Queen play. <laughs> oh. It was so gay. I was with a the gayest hairdresser. When you look up gay hairdresser in the dictionary, you saw Charles. Charles is that. <laughs> so I went Charles. Charles. Melissa was sick. So I went with Charles and we went and saw the Queen play. I'm like, hey, you know, it could probably be like the Who play, which was really fucking good. And, uh, and when it was over, he looks around and goes, Looks over to me and goes, that was gay. (laughs) (laughs) I wish wish gay people would go back to making great music and stop being so annoying. Yeah. You know, Queen, Elton John. Come on. Shut up. Make music. Yeah, that's right. The Who Play was good, though. I saw it. They they, uh, worked that out in in La Jolla. Uh, La Jolla. That's where Pete Townsend worked it out. Uh, Uh, One more positive note. Gross revenues were up from $2.7 billion to $3.1 billion. Driven by the success of Disney Plus, which mm. hasn't made any money. Oh, my God. Is that just n- revenue? It's like, is that just gross revenues or is that Correct. net gain? It's a gross, gross lie. Revenues. It's, gross, gross revenues. <laughs> it's a fucking lie. No, no, I'm never uh, saying, like, yeah, it's like nothing, nothing about net well, gain. Well, there, there's yeah, revenue, yeah, exactly. profit, revenue, yeah. or, or um, yeah, revenue is basically everything that has come in. Profit is what you actually made money on. So yep. So revenue means almost jack. So basically, yeah, dick. they have this money that has yep. came in, but they still lost money. Good God. Because yep. revenue is like, down. What use does fucking media have anymore? Or excuse me, profit's down. <laughs> like they're they, they are spinning. Like we're playing this farce, and we have been for years with uh, with all of our uniparty politicians. We're like, this guy, this motherfucker's gonna come and lie lie to us, and we know it, and we just let him do it. And that's what the media does. They just fucking lie yep. all the fucking them. time to the point where it created this new media, which is just, why don't we just talk to each other? Because they're full of shit. And now they're trying to shut us down because we're not full of shit. And how long is this fucking farce going to go on? God damn it. As man. long as they can write it, man. God. Well, as long as there's I- suckers who believe this shit. <laughs> well, did he said it face value? It must be true. <laughs> you know, yeah. fucking idiots. Good God. To, to educate the layman, right? How are they losing so much money on Disney Plus? Is it because they're trying to make so many shows to attract yes. people to it, and that's eating up all the revenue? Because yes. you'd think with all the, um, you know, subscriptions and stuff, paying for the servers to be able to host the stuff, and then the infrastructure and employment, you'd think they'd be able to pull a profit out of that. But well, dude, the infrastructure not is not that bad it's the bandwidth typically where you're going to lose money on and obviously the development of the tv shows as well so but yeah bandwidth is a huge thing in hosting yep most hosting Mm. companies make a lot of money off the bandwidth that's an aspect that none of these shill media fucks ever bring up is what it costs to actually house all of this content Mm -hmm. never bring that up 
Well, that's why they disappear a bunch of it. Mm-hmm. Even well, even I mean, Rianne Johnson is getting mad. Company. Even mm-hmm. Rianne Johnson called out Hollywood for disappearing content. Uh, they should disappear all of his. <laughs> that's you know, <laughs> but uh, I, I easily the biggest expense for YouTube is the servers hosting all the content and, and backing yeah. up. Yeah, like, yep. that's why uh, they're in the red a lot of the years. You know, I have a theory on that though, because I, I, I just I can't see Google propping up YouTube if it was constantly costing them money. And I wonder if there might be some Hollywood accounting where YouTube is a separate company is using Google services that Google mm-hmm. is charging. Well, that's YouTube exactly what's happening through the mouth. Yeah. That's why. Um, that's and why they YouTube became is never the, making profit. That's why they became the Alphabet company mm-hmm. because they were getting really close to like even grossly even in the modern times where they don't break up monopolies. It was getting very very close to being a monopoly. So they're we're Alphabet now. You know? Yeah, we. It, yeah. You don't want to have the two biggest search engines in the world both be named yeah. Google. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, so what what YouTube does is facilitate all of their advertising money and advertising features on google um they 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 have even said recently i I haven't checked in the last couple years but like youtube doesn't make them a ton of money which is just bullshit just utter bullshit (laughs) this thing has 127 million active users a day a day are you fucking kidding me and people are used to ads for the most part and this is one of the last places people are used to ads so this is like the one place for the advertisers to go. So that's why when they come up with there's going to be an ad policy, bull fucking shit, have some balls and just like tell the advertisers to fuck off. Go somewhere else then if you don't like it. And you know what they'll say? Sorry, never mind. Mm-hmm. But they, they won't do that. Encourages, it encourages boycotts because what the advertisers learned they could do is they yep. could jump on a trend. Everyone would pull out. The amount of money would go down. Which so they would sneak in under the radar and take all of the lower ad revenue and get an absolute bonus. So they want the advertisers want an ad apocalypse because it's great for them. They yeah. get to benefit off. Oh, look at us! Aren't we doing the right thing? And then they come in and clean up on the exactly lower revenues. Afterwards. So you just explain like, why they did it to get cheaper yeah, ad rates. It wasn't because they gave a times. shit what Stephen Crowder said about some little fucking trust fund. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing Wonk. is with you, Jay Wonk. <laughs> Even if it was a loss for them, (laughs) they can profit off YouTube via the search because essentially everything you watch on YouTube is telling them the exact profile of what you're interested in, what you're going to search for, and they can serve you ads over Google, which are definitely profitable. Um, Mm -hmm. And so you can profit off a business even if you lose money other ways. Yeah, I, I, I suspect that they're raking it in and the whole thing YouTube isn't profitable is just an accounting, you know, sleight of hand that uh, mm. because like literally if YouTube is using Google servers or anything Google, Google can charge whatever the hell mm. they want. Take out, mm. charge all the profit that YouTube makes, but they get it in return. And there we go. Yeah. Written off. Giant the world ender for $50. Oh, I almost hit the wrong thing. Okay. My mom says she saw tiny eyes in the shadows of our old home, says they were the result of this morbid practice. The souls of the dead come back in blackness to ward off demons and ghouls. Doesn't seem very effective, though. It doesn't. That sounds like something we should talk about this Sunday, Court of Black. Yeah. On Forbidden Frontiers with Adam Krigler, where we're going to talk about ghost stories this Sunday. This Sunday. Spooky. Spooky. Oh, is our intro ready? Perry's still working on it. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see it. No rush, Perry. No rush. But uh, just, just curious. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to go to uh, RetroCon. Maybe you can go, Quarter Black. I'm going. I'm so going. You go and you say hang out with Graham and have fun. And I'm gonna. I have to stay back and work. I would rather go up and take my kid and uh, go to a con. But I just like, dude. I just drove. 16 yeah, hours. Yeah. <laughs> I drove from so, LA yeah. to Pecos, Texas in one day. That's <laughs> wow. a long drive. That's a drive. That and a my wife drive. and Don't I didn't want to kill each other. We still liked each other at the end of the trip, even though I made her sleep at a truck stop. <laughs> 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 She's like, get a hotel. I'm like, fuck a hotel. I bet <laughs> Melissa's <laughs> truck really happy. Wow. Wow. Melissa's truck. Wow. All right. You owe her one after Gary, yeah, Gary, if she I said do. that that if she said yes to you, you found a woman who loves you. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me, but she won't let me forget it either. She's she'll bring it up for the rest of the time. I mean, that's that's the that is what, yeah. That's one of the things that amazes me about America the most, just how far you're all willing to drive. 
over here, it's like, I can't be bothered to drive four hours to Scotland. Well, because it all fucking... <laughs> like people just fly everywhere. Yeah, it's a so bunch of green rolling trip. hills with a few trees. That's about all you we're got We're planning the trip in the UK, country. and I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, okay, well, how long does it take to drive, like, the length oh, of yeah. the UK? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I know. It's like six minutes. hours. Somebody, somebody tell, <laughs> like, like uh, If you avoid the traffic. When we were thinking about doing that thing in the UK, I was like, how far out is Birmingham from London? It's like hour and a half, two it's hours. It's like right there. way out of London. I'm like, what do you mean? to Dallas. You mean the distance from San Diego to LA? Okay, no problem. Yeah, but, but if you talk sleep. to anyone around here and go, do you want to go to London? They'll be like, that's, that's, that's too far. I'm not going over there. <laughs> I really no appreciate that laziness. That's yeah, my kind I of do too. Uh, driving across America is one of the great things you could do in this country. It is freedom. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. beautiful. Uh, that's why I've seen all the movies, like the road trip movies, and that's just, we you have nothing it? close to that yeah. over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, drive, as I told As, drive through the Southwest. If you haven't been, I, I don't know why traveling you've been. Shad is in Australia. But if you drive through the American Southwest, it looks alien in some parts. It's weird, yeah. and I love it. Especially Utah. Then it gets like really boring. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you nah, just dude, no, 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 no. Listen, there, there's a stretch from basically once you get if you're driving west, once you get about halfway through Texas, Texas is boring. All, okay, all, all, I'll give you all, that. Okay, so all of West Texas, yeah, fucking all of New Mexico, not all of New Mexico, all of Arizona. It, it starts getting so fucking repetitive and boring, and then it, the landscape will change, and you're like, oh, look at that. And then it all looks the same for eight hours. Yeah, and then it's <laughs> the same <laughs> note. Like, New Mexico is, you could tell a difference between New Mexico and Arizona. And yes, you can, especially if you hit the southern parts of it. Driving uh, to Dallas. I like desert. I like desert. Drive. So I, yeah, I like this. being able, I like being able to see the horizon. We were driving in a fucking El Centro, Ryan. And yeah. I'm coming up on the mountains, for hitting the San Diego, <clears> you know, Descanso and, and Julian and stuff. And there's this bank of clouds. And I'm like, oh, fuck. It was like pretty clear the whole way. Mike, we can do it. No problem. It was 60 degrees at El Centro. Within 30 minutes, we're climbing the mountain. It drops 30 degrees. I'm like, fuck. And it starts raining. And I'm like, double fuck. And then it starts snowing. Like, and I mean, oh, fucking shit. snowing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so funny. And all the Honda Texas, Accords are like, crazy all over the fucking road. And then finally, we found a, a, a snow plow. We just fucking followed the snow plow. It's like, what's, what's that? Uh, What's that weird ass fucking desert, like sand desert? That is like just for a couple miles in Eastern California. You know what I'm talking about, Gary? That's Valley? No. No, no, no. It's like you're driving and oh, it's yeah, little. Oh, oh, it's Glamis. Like, Glamis. Glamis. That might be it. It's just it's little by Yuma. sand dunes. Yeah, we took you, pictures. You know what there. they filmed there? Yeah. You know what they filmed there? Star Wars? Star Wars? Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes. The, the Jabba, the barge scene was all yeah. filmed outside of Yuma. And it's, yeah, it's like. Giant 100, 200 foot, 200 foot sand dunes, and you see like little dune buggies. They look like bugs going up. Yeah, uh, it, it's yeah. like it's so cool. random yeah. because it, like, you're just driving through dog shit southwest west desert. normal desert. Yeah, and, and then you hit Africa desert. Then you're in the yeah. Sahara. You're, you're in yeah, <laughs> yeah you're in the fucking something. Sahara. And, and you're like, yeah. where if, is this real? Is this a dream? And then like you threw it for like 20 minutes, and then you're gone. You know what's yeah. funny is there's a restaurant rest stop in the middle so in the meridian of the freeway so you just yeah, stop yeah. And, and you're in between these giant fucking sand dunes and you're like i think dang, aliens that put weird. that like one there. tree there make any sense. there was <laughs> one tree there <laughs> yep <laughs> so weird uh dizzy 1066 for 49 <laughs> 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 i love you <laughs> legion of oh, oh, i love you that's still uh, like Ryan, you just gave them a frame that can be. <laughs> oh, it's going to get so much worse than that. What oh, is my written goodness. on the wall? Oh, it's Cloud. Oh, Cloud. Oh, Cloud. I don't get it. That reminds me of X Ray it. Girl's story. The person who did it, Cloud. What story? Oh. oh, I was going to say, why didn't you like. Your waxing story. Draw a dick in his wall. Oh. What, what oh, does yeah. Carrie Smith do? She takes a Sharpie to bathrooms <laughs> and she corrects, like, when people say, like, oh, yeah. show me your oh, tits really? or something like <laughs> that. Yeah. Which is awesome. Shout Which out is to brilliant, by the way. Hail Carrie Smith. We love her. Good Texan. Carrie, Carrie yeah. Smith. Good, good base yeah. woman there. Uh, Dizzy, 1066 for $49.99. So speaking of Russian brides and as, look up YouTube Indigo Wizard. Uh, as is crying moment. <laughs> Enjoy and hail the fellowship. Uh, laugh my ass off. Do you want to find that real quick while I read? Uh, Indigo 
wizard. Uh, so just the, while there's a pause, Ryan, that meme of you screaming like, "What the hell is that?" Like, internet law. I I, I missed it. Where? What is that from? Where? Oh, like, uh, from phasmophobia. That phasmophobia clip is awesome. Maybe. I can yeah, find that's, that's video if you want. It was a great. It's a clips channel, right? I have no idea. I lose. I don't track. know. I, well, it says look <laughs> up indigo wizard as this crying moment. So that might be the crying. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. It's the crying game. So uh, she turns up We're at the wedding, the and the game, uh, the bride's got a nice rack. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got from this episode. Did that get the episode a point? No. No. <laughs> no. Because right, I'll tell you why. Because I I have actually thought this out. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Because J- Jamila comes on late, and you know she's got some goods. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, do I give it a point for Jamelia's jubblies and uh, the bride's jubblies? And I, I can't give, I can't give tip points. Jane is a good sport. Jane I'm Theory is a good sport. points throughout the season and it's going to have this. <laughs> no. So I'm like, I'm sorry, breasts. You can't, you can't score. <laughs> you can't score. Good job. I, I know. I thought so. I had to put my foot down and it was hard. <laughs> you know, it was a hard. Yeah, it was, it was, was hard. hard. It was hard. Wait. It was hard. One day ah! later, and the, the woman that they actually had playing the girl that was getting married, um, I, she's actually trans, and I don't know if people. Oh my god! I, I just. I, 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 hey, the one. Thing, the one thing, <laughs> got you. Wait, wait, a trap. So when a trap. it's a trap. Oh, when the two. Uh, Women started arguing and he jumped out of the window. That was the only oh scene I could identify yes. with. I did not even have so much. <laughs> so so I I Internet history right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. It was so that's such how she a was fucking oh, she hung the actual <laughs> boobs. Quarter, quarter, oh. timeline. <laughs> and and as you didn't fucking jerk off to her, did you? <gasps> he did! Oh, no. He did! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just getting flashbacks oh, no. to the Ace Ventura. You know, Ace Ventura. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a transgender woman, and as a trans person, it's hard to articulate exactly how I feel. But I guess if I had to describe it, I'd say. La 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 la. La la la. Don't want to get hit. No. Did you say you were Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's forever now. It recorded on the internet forever. <laughs> it's forever. And I think oh, that was the man. first of like three in the same week for him as well. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. Oh yeah. Let's talk about cyberpunk and the the bartender. <laughs> yeah. Bartender, yeah. yeah. Oh Classic. poor as Dusty oh, yeah. himself. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> poor as <ass>. kid. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever it takes to make people laugh. Uh, even if it's uh, calling yourself out for like mam tits, you know, it's it's <laughs> that's the internet. Right. He knew so what if y'all, if y'all he knew what he was getting into, original was yep uh, for Ryan's screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god, yeah, I remember this. this is good. What happens if I click this? Nothing. Okay. All right, John Wilson. I've got EMF level three in here. John Wilson. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ron! Oh my god! No, no, it's okay. It's just me, Mark the Cyber. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, that game is scary as shit, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna make fun of Ryan for that. That game is scary. Wait, that was genuinely <laughs> him being afraid? Yeah. What was he so afraid of? It's a video game. No, it's you gotta a, play the like, game. It's a ghost hunting game. They like breathe in your ear. No, and you gotta play the game. And... It, yeah, yeah it, it gets really creepy and it's like kind of intense and that but <laughs> they never talk to you like that yeah well, the game will like whisper in your ear if you're wearing yeah, headphones yeah. and you're playing it will no, whisper in your ear video game though what did he whisper i play the game he said uh, play the game oh, like, yeah. hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Mm. It's very real estate. Shout out Mark the Cyborg. <laughs> <It's real estate. laughs> yeah. Have you seen okay. Hunter? That's what they whispered. Uh, Cedric <laughs> Bigotry for fifty dollars. <laughs> Sorry, have my volume down. Cedric Bigotry, good name. Uh, a heartfelt <laughs> hail to a good guy, Gary. Glamorous guests and fabulous duck feeding fellowship. I'm glad we have each other to hold hands around the burning corpse of modern media. Yes, I do too. That's right. It's a it's a weenie roast or marshmallows, whatever and you a prefer. Sausage party. Yeah. <laughs> weenie roast. Yep. Uh, oh, you probably don't do that in Canada, do you? You can't, but Canada. I don't Canada. know what a weenie roast is. You like a Canadian bacon roast? You don't roast? know what a weenie... Well, yeah, you're Asian. Then. Like a wiener? Like an Oscar <laughs> Mayer wiener? No, she has like the little wieners. You know, like the little cocktail wieners. Well, also, I, I bet uh, they like can't... She was talking sausages. about Asian men earlier, so yeah. yeah. They can't build fires in Canada, right? I mean, oh, you can have fires. <laughs> Vienna, in Vienna sausages? Is that what you're talking about? I don't call it a weenie roast. That sounds weird. Oh, Vienna sausages. <laughs> sausage. You gotta drain the water. Just on the uh, fly. Now, do you guys have fire ban days? Like, because in, in uh, Australia in the summer, fires are yeah, very. Texas, it, Texas depends, it depends. It depends where you live in the United States. California, I think, uh, yeah. Colorado, Colorado had it a couple times. Too, if it's too hot or Texas, dry, it, in Florida, it never. Because no, it rains Texas every has fires, tornadoes, and it's hot as the surface. It's kind of like Australia. Uh, San, yeah. uh, California has fires, bad fires. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like. So if, yeah, during um the summer there's just fire band days because it can be yeah. very dangerous. Yeah, yeah it was it was freezing last rain. week. Uh, last night my roof shingles got blown off by a tornado. What? Uh, today the, it's totally sunny outside, and tomorrow yeah. it'll be uh, you know blazing. The tornadoes yeah, are crazy. Yeah, I, I, no tornadoes where I live. The tornadoes and like that's just tornadoes like are the worst sleep. because there's no warning. You know, it's just it it's just like, comes out of nowhere. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that yeah. that because I I lived in Indiana we had tornado season there and th that's the worst part about it is you just be going along doing your fucking thing like yeah kind of cloudy out and all of a sudden like the temperature drops about like thirty degrees yep. and you hear a siren and you're like well fuck yeah. uh, we didn't get <laughs> like, close we, to, we didn't get the tornado but last night I had the back door open we were I was playing painting some minis sitting there with the kids and it was nice kind of warm outside and then it dropped boom cold. Wow. Everything in my backyard just started getting thrown everywhere. Yep. Roof sure. shingles going off. I was like, "Oh my!" God. Like, I took a hurricane Damn. a million times over, a and then it was gone in like thirty that minutes. Coming for like five days. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. If you live in a place that has tornadoes, you know, you you'll have sirens all around. Yep. So if if yep. somebody does see if somebody does see one, you'll start hearing the siren. Go well, they off. make you feel so comfortable too, because the same as the nuclear air raid sirens yeah. in the small towns <laughs> of, of America. Hill. So yeah, th that nuclear air raid siren starts going. You're like, oh, that totally calms everybody yeah. down. They <laughs> test it. They test it like war. they test it like noon Thursday in the middle of the day. In the middle of the day, like bright and sunny out, because oh. they don't want to trick people into thinking it's an actual tornado. No, no, yeah. they don't. They don't. Uh, but we're in San Antonio. We don't really get tornadoes down here. It's yeah, fine. we're pretty fortunate. Uh, they do yeah. up here in North, North Texas. Uh, Kikomon for two hundred dollars. <laughs> Show Good me. Good to see you, Kikomon. Show you, Kikomon. Uh, check out ADWC, a Drink with Crazy channel. Support your indie creators and the Iron Age movement. Yes, I agree. Uh, I believe Razorfist books have been going out. I've seen people. I haven't got mine yet, but uh, I haven't got I've, mine yet. Yeah, I've seen people getting their books, so that's good. We'll have so them actually, back soon. Still got this one. I though. watched. Uh, I watched a drink with crazy. A couple of videos he's done recently. So interesting perspective. Yeah, Royce, good videos. Well Royce done. Royce is a good bloke. Good bloke. Uh, doing good. Th good things. A drink with crazy is creating a great community for authors with the focus of creating new stories. May the soy be with you all. Best wishes uh, with your health. Best wishes with your health, Shad. And I echo Thank that you. as well. Yeah, man. Shad. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, Kicker Man. He's a, great, he's a big supporter, Kicker Man. Uh, really appreciate him. He's on a quest to redeem soy sauce from the stigma of soy. I, the, the, I love It soy doesn't soy have a stigma with me. I throw soy sauce yeah. on, on shit all soy, soy sauce is legendary. Great. On soy sauce sushi? Is Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't oh. eat fish. Yeah, fish sushi's is great. Disgusting. Sushi's my, great. My fish has Love to be sushi. cooked. Fish, fish has to be cooked. Right? No, no, my fish has to be not on my oh, fucking plate ever. Odin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, fish is legit delicious. Salmon? Love fish. Salmon? No. I, I don't eat fish. No, no. 
No. Smoked oh. salmon. Cooked mm. and fried. Salmon is good. Anything fish. that swims in its own shit Tuna. or bottom feeds and eats all the fucking <laughs> shit, I ain't fucking eating. You ever see a pig? Oh, come on, Jerry. Oh, you know just fish. describe the ocean. See where a pig lives? Jerry. It's crawfish. Oh, yeah, great. I make an exception for bacon, okay? I make an exception for bacon. <laughs> <laughs> but but when delicious. bacon's cooked, it doesn't smell like a... a Fucking dead crotch, okay? Fish does. Fish, if you're eating <laughs> sushi, it should not sushi smell like that. Like a dead crotch. Yeah, like, what Don't think you should be eating that. fish <laughs> smells like a dead crotch, okay? You're having the wrong <laughs> fish, man. Dude, yeah. I'm not. I'm not having any, so that I'm having the right fish. You need to go to there New go. Orleans and get <laughs> some the fish right there Ooh. because it's yeah. flavored. Uh, I'm Louisiana. with you, Gary. No fish. Louisiana Thank you. Fish. How would you even survive in, like, Japan? I, that's why I didn't go. My wife went twice, oh, and I'm okay. like, I'm not going to go there and fucking starve to death. Hell no. You eat noodles. <laughs> you, yeah. Well, you eat rice, and you would be bigger than all everyone else, so you could just fucking bully them and do whatever is, you want. like, everything is fishy. It's so contaminated with the fucking fish. I won't even end a restaurant that will cook the fish on the same shit as they cook everything else. I was like, fuck do you, that. Do no. you ask before oh, this you is a good I do. I do. It needs to be cooked <laughs> separately. This it's is a great I'm bowl. I put pineapples I've on tried. pizza. I've tried. I've understand. tried. It's something yes, it's like I was, I was born with a, it. If I yeah. was at a restaurant and you asked that question, I would just fucking lie to you. I know, and they probably <laughs> yeah, do, but it doesn't absolutely. matter. If yeah, I don't know I'm being people. lied to, am I being lied to? I don't fucking know. I believe, uh, I believe in the chat. When Top Gear went to Japan, Richard Hammond just ate crisps for like a week. When they were filming everything, it's the only thing he ate. What's pineapple? <laughs> what's the... What's the? Uh, it's the what's pole. more off-putting, fish or pineapple on pizza? And right now, pineapple on pizza is... I'm actually pizza. surprised. I thought yeah. fish would be more not, off-putting. It is a lot, fish of, a lot of pizza is acidic fish. and gross. I, I, I think there's, there's probably only like 20% of the population that doesn't like fish. Yeah. Maybe less. And I'm one of them. Yeah. Uh, pineapple on pizza like, is disgusting uh, and it loses every time. In the I have tried. I've tried every like decade or so. I'm like, all right, maybe. I, and I just almost fucking throw hey, up. Hey, you, so pine, we, need, uh, we need to go on a trip to New Orleans and I will show you the places to have some, some fish. Fried catfish Ooh, is good. I love catfish. You know the only fish that I will do is like. Beer battered, like yes. fried catfish. If I have to do that, yeah, that's delicious. Dude, you need to have something some crawfish, man. Some no, the most, have the you most been to the Port of Sisters? The most processed, like, Vandy Cap fish there. sticks. That, that is like, will probably be the only yeah. shit fish I touch, because they're that's not even fish. It's probably some And product. then you need to have some char-grilled oysters. Oh, that's... Uh, whatever. All right, you've gone too far with oysters. No, 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 no. Yeah, trust me. I don't even like regular oysters. I don't even like Rocky Mountain oysters, Odin. And butter. Odin cheese eats Rocky Mountain. Oh, 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 cheese and butter so by itself over Oh, it's oysters. delightful. X-Ray Girl probably oysters likes Rocky oysters. Mountain oysters as well. If you know what, what those are. A Rocky Mountain oyster. Don't you know what that is? No. You don't it's know what a Rocky... It's a bull's testicle. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's like yeah, that. well, you don't have that down there. Instead, oh, we have bull or sheep is they, what they are. We have, uh, they, they serve we have, them. At, oh, they, used to, they used to serve them yeah. at Coors Field. I don't know if they still do or not. But Hey. No, they're not just going to throw it out. you got to use all the all the animals. Prawns are good. I don't like prawns. They're bugs. Odin, I look forward to you eating pineapple pizza when Super Mario Brothers hits a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to... Yeah, there I is hype for that movie. Hold it's your rosary. I look forward to Jeremy eating pineapple, people, pineapple pizza when <laughs> it makes a lot of money, but it does not bring a billion dollars. That would be great, too. I would, I'm yeah. going yeah, so to... Either win. which way we win. Either yeah. way, I get to watch some money. <laughs> Keep them on. Disgusting pizza. For $100. $100! Yeah. Damn. Play yeah. Fight Kikomon song on YouTube. Internet gold from uh, Internet 1.0 days. Two minutes worth of triple A gold. A drink with crazy. Woo! Do we want to play that? <laughs> we can play it towards the end. It, is, it is very intimate. I will say it is very intimate. What is it called? Is it, uh, Fight Kikomon. Uh, what's intimate? Fight Kikomon. Was it Fight. like... Feeding the ducks, intimate? No, How not intimate. That? Internet. Oh, it's or very internet. internet. I thought you said internet. internet. Like this. Oh, that was very different. Yeah. Oh, 16 years ago. Oh, yeah. Dang. Eric years ago. Skidwall has gifted tender erotic memberships for $50. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's feeding the ducks. He's feeding a lot of ducks. That's 10 ducks he just fed. Uh, Bradley Burnett has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. Bradley. Oh, yeah. gifted. Bradley. Viero has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Dragon's Blade, 79, 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. That's a hell of a lot of ducks. Grendel, Vivid, 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. Holy shit. You guys are nuts today.
Oh, you're nuts Whoa. every day. But I mean that in the best way. Space Dinosaur is gifted 50 Nerdrotic memberships for $250. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. The ducks are this, satisfied this is today. This is the big clap. This is the big clap. That's the big clap. <laughs> All right. That's the mic. It is. Uh, so did you find it? Is it? It's a two-minute yeah, video. Yeah. It's How long minutes. is it? It's, it's two minutes. Two minutes. That's just and about at the cusp. Just so you very, know, two minutes usually the cusp. Very early internet esque. Very. Like there's early. a lot of K's in the name of this Kikuman. I think I I, I kind of <laughs> need to bounce. So I, before we get into yeah, yeah. this, I will I will oh, say me, my goodbyes. It's been a great fucking stream. I don't even know what the hell we talked about today, but it, it's all good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we went places. We yeah, went places. This we went in a lot of places. Uh, again, um, MegaCon, April 1st, Saturday at around 2 p.m. here in Orlando, Florida, the Geeks and Gamers team. That'll be fun. We'll get we'll have more stuff about that coming up. Then, of course, Vegas. Can't wait. Just book my tickets. Um, always good to hang out with these peeps. IRL. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to everybody later. See you, man. Bye. 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 Later, man. Bye. Bye. later, Ryan. I'll have All that right. too. Much love, everybody. Later, Odin. See you next week, buddy. Bye, love y'all. Hey, take care, dude. Happy Lent or whatever yeah. that is. I yes, don't know. happy Lent. Lent. Um, he's gone. All right. So okay. let's play this video, and then we're going to get out of here. Well, let me reset. Which man paid $100. He's got to pay his video. We'll drop this. Let's do it. There's no sound in the beginning. I don't hear any. Oh, there we go. That fish man. This is a soy sauce commercial? <laughs> I think so. Oh my it's god. Very like homoerotic. <laughs> <laughs> Kiko oh Man <laughs> needs to share whatever he's using. Yeah. <laughs> he's a beef for sure. Pass around, man. Oh, he's using soy sauce, clearly. Like, yes. That's <laughs> oh my god, he just made a blackface. <laughs> This is so Asian. It's so it is. <laughs> it, that's what I mean when I said it's internet. It's just it's, yeah. Random. Yeah. It's this very is like Homestar Runner. I love it. Yes. <laughs> oh man. He's black. Oh man. Oh man. Oh banana. So cute. Oh okay. Okay. Wow. I'm glad they covered up that crotch shot. There you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. I can say I've seen it. There you go. That's Thanks, Kikoman. 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 Show you. I don't need convincing, though. I like soy sauce. Yeah. yeah soy sauce. On my right. Yeah. 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 Love it. <laughs> Sold. It's, it's good. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Hail, Kikoman. Hail, everyone who supported. Uh, yeah. Completely failed at matey, making... <laughs> A square up, so I'll do it again. <laughs> it just sounded oh, like no. shit. So uh, you wouldn't have been able to hear a damn thing, so i got to start over. But that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go to the retro convention. I'm sorry. I've got a big video I'm working on. Garrett knows about it. I It'll changed the parameters. Dude, it's going to be good. I changed the parameters, but yeah. A little help from Mahler. Altered help from Maz. the deal. Chad, I'm going to need your help. I'll send you a DM. It's oh, it's not Kiko it's man. not a lot. It's but I will need your help. What about my help? Well, that's okay, Chrissy. We we really appreciate it. <laughs> <The hesitation. laughs> well, fuck me. <laughs> no, you gotta say fuck you. Oh, she left. Oh no, oh. now I'm getting Chrissy. I'll ask for your help too. I'll send you a DM. Kiko man, okay. I'll send you a DM. I can help. <laughs> I don't know, did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. I mean, Desperu, I'll definitely send a DM to. Like, he he would be actually be a good person to ask about this. And comics, 
fuck you. No, fuck you too, Gary. That's just neat of you. It's just... You know, one of these days, I'll stop working and we can actually hang out since we're neighbors. Yeah, I know. <laughs> be nice. It's be nice to see you. I, I was like, hey, man, we should go do something. Yeah, that'd be great. Never hear from Gary. Like, no, hey, man, I'm working all the time. <laughs> hey, if I get it done, if uh, maybe because my wife's out of town, maybe we can go catch a movie or something. Yeah, so. sure, man. But uh, um, let's go around the horn here. We'll start with Exodus. Goo, what you got coming up? Ooh, um, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm really close to finishing my second run. So catch me tomorrow on Rumble, YouTube. Um, I also have a Locals. And uh, I'm so excited for Sunday, Sons of the Forest. If you want to yeah. see people genuinely getting scared, kind of like Ryan in that last clip, that, that yeah. happens to all of us. That I'm game sorry. is scary. I, I, I've screamed many war cries. Many war <laughs> yes. There was a great yeah. as bit on the last stream where he's walking ahead and everyone else has run away. They all saw the same monster and just legged it and just left as on his own <laughs> next to the creature. And he it's turns like, around, hey. where did you all go? <laughs> we're alive. That's what we're doing. We're alive. <laughs> everyone for themselves, motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, comics, what you got coming up? Uh, well, I released a Mandalorian review today. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It's okay. Just like the show. It's okay. God, this show is awful. I, I don't even know if I want to continue reviewing it. It's pretty bad. Uh, Thursday, no, sorry, not Thursday. Monday, we have Dimaj and I on for Yelling Apart Cars. And Thursday, we're doing the J-Laws, which is where we're um, kind of spoofing uh, the Oscars, but with J-Lo. Not J-Lo. Oh. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. There, Jennifer we go. Lawrence. there you go. Yeah. Dimash so, nice. A lot of fun. Cool and dude. And I'll be working on my Picard review soon. Mm -hmm. Right on. I'm going to be yeah. forced to do... I can't, I can't do my <laughs> second Picard review unless I do my first one. You have to do this. I have to do <laughs> both of them. Which is going to be... Because I really... Uh, I can't stop talking about Picard season three. I've now seen it uh, all the way through three times. Oh. And uh, watched, watched it with my wife, uh, who's a huge Star Trek fan, brought tears to her eyes so i can't wait to talk more about it but uh let's go to quarter black garrett what you got coming up hey tomorrow retro expo in where is it plano is it in plano it's in texas it's in dallas north texas area i will yeah. be there with grand I'm nolan be hanging mm -hmm. out with grand mm -hmm. nolan very nice he's gonna be there as well oh. Uh, so yeah, go see me there if you're gonna ah, go. That'd be awesome to tell see you there. I'm sorry, it's a five hour drive, dude. I can't it do is. a five it's, hour drive. Is. I can't. So uh, I'll just hang out. Thanks for no, no. You're gonna it's it's Hawaiian shirts and cigars or some sh and yes. whiskey. So like represent. It's gonna be tell great. Them I said what's up. Uh, and I'll uh, see you guys there. And then on on Sunday, like extra. Oh, I might send you some money so you can buy me some stuff. Oh sure, yeah. Okay, I'll give you a list. Yeah, no problem. I'll give you some. Be my shopper. Uh, Be my secret I, shopper. There's good stuff there because it's it's not a huge con. Like the Dallas Fan Expo, that's a big con. It's kind of like a smaller place. It's a At real con. It was. Yeah, it's a real one. It's got a lot of comic you get the books good there. Shit. And, yeah. It you doesn't have all the stupid shit, like man. corporate crap there. So it's great. So please come hang out. It's going to be cool. This and show is Sunday, still monetized, fun day. by the way. Hey, what? The show nice. is still monetized. I'm surprised. Oh, I love it. I can't believe wow. it. Wow. Quick, <laughs> Shad, Shad, say the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> neurotic. 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 Uh, Sunday, Forbidden Frontiers on Sunday, Neurotic Sunday, Live. Yes. We're gonna be talking about ghost stories, our personal ghost stories, not just ones that are out in the ether. Our actual stories. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. And it's uh, it's been about two weeks, so it's about the time to get back to it. It's been too long. What does Blackstain say? That eh? drugs have killed my taste buds. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, they have. I yeah. hurt myself to feel. This is true. Pineapple is the only thing I can taste. Yeah, it's, it's pineapple and hot so sauce aesthetic. is the only thing I can taste anymore. <laughs> you put hot sauce in everything. everything. I do. I do. I do. This Just is like, true. <laughs> oh, you've seen it. I've even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chrissy Mayer, what do I you got coming up? Sauce. I have a hot sauce. Go to um. You do? Oh, oh yeah, City. yeah, very nice. SilkCityHotSauce.com. It's called Nightmare, The Great Awakening. Uh, oh, like my God. Send me sauce. the link for that. I didn't it's know really, that. It's I really good it. on eggs. I want it. It's really cool. Do you keep it in your purse like Hillary Clinton? 
No. Hot sauce. But it's me like <laughs> eating people's organs and it's like it's very oh. devilish on the front. I love it. It's called Nightmare. I think Gary needs a hot sauce. I think I need a hot sauce. Yeah, I think I have yeah. a code. Code Mayor might be a discount. Um, yes, Simcast is on Sunday with Mandy Summers and Ariadna Jacob, plus the usual characters. Monday, Wet Spot on Compound Media at 7 p.m. Eastern. Cecil will be on in person in studio. Uh, then next stand-up show I'm doing is in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut on the 23rd. Uh, that's the Bridgeport Stress Factory. And then on the Saturday, the 25th of March, I'll be doing two shows at the Grizzly Pair in Midtown Manhattan, 8 and 10 o'clock. And yeah, then I got Staten Island, Jersey, um, Vegas, April 27th. Those tickets are available now. And the venue is called The Space. The show will be at seven o'clock. And if it sells well and they want to add another one, I think that show might be at like 10, um, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's not like and... any of y'all are going to leave after the show. So you... Unless, you know, yeah, if they have hot weekend plans and they want to scram. But if, <clears> yeah, if you have nowhere to be, <laughs> come you... to the show. Come with us. I'm going to be, yeah. I'll yeah. just hang out there at 10. There. Go show You're going to be there. Go I'm really man. glad you got a show there. Like, I think I'm that... so excited yeah. too. It's that's a little really... bit of like a gamble. It's like, that's when you're me, it's like, I'm just going to rent a place out and then just hope that it works out. But it'll, it'll be work, good. Uh, it'll work out. That's what I do at the meetups every year. So <laughs> Leap and the net will appear, you know? Yes. And so Vegas and then Dallas, the first weekend of May, um, Richmond, Virginia in August. And then anime Matsuri, I'll be uh, headlining that Friday, August 11th at the secret group in Houston. And those tickets go. are it's on August sale right 11th and we're, we're going to anime Matsuri too. Yep. We'll be there. Yes. Yes. It'll Bye. be fun. Very good. Very good. Uh, Shad M. Brooks, what you got hey, coming up nice. besides arguments about AI on Twitter? Well, I was going to mention one of those. Um, I got three things to mention. Uh, one small correction: uh, this sword is actually from United Cutlery. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so that's they say. Oh my god! You got to hook up with United Cutlery. Do you know? Like, I've got so many fucking United Cutlery swords. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's they do stupid. a lot of um, really good. Either like reproductions. I'm not sure if this is an official one or not, but it's it's definitely you know. Um, I'm sure they're gonna make one. That show was a massive yeah. hit, dude. Oh, it was glorious, and I think this is available now, actually. Um, well, do you know? Very... Sorry to interrupt you, but you know, like, uh, not Dark Sister per se, but uh, Blackfire might pop up in the main books if George ever fucking finishes them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's it's it disappeared, but it could. It's supposed to be a plot point to to pop back up later oh cool well uh, yeah i love house of the dragon this is yeah. one of those swords where I, w I would own this as a sword from pop culture just like lord of the rings ones loved house of the dragon that much um the next thing is uh, so uh shadow of the conqueror volume two um I, I, if you could just share that uh, yeah check this out Damn. this is uh, very nice we are we are uh, about halfway wow. through now halfway wow. through and this is a 120 page book and so this is a chunky thing, and we have just hit. So Mike, Mike S. Miller, amazing artist. He is just Very powering Very through good. it. And this, like, check this right. This one is when Dalen just goes wholesale. Like, look at some oh, of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dang. Look, Mike look is a bro. It. Mike wow. is all this stuff. And oh, that face. That, that is face. Oh, it's so Dude, good. That dude's head off. Oh, and, yeah. and, and props to Mike for helping out Ed, Edwin Boyette who uh yes yes yeah who, there was a Mike's fire at the too. house lost some dogs lost his dad oh, man. oh no. no it was oh, freaking terrible dogs. but mike s miller you know helped out and started a gofundme i donated mike's a, a good guy yeah. Yeah. Mike's yeah. Good. yeah yeah so we hope and edwin and boyette we wish him all the best and uh yeah. sorry for his absolutely loss. Absolutely. Um, but I like update on the graphic novel Shadow of the Chronicle Volume One. So we've we've unfortunately hit frustrating delays with the printer. We're working through them. It's still a priority. We're, we're like this is on my mind every day. Okay, and unfortunately, there's times where we hit on things that we just have to wait to either something to process or something to get resolved and everything. It's on my mind constantly, but. Even though we hit delays there, we are powering forward with Shadow of the Congo Volume 2. Massive progress on that. So that's really awesome. And uh, then if uh, I don't usually promote this, but if you want to, you know, have fun watching me argue with people about AI art, you can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> 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 and I, I, Twitter is Twitter. And so 
I just like to mess with people, all right? And people sometimes get surprised that, oh, this seems out of character for Shad. It's Twitter. It's you Twitter. just have fun. It's, it's, yeah, it's troll, Twitter. Man. It's fun. It's Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. Hey, hey, Twitter. Shad, Twitter. Shad, if you need, Shad, if you need to cleanse your timeline, just put on a Make Marvel Mail again shirt and take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, and I do other things, but uh, I'm so, like, it's crazy the amount of interactions those tweets had. Yeah. Like, over a million views and like, oh my goodness. There's a lot of creatives oh. legitimately worried about losing their oh, jobs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I understand. Uh, they yeah. should be. And there's there's good questions on, on both sides. Uh, mm-hmm. it's It sucks. It's kind of inevitable, though. It's here. You know, uh, but well, I'm it, trying to show people the benefits and uh, dispel misconceptions around yeah. it because well, if, one of the most exciting, important things about this for me is the little guys, the indie creators, and how mm. much this is going to benefit and and let them make some really high quality stuff. But this if is, people didn't call it out, they wouldn't have been making these changes. So it's good that people did mm. that. Like they're stealing but art, the, they're yeah, doing this the, shit exactly. Like, yeah. The misconception is though that they think it's all like all of it's bad and it's and it's this apocalypse and stuff. And so there are some people who are very much against it with large followings, and they actually can be very disingenuous, unfortunately, sometimes and they'll have to dogpile posts. And that's kind of what's happened with this one. It's gone crazy, a couple of them. And uh, so uh, if people are disingenuous to me, I usually troll them back. But also at the same time, I'm trying to help people out who are a bit afraid about it and, and, you know, explain some of the benefits, show what can be done with what I'm doing it. Uh, and then, you know, it's a, sometimes you just have fun with it. And so if you if you want to see some of that, you can follow me on Twitter, I guess. Sure. Mm-hmm. We love you. Hey, your, your man, your man stands your ground. That, like, yeah. I admire that. <laughs> I admire well, that. Unflinching. Uh, all right. Uh, Disbrew, thank you once again for joining us. You know you're welcome back anytime. Uh, oh, always happy to be on. Uh, great fun. You're doing great. You're doing great work. Really proud of you. You've done like your channel's grown so much in the last year, uh, and uh, it's because you have worked hard on it. So uh, well done, young man. Still, it was what was it? The 22nd of February when I got shouted out by the quartering that time. So wow. I literally went through the the year anniversary, <gasps> and I, oh, I remember, God. I remember thinking. Like at that time, I'd be happy with 10k in a year. <laughs> I just wow, yeah, yep. it's exploded. Unbelievable, kind of what happened. It's all me. you totally changed my life. But yes, oh, it, it does. Right. It does. Congrats. And it's a good example of merit can rise to the top. Yes, you make good content. You know, sometimes you have to go through the the grind. Uh, but if you keep doing it and you're making legitimately good content. It, it can work out. And yep. I'm not saying YouTube is a fair platform either. Nope. They, 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 no. But it's it's good to peaks see. Peaks and valleys. There will be mm-hmm. peaks. And if you don't yes. let those get to you, you're fine. Just keep making As, Especially with what I do, with it being like series-based, like Balmer ends or Rings of Power ends, and you just have like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, <laughs> until you clear the backlog. That's the hardest bit. But I, th- I think that's why it's on the front page to begin with. It, it They, they kind of gamify it. They've mastered yeah, they, they do. encouragement to mm-hmm. get you to The only perform. unsolicited I, advice that I've learned that I can give to any creator is never, ever, 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 ever betray the message of your channel. Each channel has their own personality and message, so a great example would be Amazing Atheist. He was calling out, I guess, I never saw a second of a shit, but I, what I was told, by Mahler mostly, uh, is he used to call out like woke content, and then he just yes. went completely back on that. Yeah, uh, That will kill your channel every channel. time. And, wow. and e- just lying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> don't lie. Mm-hmm. Don't be a don't, liar. Don't lie. Be yeah. Authentic. Don't wear turtlenecks. That's what I learned. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I said, TJ has always been a cunt, uh, but his his yeah. SJW stuff yeah. was good. And yeah, now he's just a cunt now. Yeah. I mean, like, hope he turns things around. I wish him all the best. I really don't care. I mean, yeah. I thought it was funny. Plus, it's a channel that's bigger than mine. I get a rare opportunity where I'm not quote technically punching, punching down or anything yeah that whole punching down I, like as, people use it as a protection now it's like yeah, i can it, say it, it all is, the yeah. amount of crap against you but if you actually defend yourself and you're a bit oh you know you're oh, you, bully what, you're hurt down, your feelings you are oh, picking what? your fight you moron it's like how about you don't pick a fight who's with someone who could just slap you down yeah. oh, it's just, they're idiots sorry yes they are and uh thank god they're there we, you know, mm-hmm. that's that's why we like free speech. Uh, we can mm-hmm. all, you know, we express ourselves as much as we want, and some of us will sound like fucking idiots, and that's okay. That's all right. Uh, so next week, who do we have, X-Ray Girl? 
Oh my god. I uh, was not expecting this. Uh, all right, at this moment. I mean, we only do it at the end of every show, but uh, sorry to surprise uh, you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Banana man. It's because because I didn't technically book him, but oh, who? Gavin oh. McGinnis. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. That's oh. why I didn't, they didn't oh. pop in my head. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. That's going to be black. fun. Proud of you, boy. <laughs> I, 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 I want to come in a shirt and tie. Yeah. I want to come in a shirt one. and tie with, with pins in my pocket for that one. <laughs> You're going to have to because like, he, he gives people shit for wearing T-shirts and stuff. It's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah. So I get, I get. He reached out, though. He reached hey, out sure. to me. Yeah. He sent me an email, and I thought it was fake. And it was just, yeah. can I come on your show? It's Gavin. And he gave me his number. Like, and I had to check with Chrissy. Oh I'm like, God. Chrissy, is this legit? Like, <laughs> I so I just I responded, Ryan. if it's really like, you, sure. <laughs> you know, I but I contacted his producer, emails. Ryan, and I was like, hey, wow. did Gavin actually want to be on the show? And he's like, yeah. I was like, all right. Well, what day's good? So we made yeah, it happen. Well. Very That's cool. awesome. I've been watching Gavin for a long time. Gavin is awesome. I've acted with Gavin. He's, he's a really funny. good actor. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited now. Yep. So, so I shouldn't wear my beefcake shirt or sweater. Mm. You can you wear should. whatever you like. I'm going to try to order a Proud Boy shirt to wear for next week. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we sure will love that. that. We got to play the song. I, I don't care if we get dinged. Proud of your boy. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where it all came from. Speaking uh, of boys, um, uh, comics as boys have oh, donated. Not again. Oh, boy. Do you want me to voice. read it or you want Yeah, to... you read it. Okay. Comics Division's ball sack for $100. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting you... my money as always. <laughs> if you're watching comics real close during the stream, you would have seen him open his fly so my Hawaiian pizza could get delivered. <laughs> oh. Also, com... <laughs> <laughs> comics waxes me too. Hashtag pineapple pizza forever. That's talent. <laughs> well, what they do is they wax themselves. Yeah, your oh, ball wow. sack wax has better on, taste than you wax do. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking food advice from a ball sack. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that wraps I it up. I almost got that out. <laughs> for this week, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the chat. We love you. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and a donation. We appreciate you. The square up will be long. Oh. <laughs> oh. Long. It'll happen. Uh, working on another video. I could just say, fuck it. Uh, it's, it's, I think once every quarter we're going to try to do a top five. So we got another top five. Yeah. It's kind of a no brainer top five. Uh, not sure why I didn't even start with this one, but we're going to, we're going to go with it and uh, hope you like it. Wait for it to end. Hope you, you like know? it. So. Hope you like it. I've got most of it written out. That's why I spent it's yesterday. It's gonna be good. Uh, then we got. I got to research ghost stories. I I have such a tough job. It's a horrible ah, gig. So difficult. So we'll be back next week. Thanks to everyone. Have a good day. See you next time. See you later. Bye. Take care.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.